like we're live. So hey guys, yep, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're having a good weekend and Easter if you celebrate it. If not, no big deal. <laughs> How's everyone doing? You stopped fapping to watch this. Why stop? Keep going. <laughs> so we hit 500k subscribers. I, I kind of wanted to make this like the 500k subscriber, but it's not really special. And because like I'm just gonna be playing one of my favorite factions, Ica Claw. And everyone loves watching me play Ica Claw. Hey Count A04, how's it going, dude? Okay, so what are the settings? We're gonna go legendary, very hard, just default on Endgame Crisis. I don't like Endgame Crisis to be honest. Um I'll put it to 200. I doubt we'll get to that point, but we'll, we'll see. Is it Christmas? No, it's Easter. So I thought today we'd just just chill, play some play some Skaven. No particular goals. I actually really don't want to do a no defeat campaign here. I want to suffer defeats because suffering defeats as Skaven is totally on point. So I, I'm really, really not going to try to just not lose any battles. It's just not a good way to play Skaven. Opinion on Throt? Throt's good. I like Throt. Kicking off at 10pm Brisbane time, how do you survive the hours that you play? Just get used to it. Climatize. Do I have a PS5? Nope. YouTube only today? No, it should be live on Twitch. There's people watching on Twitch. A Legend of War on one screen and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the other one. That's a good choice. I approve of that. Rafael the Destroyer did a PLN 10 super chat. Have a nice day, my boy. Thanks. Dude, appreciate that. You have a nice day as well. You have a heart. How long was that ready for? Do you a plan of expansion? I have no plan whatsoever. I haven't practiced. I haven't played Ica Claw in ages. I got no plans. <laughs> so we'll just see how we go. No plans. Come on, cunning. Come on, cunning. Come on, cunning, 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 and... Yes, yes. Eh, it's alright. It's not the worst. Alright. How do we play Skaven again? Alright, 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 alright. So, watch... Hang on, I think I've got the blood pack turned off. Yeah, I need to turn that back on. Um, what should we do? I've had mixed success in rushing at Magritta in the past. Uh, I don't go with turning Tabaro into a sack city anymore. Uh, Ziv Bleach did a... Uh, did a 60 shekel super chat. Pro butchered your name. Uh, hey Legend, I've been watching your content for a long time and I love it, especially the tier list. Have fun, have a fun stream. Alright, thanks dude. I'll do that, appreciate you. Um, Ryan C did a $20 super chat. Congrats on 500k, wouldn't miss it. Not a big stream watcher, but I've been watching your videos since Medieval 2. Which killed him? Uh, good to see you still killing it. As a Canadian, it's hard to catch the streams with the time zone difference. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, don't forget it's 10 o'clock at night here, so I'm not really doing it for Australia either. <laughs> okay, now what I've done in the past is actually sack a city and then just make my way towards Magritta. They don't start off stronger than you. You can... You can attack it on turn two if you force march, but I'm just not sure about what I'm doing here, to be honest. So I'm just going to occupy this, and we will see. Ally Morgo? Ah, uh, we'll see. Alright, we have to fight this manually. Unlimited ammo for rattling guns on turn one can help for sieges. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Should have done that. Not a big deal for this fight, though. Won't need it. But yeah, as soon as I come out of this fight, you're absolutely right. Would you still enjoy Warhammer if CA removed features that make the game much easier, like control large army, lightning strike, siege, isolation, and so on? 
Um, I'll probably like it less. Agrippa Albinus did a PLN25 super chat. Buy yourself a beer or something. Cheers. All right. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Fishing Hat 95 subscribe to tier one. This is subscribe for two months. For the cheese guide. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. All right. Well, where should we set up? We don't really need to go into this choke point here. I actually think Giselles are a little bit better now than Rattling Guns. I don't know what it is. They're just, they're, they've been really doing it for me lately. Here you come with. Tuesday, Newsday. Uh, there will probably be news this Tuesday from what I'm hearing. There will probably be news. I would, uh, I'd be surprised if there wasn't. It, it should be good news. It should be like, yeah, Thrones of Decay, it's coming. It won't be Monday, because that'll be April Fool's. Maybe. Uh, Twins play Tekkit did a five dollar super chat. Oh man, if this campaign ain't a guilty pleasure of mine, love to see it. I'll never turn down a legend. Yes, yes, Ikit campaign. Thanks for the content. No, worries, dude, my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Nothing to worry about here. Do you have any predictions on the lords that are going to come with Thrones of Decay? Yep. Um, okay, so I think it's going to be Tamrakan for Nurgle. I think it's going to be Elspeth von Draken for the Empire. And I think the FLC Lord is going to be Epidemius for Nurgle. That's what I think, but we will see. Storm Demon Prime. Ooh, going over my head there might shoot me a little bit, but this is why it's good to be small. Uh, Thomas Nori did a 20 pound super chat. Bring some to the UK. Great to see you live. Uh, do you consider yourself a bogan? Sorry if this is offensive. Uh, uh -huh. Have yourself a beer on me. Uh, I am definitely not a bogan. Thanks for super chat, dude. Yeah, I'm definitely not a bogan. So, what? Firstly, first thing to think is uh, what is the criteria for a bogan? Like you tell me, what's what's the criteria? Um, I don't think I meet any of the criteria apart from being Australian. That's that's like the only criteria that I would meet for being a bogan. <laughs> But yeah, I am definitely not a bogan. Uh, only a bogan would say I'm not a bogan. So you give me some criteria and I'll tell you if I meet that or not. What's a bogan? It's a, it's essentially um, the N-word for Australians. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it isn't. Um, no, it's, it's just like... Bogans are... I guess lower class people in Australia, like typically speaking poor, typically speaking poorly educated, drinks a lot, toothless smokers, you know, whatever, whatever your country's variant of that is. Australian redneck, yeah, basically. Adam Walker did a five pound super chat. Hey, listen, congrats on 500k. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Roman Britain did a 20 pound super chat. Hey, legend, first super chat. First super chat, though I've been a big fan of yours for years. Always happy to see your streams and videos when I'm having a bad day. Keep up the good work. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. That was a bad reference to the end. No, no, I was joking. I didn't actually mean that. That's why I went haha after I said it. <laughs> I wasn't serious. 
Ryan C did a ten dollar super chat. Got my older brother into Total War through your videos on the Skaven. Lol. Glad to see you return to your roots. Yes, yes. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. So I'm also I'm also Maltese. So Yeah, I have that ethnicity. But I don't I don't care. I don't I don't care much about ethnicity. I never have. Which is probably why in the past I've been very insensitive to other people's ethnicities. Not that I have any prejudice against anyone. I just don't care about ethnicity. I don't care about it. I think it's not important. What's your real name? Gay Lord of Total War. Why Maltese? I didn't choose it. That's just my parents. Oh, well, my mum is Maltese. I didn't get to choose that. <laughs> Why are you Maltese? Who's the legendary lord for the Dawi? I have no idea. No clue. Alright, do I want to sack or do I want to occupy? I think I want to occupy. Yeah, we don't want to push it to tier 3, but I want to occupy. Thanks for showcasing me earlier. Really enjoying it. That's good, dude. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's the main thing. I just wanted to show you guys what the game was about. I didn't want to push it on you. You know, give you a link so you can have a look at it. If you're interested in it, awesome. If you're not interested in it, no harm done. You know, I had... You know, nearly a hundred hours playing it. I really enjoyed it. Um, that's all there is to it. You know? You know? I don't get a kickback for every sale that that is made because of that video. Um, the video did really well. I wasn't expecting that. And Paradox was very happy with me. And I now have a, a connection with Paradox because of that video, which is absolutely nuts. So I actually have, I'm on better terms with Paradox than I am with Creative Assembly. Uh, Saad did a SAR8 Super Chat. Legend, where is your 500k YouTube play button? Thanks, dude. Uh, you don't get one for that, but thanks for the Super Chat. All right, so with Ica Claw, you kind of want to rush Second Wind Serum. I get that there's Root Marcher, and there's also Ancient Cunning. But Second Wind Serum, Oh, that's good stuff. What about warp lightning? Nah, I'll be fine. You gotta, you gotta pick and choose what you want. So, some people like to push Skaven Blight up to tier 5 as quickly as possible. I'm not really too fussed on doing that. I'd only do that if I had like a massive surplus of um, food, which I find in the early stages of the campaign, I don't. Also, before we forget, we need to do this. Yeah, we need to do that. Jesus, up a little bit of my food. Alright, first thing to build here, probably the growth building. Hang on, which one is needed for the technology? So this one here, Rattling Warrens and Rubbish Pit. That's the best one to go for. So Rattling Warrens is... Hang on, is that the right one? Yeah, this one here. Okay. Alright, what are we recruiting here? We should get some Skaven Slave Slingers. And... Why not rattling guns? We need to get food up in the... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Isn't there a... Yeah, we need the expansionist planning first. And then we also need another Lord. Another Warlock Engineer to help us out. Disciplined. I don't really care much for Disciplined when playing Skaven. What you want is Sneaky. We've got a Cunning Gracie here, so that's good. But what are... Well, a, that's actually a Sneaky one. Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to go with this one. It's, it's usually better to get a Warlock Engineer because they're the ones that generate um, Warp Fuel, but we'll manage. Getting Ambush Success chances is kind of more important right now. Yeah, I could have recruited him here and recruited some more units, but we'll be fine. So what I want to do is like move in ambush stance and see if I can lure the army out there before Morgan destroys it and I miss out on all that delicious food. 
Okay, let's move on. Uh, I don't suppose there's any diplomacy we can do. So yeah, I could be friends with Sartosa, but I usually like to eat them, so I'm not gonna do that. She does. Ah oh, man, Shizux became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Got tongue tied there. Remember to recruit Save Skaven Warlord with his income bust buff. Right, I know who you're talking about. Doing that in the early stages of the campaign is completely pointless. Did Legend do the abandoned recolonized strat? No, no, I don't think it's very good. I don't usually do it. Oh, Vectic the Unstoppable. You're right. I, he's a sneaky. Oh, I should just rename him to Vectic. Yeah, Vectic's always been a sneaky Grey Seer of Plague. Join war against factions that will get destroyed. Hmm. Well, I haven't met that much, but not a bad idea. The time for the council's voice. Oh, I freaking spell it. Hang on, hang on. I've got it. I've got the name saved. I just can't remember how it's spelled. Greatest, best inventor. Uh, v yeah, see, I've got a few of these. Vectic. Okay, C. Okay. Yeah, I've got a few of the Ian Roxborough. But getting him right now is pointless. It's not going to provide any benefit. There we go. Everybody loves Vectique. I forgot about that. Good scheme. Yeah, Harbinger of Doom. Okay, cool. All right, research ferocious plans. Yep. All right, what do we got here? This is good in the early stage of the campaign. Let's do that. And since we got a recruitment cost reduction, I should. Uh, so it's going to save us so much money. But let's do that. All right. Anything else we need to do? We've got a level up for this guy here. Go for yeah, increase mobility. That would be good. And let's see if Estalia takes the bait. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I'm just not sure. Uh, since Warhammer 3, CA stopped to properly improve the base game. With Warhammer 2, there was plenty of major reworks and core system improvements. Do you think CA are going to change this with the next update? I hope that they do. Um, but I, I don't know what Creative Assembly is doing. I just, I really have no clue. No! How was I supposed to get there before then? Alright, hopefully he hasn't done the Ritual of Ruination yet. So I could just ruin dwell it. Change prophecy edict. Thank you. Yep, you're right. Oh god damn it! All right. Well, you definitely shouldn't go to war with um, Morgar on that turn. So what I'll do instead is I'll just give him Tabaro because I don't need it. If I go, I can't trade settlement. God damn. He didn't even besiege the settlement. He was just like, full on, fuck those guys. God damn. Alright, well, screw us, Alia. There's no point taking it. If I can't capture Magritta, there's actually no point even holding on to Tabaro either. Yeah, that's it. Honestly, being close to Morgor is kind of annoying. Um, F's with Farhan became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, that's super friggin' annoying. Because, yeah, Morgar is really not worried at all about missile units, so trying to take him on early is a bad idea. And he's already starts off stronger than us. Even if we ambush him, it's not going to go down well. Because we have to take his... Uh, this. Well, we could. We didn't get any treaties with him. We could. 
He does make a good buffer out this way. I think what we should do is instead worry about Tilia. Because they are... They're fucked anyway. Alright, let's go. Let's just change plans. Alright, change of plans. Moving on. This shit happens. Alright, how do we want to do this? Alright, send Ikit Claw. Yeah, take these. Okay, send Ikit Claw by Force March via the sea. Hang on, I gotta figure this out. Yeah. Yeah, go go this way. And honestly, Vectique, you just go with him. Oh no no, Vectique, you You stay you stay here, don't go into Force March. You go there and just recruit some more crap. Gotta switch this to food. So yeah, that was a bit annoying. See, usually what, well, from previous campaigns, he usually besieges it, in which case we go over there and just deliberately make him lose. Um, but, yeah, he just, yeah. Okay, yeah, well, these things, these things happen. Just move on. Not, not that big of a deal. We'll go and take on Morgor once we get a proper weapons team and we're ready for him. But right now, taking him on in the early stage is a bad idea. Take on the easier stuff first. So maybe we'll go pick on Clan um, Angrand. Or maybe I'll pick on them. That could be good. Alright, let's move on. Is this a zero defeat campaign? No, I don't want to do a zero defeat campaign with this. That is very anti-Skaven doing it that way. God damn! AI has got no chill today. Holy moly. It's like, what's left for me? I didn't get any good fights at the beginning of this campaign. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what are we going to do then? Sartosa's most infamous. Why don't we just go straight to Sartosa? Forget about Miragliano. Let's just take these two. Could go to Lucini. Yeah, let's do that. Are they going to declare war on us? Seems unlikely, but they might. Fighting her out in the water is not a good idea. Where are my schematics? Make it so. Definitely be careful about um about doing that. I reckon we land a Lucini, that way we can kill this army before it recruits anything. But yeah, maybe maybe don't force march. Should be able to land there just fine. Bring these ones both in. And then just friggin' get rid of Tabara. Actually let me just see if I can sell it to her. No. Alright, just get rid of Tabaro. I can't make use of it. I'm just going to lose it due to Chaos Corruption anyway. We'll come back and get it later. Okay, Skaven Blight. If she doesn't come over here to defend herself, um, and decides to go after to Skaven Blight, we should be able to defend that fairly easily. I'll put a few extra troops in there if I need to. Alright, what do we need here? A bit of that. And a bit of this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's move on. What do you mean fighting pirates and sea is a bad thing? Uh, because Skaven fight like shit out and water. It's not so much that the pirates are good, it's that we're bad. We need to get on the land. Why not keep it for a few more turns just for extra profit? Well, that just invites um, Aranessa to come over here and have it, which will just make it more difficult for us to wipe her out. It has no real value. It's like a couple, a couple of coins. Who cares? It's not worth it. Plus, it actually costs us one food per turn. How are we getting so much food? Okay. All right. 
No, no. Let's do this. Which which way do we want to land? This should work. I'd be annoyed if it doesn't. Yeah, we should be fine. No, no. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll have to fight him manually, but it's fine. This arms race, no contest. All hail, horned rat. Best weapons. Okay, we definitely need to fight this manually. I don't anticipate any real problems here. But what we really need to do is get Ikiklaw leveled up quickly so that he can get on his Doom Flayer. I should have practiced this campaign a little bit. Because, um, yeah, there's definitely... It was not a strong start. Because, yeah, if I knew that Estalia was going to get wrecked so quickly by Morgur... I would have not bothered to even capture Tabaro, and I would have go. I would have made it to Miragliano before um, Parsa Sartosa. Oh well, no big deal. All right, this map is. It'll be fine. Um, put them out front because if anyone's going to take damage, let it be them. Make sure these guys here have high ground. You just stay in the rear for now. You go around the flank, and let's do this. Henry Cavill did a $2 super chat. Congrats on 500k, dude. Appreciate you. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you as well. Uh, Shade Slinger did a $5 super chat. Hello, Legend. Just wanted to say I'm happy to see you playing a Nikki campaign. I can't watch it live as I'm having work. Wish you luck, mate. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Cool. Oh, okay. They're not advancing. That's interesting. Kind of. Okay, the gun units are way more of a concern than anything else. Kind of need to do that before we pop down the, the spells. Hmm, they actually shoot at him. Would be would be nice if we can get him to attack us here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look. Oh, no. No. Stop being smart. How dare you? Come on, get him. Now's a good opportunity. Now that he's in there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's exactly. Oh yeah, that's what you want to see. That's great. That's a great start to this battle. Okay, looking good there. Good. Bit of damage, but not a lot of casualties. We should replenish really quickly. And there's the armor losses. Nice. Really wish Ike kept his flamethrower went on Doom Flayer. Come on, Ike Claw is overpowered as it is. He doesn't need that. <laughs> I 
Is the water slowness and enemy aquatic ignoring it? It's actually the opposite. It um, uh, um, aquatic makes them fight better in water. Water maps usually have trees everywhere. Yeah, they've got trees everywhere. The, it's loads of obstructions. They're small maps. There's usually really bad defensive positions, and you can't get any menace belows by default because no escaping corruption out in the water, and you can't ambush while at sea. So, typically speaking, and as I explained before, you don't really want your armies when playing a Skaven out in the water. You know, obviously you want to use it to travel, but that's it. You don't want to be fighting out there. Not unless you've really got the advantage, which we didn't. It's okay, she didn't attack us. And we took her settlement here. Now, Vectique is going to take a bit of attrition. Yeah. They don't have any means of being able to get to her. She's got a full stack. She might go to Skaven Blight, so we should consider um, recruiting a small force there just to repel her. Um, she may come over to Riff Raffer thinking that we're not strong enough to deal with her, and that could be correct. No. Okay. Get some more of that. Alright, and then Lucini. Yeah, just leave it for the time being. Okay, and we want... Yeah. Yeah, good. Not too many flying units, I think. So, no need Helen walk out that much right now. Trying to get second wind serum quickly. We probably won't make it to Sartosa next turn. Unless I recruit a new lord. Here. Because both of these guys are probably going to barely be able to make it there. Knows who his boss is. Oh. Nice. Okay, Vectique actually should be able to make it. Um, you have to stand there then. Yeah, so I've actually got a full stack now. Okay, that's good. Alright, it could claw, we could go with Root March. We've got two points. We're very close to second win serum. I only need one more level up after this, which we should get at Sartosa. We should be able to win with that. It's okay if he's a little bit damaged. Uh, giving him jetpack is really good for sieges. What else is really good? How's our Winds of Magic? 60? Hit him that one, and... I think speed's going to be more useful in the coming fight. Cool. Alright, and then we need... Alright, let's grab a Lord here. Let's get, let's get an Ian Roxbarrow. Because, yeah, his trait, Brutally Honest, income from salvage buildings plus 25% faction-wide. That's great, and we can get him multiple times, but it's not it's not a huge deal at this stage. It probably actually increased our costs. Uh, the Gnome did $20 a budget. Hey, Legion, this is for the Diaper Fund. Congrats. All right, thanks, dude. Yep, the Diaper Fund is real, for sure. Oh, dropped out my hand. Um, piece there. Just wondering if I should get another Lord to help out with this, because our regular units are pretty shit. It's not much to deal with here. It would be good if we could push this straight to tier 5. But... We can, get, we can get it to tier 4, but that would mean that Miragliano wouldn't get to tier 5. So I reckon let's just capture Sartosa at tier 1. And then abandon it later and push it up to tier 5. When we've actually got the food. Yeah. Alright, that all seems fine. Let's move on to the next turn. How do you get that trait? So, you have to play Clan P uh, Pestilence, and there is a Warlord that's recruitable from turn 1. You recruit that Warlord, named Ian Roxborough, and save that character. Alright, she's coming over here. Shadow did attend also appreciate. Hey Legend, I made a 3D image of Ikiclaw's face as my final math project in high school. I did this partially inspired by Ikiclaw voices and playthroughs at the time. Cool. Uh, well, I hope you got a good grade for it. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, Crankus subscribed to tier 1 on Twitch. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. So, I got a choice now. I could possibly attack Aranessa, or I could go for. Let me just see. How much movement do we have? 
Oh, Ikki Claw's actually got full movement. I wasn't expecting that. Thing is, with Aranessa in there, she's got essentially 28 units. And... There goes Astalia. Yeah, he'll probably leave us alone. <laughs> Famous last words. We'll see. Um... If I ca if I capture this, we'll lose Lucini. I don't care about Lucini. The more battles we have, the better. But then again, we're actually almost at maximum food, so we want to use up that food. So maybe I'll push it to tier four. Because honestly, we're growing food pretty quick. I wasn't expecting that. All right, you get over here. Because main thing with um. Okay, you'll actually need to. Go on the underway, I think. Alright, get Ikit over here. Kill, slay, so again, don't care about no defeat campaign here. <laughs> I think it's not very Skaven-like. So let Aranessa come over here and capture it or sack it or whatever. That's up to her. Is sacking settlement still viable in Warhammer 3? Depends on the situation. The vermin tide. I think we'll get intercepted. Never. Okay. So main reason for having Vectic hang around is not to really provide any serious strength, but to um uh, just to get experience, which is really important for the Skaven. I don't think we need any menace blows here. Shouldn't be particularly difficult. Let's sort this out. Maximus forty three today two dollars budget. Hey Legend, have you tried out the Radius mod pack? No, I haven't. Thanks for Super Chat. Uh, did Legend miss the Gnome Super Chat? I may have. Let me just go up and check. No, I got I got that. I'll chuck the heart in on them so that you know that I've read them. Hey Legend, should I use Great Swords as Empire? If you want to build an Order Resolve army, for sure. Uh, they're not great units to use manually. They've got a lot of weaknesses. But, you know, it depends. How good are you at the game? If you're not good at the game, they can be fairly reliable. This is way better units to recruit than great swords. Units that have a lot more rum. Stuff. So, can settlements intercept? No, only other armies can intercept. Don't you think that Warlock Master is better for Scryer? Yes, and I mentioned this at the start, but the reason why I got this guy is because he is... Vectique the Unstoppable. It's got Sneaky, which is... It's friggin' awesome. Honestly, getting Warp Fuel is really important, but it's... It, the thing is, the only thing that matters is who's actually commanding the battle, and right now it's only Ikaclaw, so if I had recruited a a Warlock Engineer, it wouldn't have made any difference, because Ikaclaw is still making all these fights. Um... MPP Anzel did a 50 euro super chat. Happy Easter Legend. Great to catch you live. Have some diapers on me. Yum. <laughs> Thanks. That's very ge uh, generous super chat, dude. Appreciate that. Okay, how are we going to do this? I really prefer to be on the Doom Flayer. But we can make this work. Ah, bitch. Okay. Forgot about you. Give it over here. Hmm. They seem pretty reluctant to leave guys up on the wall because I could shoot them. Not shoot them, I mean zap them. But if we're going to zap anything, we want to get rid of their guns, really. Yeah, they're not the worst you ever, know, and they're too slow to get out of the way, so that's good. They don't have a lord in here, so they can't heal anything. Oh, good, we're even hurting the bats there. Good. And we've got, you know, a decent amount of wins. But if we had auto-resolved this, we'll be in terrible shape, which is unacceptable, because we've got to deal with Aranessa soon. Slow to get out of the way. If we could just do a little bit more damage to them, we'll also um, get them to start crumbling, which would be awesome. 
Popcorn did a six euro super jack. Congrats on 500k. Ikit stream is greatest best stream. Exactly what I needed today. Have fun, man. All right, thanks, dude. You have fun as well. Yo, Total War, will you ever do some streams of OVN factions? Um, I would not say that it's impossible, but I don't have plans on that right now. Yeah, they don't re dodge if they're up here. Yeah, don't have unlimited wins. Ica Claw is, is a character that can potentially kind of get unlimited wins of magic due to his unlimited power skill. Let's see if this works. Yeah, they can't get out of the way in time because they're just too slow. I was hoping to start crumbling it. Alright. Gonna take a little bit of damage coming across here, which sucks, but it's only a little bit. I gotta start breaking down this. Jarrett, name, did a $2 super chat. Thanks for the streams, mate. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Uh, uh, excuse me. Um, at Legend Total War, would you say the Doom Wheel would be better than the Doom Flayer? In what situation, if any? Okay. The Doom Wheel is better if the enemy have no missile units and no fast units. So, let's just say you're going up against the Dwarfs and it's just like all Slayers. Then you should bring a Doom Wheel because you could just kite them and use its missile attack. Because you wouldn't want to go into melee with it even if you're on a Doom Flayer. So, depending on what the enemy army is, but in most situations, you'd probably want the Doom Flayer, in my opinion. So, Ica Claw's already done a good amount of damage. That's what we want to see. Pop this down on them. Try to get, try to hit two of them at a time where possible. Ali Cherigi did a five dollar super jet. If it isn't the dirty Australian, he's rats again. Happy Easter. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Bro, you've aged. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. Not immortal. Hmm. I'm still knocking that down. Whenever they blob up like that, it makes it even more difficult for them to get out of the way. And also, Warp Lightning is a very fast spell. So we can cast that pretty quickly. Good. We got one of these units over here. That Their actual commander unit has crumbled. However, killing that one doesn't provide any actual leadership penalty. So Vectique at the moment is pretty useless. Pestilent Breath's not bad, but just let Ica Claw sort this out. Okay, that's actually going to serve a double purpose because it'll damage that, which is good. Whenever two units cross each other, it's a good opportunity to use the brass ball orb. Let's wait for them to actually do that, though. Not that into it. What's a good Doom stack for Village Faction? Um, for Village himself, usually Chaos Spawn of Zinch is pretty good. Because he reduces the upkeep cost of it by so much and boosts them by, by tons. But really, Warriors of Chaos have got so many Doom stacks. It really just depends on how you use them. Hero Doom stacks are always the most powerful. Alright, now, should we make a run for it or what should we do? Quite happy to just keep softening them up a little bit. Why don't we bring Vectique in here as well, and we'll see about running around. Because if they chase after us, it could provide good opportunities to lure them away from the, the frontal defenses here. I doubt I'll be able to get the Gisales to snipe them. But we can give it a shot. Literally. And just see if they can manage to hit them. Steven did a five dollar super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. And Dark Side Homie did a, a became member for twenty six months. Yes, yes. Time to kill, kill man things. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. If we actually destroy the full health of the gate house, anyone that's up there should fall down and die. 
Actually, maybe I should use the Gisales to try to take out the bats. Legend, use the nuke! I don't have enough magic to destroy this. Oh, hang on, they're getting some shots in, and they're actually doing some damage. Yeah, go for go for the fell bats instead. Funny thing here is that if the fell bats decide to come at our Gisales, we will get wrecked pretty quickly. No, nope. stay away from that. I got one last cast. Hang on, here we go. Yep, take it. Good. Mm. Good if we can get that crumbling. Also, Ikaclaw with his flamethrower. We should use that a little bit where possible. These two guys in. No, watch out, getting shot there. Alright, Ikka's got plenty of armor. He should be able to fight fail bats, no problem. Bring these two in to come and help. Alright. I'm not sure what I can do with the Gisales at the moment. Uh, Dominic did a 5 Euro Super Chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. A little bit worried about pushing in too hard and too fast because we might um, get these guys too damaged that they're going to be really bad against Aranessa then. Don't want to take too much damage with them. But if I send the Skaven Slaves up here, they're going to take a lot of... Oh, will they? I don't think they will take a lot of damage. Let's bring the, all the healthy ones over here and I'll just bring them up. If they end up taking a lot of damage, no big deal. And we'll just shoot them. Yeah, that's it. Good, good uh, job, Ikaclaw. Keep that up. Yeah, that's it. We'll use Ikiclaw to try to draw, like, push them away. <laughs> now, don't come near me, and then I'll bring these guys up here so they can shoot over the walls. Sagittario Savage, and if I don't submit yet, Ikiclaw, more like click it, that subscribe button. Okay, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for submitting chat. Alright. Oh, man, use the ammo quick. Still, overall, good amount of damage. Okay, bring them out here. Try to get them off the walls. If I stand out about here, it should be a lot better for these guys here to shoot them. See what you got. Let's move it a little bit further over here. We're on fire at will. Some of them are getting ready to shoot. Good, good. Let's get... That's exactly what we want to be seeing. Good stuff. Alright. Uh, Vectik is taking a lot of damage. Let's pull him out of there. I mean, he's not a melee fighter. I shouldn't have sent him in there. Did you know that reducing the amount of Winds of Magic skills on spells not working properly, or did CA fix it, like skill reducing Winds of Magic Warp Lightning? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't really been paying much attention to these kind of, like, bugs lately. I was kind of just been focusing on playing the game and not worrying about every single issue that the game has. Because if you worry about every single issue, the game becomes very much not fun. So yeah, I'm I'm just not f not really familiar with 
with that because I don't I don't do QA for ZA so just I just don't bother checking this stuff. Good. If we keep this up, army losses shouldn't be too far off because they've lost a big portion of their army already. Alright, we should be in a position that we can bring a rattling gun over to here so we can shoot through. Are you still doing saving disaster battle for Shogun 2? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I Like, I think about... Excuse me, I think about it. The problem is that the last few videos for Shogun 2 disaster battles that I did performed absolutely horribly. It actually damages the channel if I do that. So, on one hand, I want to, but on the other hand, I kind of can't. So, I'd say that, look, if you've got a disaster battle, send it in. But if I don't, like, don't, don't expect it to be done. Because a lot of the disaster battles are just the same situation we've seen over and over again. And people have got, people even said in the comments that, oh, we've already seen this. But that's, that's what happens with Shogun 2. You do fight the same battles over and over again. Colin Byrne did a two-year super chat. Plans for a 12th campaign? Love the streams. Um... No plans, but it may happen. You know, I like playing Chorfs. It, it might happen. Because, yeah, trying to rush in and capture the town square, that doesn't really work well anymore. Especially if you don't have really fast characters. The tree 2D, yeah, it's it is, yeah. It looks kind of weird. Yeah, <laughs> it must be just my graphic settings. That kind of shit doesn't bother me really. All right, let's bring in Vectique again. There's only a handful. Actually, you know what? Don't worry about that. Thinking, what could we do to try to win this battle quickly? Let's bring these two in. Because just a handful of zombie pirate gunnery mobs. If I wipe out one of them, it should cause the army losses. Rather than just going around capping all these points and getting our heroes damaged, let's just wipe out this one last unit here. from there. Shit, they get a shot. Why aren't they shooting? Okay, I think the reason they're not shooting is because the unit's too big and there's too many units at the back that can't reach. So the whole unit has to be able to reach before they'll just fire at will at it. So if we do that, this is another reason why loose formation's not amazing. In certain situations. Okay, the Gisales are sorting it out as well. That's why I brought them in. Oop. Back a little bit. Do you think the SOC factions having a bit more narrative stuff in their IE campaigns, like having the female announcer narrative uh, narrate successful missions, make them more interesting? Um, okay, so I'll just be brutally honest with you. I haven't touched any of the SOC campaigns on Realms of Chaos. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. So you're talking about IE? Um, yes. Look, to all right. Maybe for some people, that's not something that that I um, I consider important, personally. Like, I'm not really that interested in narrative campaigns. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're not important. Sorry, I, I thought you meant Realms of Chaos. I even though you, I just assume what you're writing. <laughs> yeah, it happens, it happens all the time. What's a good strat for Manfred on Legendary? Raise the dead. 
Just do lots of raising the dead. So I th thought just wiping out one of them would be enough. Let's get back before we get shot. The Giseo should start shooting that as soon as they come over here a little bit more. Yep, there we go. It just needed a little bit of a tip over. What's SAC? SOC, Shadows of Change. Have you felt the AI is making bigger empires now? Yes, I have been feeling like the AI has gotten a bit more aggressive. They're still really cowardly on the campaign side of things when dealing with the player, but the major factions do tend to build more of a power block now than they used to. Still not to where they were in Warhammer 2, but they're at least, they're at least not a complete pushover in the late stages now. Do you still hate Eshin Sorcerers? I think in some situations they are better because they stalk, for example, in a Brute Horror armor, army. Um, if you like using them, I don't want to discourage you from doing that, but I don't like them in any situation. Alright. Since we're pretty high on the food, let's go to Tier 4. Because we can't get to Tier 5 without getting more capacity. Now, the big problem with this is going to lower our combat capabilities against Aranessa, but I think I'll be okay. Chief Warlock, Ickit Claw! Alright, we don't have tons of money. Good I mean, sorry, tons of income. We didn't get any warp fuel, so that sucks. He's still at level 5, also that sucks. Second wind serum, that doesn't suck, that's what we wanted. Imagine getting adrenaline rush. <laughs> okay, need uh, two more levels to get Doom Flayer. But honestly, just getting second wind serum makes such a big difference for Ikaclaw. Good extra ammunition. Uh, Vecti can't recruit this turn. Because he's in the underway stance. And I kind of expect that Aranessa's forces, yeah, they are stronger than ours. So we need to outnumber them where possible. So let's get a Warlock Master that's disciplined. And get you to recruit some trash. Yeah, we don't need anti-large too much. Oh, no, she's got some large units. Oh, we'll use the missile units for that. Yeah, yeah. Warp lightness. Okay. And Must over here, we here. don't need this guy. Just stay there for now, just in case she goes up that way. So we're using Lucini as bait here. Oh, but legend, you'll suffer a defeat. It's fine. I'm not doing no defeat campaign. Um, use it as bait, because if she captures that settlement, she's going to have a weakened garrison, where that one will be at full strength. If she sacks it, we might actually be able to ambush her. Okay, at Sartosa, we should repair this, and we should get defenses, and no, that's crap. We barely trade with anyone. Um, we should get that, 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 and... Uh, Brother whom I had became a member for 18 months. Thanks for the millennia video. It was great. Congratulations on 500k subscribers. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Two skull reefs near legend. Lucky. What the fuck? Um, t y yeah. What was the other one? Yeah, but doing that on this stage here, I probably wouldn't be able to win that battle. So, kind of irrelevant right now. Okay, you know what? Don't worry about that, since we're not really going to be trading with anyone. I doubt it. Usu usually, I don't get trade agreements with anyone. Top knots want non-aggression pact. We'll just do... Nah, don't bother. Won't get much out of them for that. And I don't want to piss off Scarbrand. No. Diplomacy is not Skaven's strong point. Alright, what do we need in order for this? Researching three technologies. Okay. Um, so what are we going to build here? Put that one there. 
We definitely want to build this one here. Yeah, because we want to get the extra food per turn. And then here. We can, we can get the um, weapon teams from Skaven Blight soon. It'd be good to get Plague Priests, but I need money for that. So, I'll, I'll get that in the next few turns. Alright. No, actually, we should try to prioritize it, because... I've got a bunch of saved characters it, it would be good to get. Alright. Yeah, you just chill there. Okay, we should have enough... We should be in the red next turn, actually. Alright, so, actually get rid of you. Okay, and let's move on. Does Beastman normal movement also like Zinch Warp? I keep getting counter ambushed on my Skaven learning campaign. Yeah, they can ambush attack. It's not like, um, it's not the same as Zinch because Zinch is unblockable. All right, let's hope she occupies it. Should I fight this manually just to mess with her? No, she doesn't have any bloated corpses. That's the only time I would miss. How many of these do we get? Two. Actually, you know what? I will fight this manually. Because two menace belows. I might be able to knock out some of these deck gunners with that. Maybe. Because, yeah, taking out those deck gunners would be really good. The rest of our army is trash. Aranessa herself will be a little bit difficult to deal with. You dropped your last Ikit campaign because I was one foot short of a tier 5 Sartosa. Okay. I love Skaven, but I don't know what what witch to start with and what's a good option for a first timer. For uh, I reckon Ikitclaw is a good one for a first timer. Because Skaven Blight is one of the best defensive positions ever in the game. Yeah, that's that's what I would start off with. And as for what to do, you can mimic what I do or just figure it out on your own um, and just, just see how you go. Okay, so I'm mainly trying to utilize the menace below here. What we want to do is try to get the deck gunners to shoot at us so that they are not advancing with the rest of their army. Okay, that deck gunner is shooting. If I can just take out one deck gunner, I'll be happy. Did he say dick gunner? We have to wait for a lot of their units to leave the area, or else... Or else I'll just turn back around and I won't have enough time to kill it. Okay, uh, we better make this quick because this is, this is not going to last long. Yeah, this is not going to last long here. And this is how you play Skaven. You lose battles, but you be super freaking annoying to the enemy. Like, losing that deck gunner is a fucking catastrophe for them. That is a big loss for them to lose this in this battle. Really big loss. Okay, I'd love to get the other one, but our army is in full friggin' retreat. In fact, the only thing that's keeping us going is our, um, <laughs> summons. Just buy me a little bit of time. This is working. Raise dead, hello? Yeah, but she might raise dead a um, bloated corpse. It's unlikely she'll raise... Oh, uh, yeah. It's unlikely this will get raised. But it is possible. Oh, well, you know. Oh, well. Nuke? Save the nuke for the actual battle. 
Yeah, that one will survive. Because they're the battle, that one routed. But still, just taking out that deck gunner there was worth fighting it. Because that wouldn't have happened in order resolve. So we took out one of their best units. Nuke them. I've only got one nuke. Save it for the actual battle. Because what happens if I nuke them and then they recover heaps? Very stupid to use a nuke here. Um, Elemental Exposure became a member for 12 months. Hey, can you stack multiple types of regen on a monster? I'm on a thro throt run and was thinking about putting the Hunger Mutation on a Brood Horror. Yes, that'll work. Thanks for the chat. Does respecking your lord still cause you to lose loyalty? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay. That one didn't get revived, so she, she could still raise the dead and get another unit, but let's see. She occupied it, okay. What's she gonna do? Alright, if we can launch the attack on her there, we should have enough force to be able to beat her without any real difficulty. Then we just push our way up to Miragliano. Which we should try to take Miragliano at tier 5, because if we take these two settlements here, we should be able to get to 120 food capacity. Caustic did a 100 pound super chat, which is like 200 Australian dollar reduce. Thank you for all your amazing content. You kept me sane during lockdown and long after. Here's to you, the legend of Total War. Thanks, that's super generous of you, dude. Here, have a heart. Yeah, Ligma alert. That's very generous. Alright, good. So, what ended up happening here? Let's see. No, she has got 20 this. units, so she raised the dead. We just don't know what she raised the dead on. Now, our forces are going to fight like shit in this coming battle because... Where is it? Leadership minus 10 all armies. However, our armies don't rely very heavily on leadership. <laughs> so, we'll see, we'll see how we go. Alright, Ikit, get ready. Here we go. Chief Warlock, Ikit Claw. Hmm. At least you got regen. Is Katarin Sledge still OP? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. What did she get? Looks like she got a unit of zombie pirate gunnery mob. Close defeat. Chaotic Cubism did a two dollar two pounds of chat. Oh, sorry, I already read that out. Um, hey, Snake Node Gamma, how's it going, dude? After almost eight thousand total hours, I'm finally trying Skaven. Nice timing on stream today. Cool. Cool. Good luck with it. All right, you come up over Sorcerer here. Yes, yes. <laughs> now I have in the past yes. underestimated Vampire Coast. And it's not exactly bringing a lot of force. We're trying to rush towards monstrous plans. That's really good. Is there something else I should get in the meantime? Because that only takes one turn. Yeah, get that one first. It only takes one turn. Why slow down too much? Valiant defeat. Okay, we managed to get back up to here though. So we're only at minus five leadership. Oh good, she's on her crab. <laughs> that actually makes her weaker. Okay, we should definitely target her. I'm just thinking, should we... If I hire a single menace below, and it's going to weaken our army. Alright, what's the map look like? Nuke time? This might be the nuke time, yeah. See how we go. All right, let's do this. This middle tech gives you food. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll have another look at that. Um, much needed laughs did a subscribed at tier one for six months in advance. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. That's very generous. I'm not asking for much, just legend to talk like a Skaven. Oh, I do it when it's appropriate. I don't do it that much these days. I feel like it's a little bit cringe now. Alright. Well, our reinforcements will definitely be helpful. This is not the best map ever. Not the worst. Yeah, 
Yeah, taking a heal over here is probably not a good idea. We definitely don't want to fall all the way back. In the trees would be a bad space for us. Our reinforcements are going to take two minutes to arrive, and they are not going to wait for us. But they do mosey in fairly slowly. And our units are quick. Nothing to keep in mind is that Skaven Slave Slingers perform like ass in auto resolve, but actually perform a lot better in manually resolve. So, you guys are good to go. Alright, and you go be super annoying. Alright, let's do this. They don't seem to want to advance. Well, that's very stupid of them. Good. Buys me time to bring in some reinforcements. And to generate some magic. She doesn't even have a wizard, does she? No, yeah, no, no, she doesn't have a wizard. She's making a tactical error here. If I was in her position, I'd rush at me right now. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> I would have rushed a minute 40 ago. All right, let's move up a little bit because this flank is better protected just by a bit. And then we can put these guys up here and protect that flank. You guys can protect over here. Bring the heroes in. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, don't underestimate Skaven Slaves. They can actually be really good. Alright, you guys will hold the line as best as you can. But Ikit will go now and annoy them. You get around their back, so see if you can get someone to chase after you. I don't feel like I'm going to need the nuke. But I'm willing to use it if things go belly up. If we win here, this is the end of Aranessa, one way or another. Do you think that when Dogs of War comes, Aranessa will switch factions? I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. I got a like a bit of a insider information about what the next few DLCs are gonna look like, and I didn't see any dogs of war in there. Um, the plan may change, but I am of the opinion at the moment that post Thrones of Decay, the next few DLC are actually gonna be a bit smaller. I don't think we're getting any more race packs, but we will see. So. I, I'm not going to speculate on a faction that I don't think is coming. How long does it take to rebuild the nuke? You can bank one every five turns, but you need to have food and um, warp fuel. And I haven't gained any warp fuel in this campaign so far. Just been unlucky with it. Because every time you fight a battle with a warlock engineer, you have a chance of obtaining warp fuel. And I just haven't gotten any yet. Yeah, you. Quick mode. Chase. Quick fast. All right, that should get them to come at us. If we can get some of them to come early, that'd be good. Scatter. Claw's already done decent amount of damage. Your speculation, not even 100 laws, is scary. Uh, look, I, I may be a bit... That may have been an exaggeration. I, I don't know about that. Some people pointed out that we're already really close to 100 anyway. It's just... Okay, so this this is the things that I've been hearing. You, you gotta keep... You gotta take this with a pinch of salt. I get a lot of doomsayers... Um, like, leak information to me. Well, what I mean with that is that the information that comes to me, which I pass on to you guys, it's usually people saying it's shit. Like, like what's going on at CA? And that, basically, don't get your hopes up. It's all falling to pieces. That's the kind of stuff that I'm hearing. Now, that doesn't mean that that's the case. It doesn't mean things can't get turned around. But from what I'm hearing, it's that smaller DLCs are coming in future. They're not going to be smaller DLCs at $25. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Nagash? Um, yes, I, th I have heard Nagash is coming. 
in the very last DLC. But we'll see. We'll see. He'll be the very last DLC. Among other things. Good, they're spreading their forces out to try to catch us over here. That's what I wanted. If I do that, they'll just dodge me. So, it gets done a bit of damage. Okay. Yeah, you should be fine charging. They actually send a really much the very uh, a wrong unit to go and go after. <laughs> like, this is an anti-infantry unit they sent after a large one. That was very silly of them. They should not have put Aranessa on this mount. That was very dumb of them. That is the worst mount in the game. Because it just makes it so easy for me to shoot her. And she's not even quick now. Yeah, she's going down pretty quickly. Okay, Rattling Guns you. I'm not going to get into range. Lure on a wild goose chase. She might use the um, her net. <laughs> it's getting her to go the wrong way. Good. I mean, our guys are taking a bit of damage here and there, but that's okay. That low leadership is really sort of hurting us. I've got to concentrate on the battle. If you've got any questions, I would just recommend just, just wait a little bit. Yeah, Ikiclaw is able to regen while in casting spells, so that's working out really well for us here. Guys here. I wasn't expecting them to do much. Going after that one. Okay, we got we got incoming here. Move that back a bit. Just hold them back. You need to move back to here. Jason's back in there. Yeah, they're trying to get rid of our rattling guns, which is definitely the right call for them to make. back. Yeah, the low leadership really hurting us in this battle. We're okay. Okay, these two here move back. They're getting sniped by the enemy. Did we kill Aranessa? trouble here, just because of our really poor leadership. Keep running back, guys. Okay, the gun's back in action, good. Okay, 
Yeah, you stay back now. Ikaclaw is absolutely fine, and he's worth a lot of our balance of power. Yeah, this really bad leadership hurts us so much here. We're okay. Totally fine if we take tons of damage. Oh no, we didn't kill Aranessa, so there she is. Get out of the way. She's really badly damaged, but she's not dead. Come on guys, you need to hold this shit back. You get over there, hold them back. Doomplay is doing a decent job. They're really trying to kill my rattling guns. We still got heaps of units, they're just... Friggin', it's just a friggin' mess, that's all. Come on, rattling guns. My god. Yeah, that low food is making this battle so much more difficult than it otherwise would have been. I need the rattling guns to like get into an actual good position. Like I said, the terrain is kind of shit. Get this one back a bit. Okay, there's the army losses we want. Definitely a, a, a scruffy fight. Uh, just due to our fucking terrible leadership, which will be improved by winning this battle. Yeah, that was a very messy fight. Time for a nuke. I didn't feel like at any point that we needed it. It was just, the problem here was just our guys have low leadership because we're really low on food. And we're using trash units. I mean, the auto resolver said we would lose the battle. And we're not badly damaged. It's just that our units constantly routed because we had no leadership. And this is kind of, this is why you, in some cases, you should try not to use up all of your food right before a big battle. But, what was supposed to do, otherwise I'd just have a huge surplus and wouldn't be able to use it. Everything worked out fine, no units are wiped out. Who cares? No units are wiped out. Kill Aranessa. The, the problem with that is I didn't have any units in range to get her. I did try to get the Giselles to shoot her, but they're not super high rank just yet, so they didn't, they uh, took too long. She didn't do much damage. Why not send Ikit to kill off Aranessa? Um, Ikit's not good against fighting her in melee. She would beat him. Like, everything's fine. There's nothing to panic about here. Oh my god, Legend took some casualties. What a loser. <laughs> Alright, let's go Keep it at tier one. Mmm, regeneration while at sea. So good. All right, well... Yeah, look, we still didn't get warp fuel from that. Hmm. Right, he's having trouble with his um, amount of health. Yeah, Vectic, if I ever need to ambush, I'm going to need you to do it. Uh, Nick McCabe did a J-O-Ed 10 super chat. I can barely describe my excitement to see Legend streaming and it's Icky Claw. Congrats on 500k. You deserve it and more. No worries, dude. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you very much. I don't know what currency J-O-Ed is. Alright. Do we want more increased mobility? Yeah. And yeah, get more ammunition. I like this plot. Mm. All right, so we're done with this line here. Next thing for Ikat Claw. 
A bit of extra campaign movement range would definitely help. Ancient Cunning is awesome, but also putting two points into Warp Lightning is very good. Someone was saying that putting two points into this doesn't reduce the Winds of Magic cost. No, it does. It does. Alright, I'm going to transfer these units here. And then tell this guy to go. This will just save us some money. Alright, looking good there. Yep. Yep, that's good. And let's get that. Awesome. Alright, we've got to get ourselves 120 food if we want to push that up to tier 5. Thing is, that settlement really helps with getting food, so it may be worth it just to push it to tier 4, because that'll put me at absolute zero food as well, which isn't good. So Morgan is just going to probably sit around here and just twiddle his thumbs for a little while. It's Jordanian Din Dinar? Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Alright. Choose your next wish. Oh, Nothing that we could do is take Riff Raffa and then peace out with her and then go after By my hammer, I should slay you. Yeah, Skaven Slave Slingers is not gonna cut it against him. We need to get rattling guns and stuff, so for that we need to get to here. And we're three turns away from developing that. Alright, let's just move on. Uh what do we got here? No, that's crap. It's not worth this money. Ten thousand JOD is so much. What? Uh, it, it looks like it'd be about ten to twenty dollars based on the color of the super chat. Behold my infernal weapon. Hmm. It's tempting. It's tempting. Yeah, you can roughly tell how much money a super chat is worth based on the color. If it's red, it's over a hundred US dollars. If it's if it's purple, it's about fifty. Fifty to a hundred. If it's orange, so not not golden, but orange is about twenty. Golden is about ten. Green is about five. Blue is about two. That skill doesn't decrease the cost of a Master Engineers. Been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure yeah, I think that's always been the case, and I'm pretty sure it says that as well. For while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. Oh, you mean Master Engineers or Warlock Engineers? Because with Warlock Engineers, it's always been the case. See, it doesn't... Um... Yeah, it just gives you access to Warp Lightning. It doesn't reduce the cost on it. We're still bad with food, so yeah, that minus five leadership really hurt us in the previous battle. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go send that to Ulthwan. There's no ramifications for that. Uh, do that at the end of this turn when we're standing here. And... Did they put that army... Yeah, that guy ran off somewhere this way. I have sunk the Scabrous. You do not threaten me, rat. Mm. I would like that money. Ten turns of peace. Warp lightning! Your man I mean, these guys here are weak. We should definitely take this one way or another. I wonder if Vectik could just do it on his own. And I'll send Ikaclaw over here. Scorch. Ooh, probably not. Not if there's those units there as well. Annihilate. Good, we're on our Doomflayer now. Order resolve, not acceptable. Don't want to lose clan rats. Um...
Yeah, fight it manually, it'd be easy. Uh, Giga Johnson did an ISK 500 Super Chat. Excited for Dwarf Rework? Well, sort of. I'm definitely excited for a Dwarf Rework, but we don't have any details about what the Dwarf Rework is going to be. And don't forget, they said race updates. You've got to be very careful when reading Creative Assembly language because they're... They're very specific and vague. They said race updates, which could mean basically just some minor changes here and there. Because let's think about what the race updates were for Shadows of Change. It was basically nothing, very minor stuff. Um, th that might be the case with dwarfs. I, I don't expect anything major just yet. It doesn't mean that they're not going to do something big for it, but... Yeah, just, just be wary. That's all I'm saying. Don't get your hopes up. That way, you'll be pleasantly surprised if it's good. Nice beard, Legend. Thanks. I grew up myself. <laughs> oh my god, I'm ready to be a dad. It. You put them in melee. Oh, they still try to dodge it. Sometimes more successfully than others. How many races are being updated? Three. So, Empire, Dwarfs, and Nurgle. Nurgle, I think, needs it the most, but people have been clamoring for a dwarf update for a very long time. Hello, I for Kids Legend. Um, well, Kid's not born yet. Ten more weeks to go. Wife is getting uncomfortable, but she's a trooper. She's she's doing the best she can. She's doing very well. Will your daughter go by Off Total War, or will she take your partner's last name? Well, my my wife took my last name, so she's Mrs. Of Total War, <laughs> Mrs. Legend. That's her actual name in real life. And um, as for my daughter, we'll let her decide what if she wants to be Of Total War or not. Chances are she's probably not going to be interested in Total War. I mean, typically speaking, I, d I mean, I just, I don't picture her being interested in these games. I just don't think that's likely to happen. But, you know, if she is, awesome, I'll support her one way or another. But I, I think it's pretty low chances. I'm not getting my hopes up for that. Dropkick did a $5 super chat. Yo, I just want to say thanks for the years of great content. You really helped me step up my gameplay up. Step my gameplay up. I can play on hard and have fun, lol. Well, that's good. Good. Good job. That's the main thing, that you're uh, enjoying yourself. Yeah, I don't even need these troops here. Okay, you're taking a bit of damage, just hang back. Actually, you guys, get back over this way. Fortnite? Hey, if she's into Fortnite, I'll support her. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to gatekeep her interests. Children always copy their parents? No, they don't. I didn't copy my parents' interests at all. In fact, if you look at my family, like my siblings and everything, we've all got completely different interests. It, none of us are doing the same thing. I 
primary losses should be up in any moment. But still get to heal. Oh no, I don't get to heal the full health. Right, bring these guys out, they're better at handling single entities. Why did you just cast for nothing? But yeah, back on the previous topic, I do hope that the dwarf, or just all of the reworks are substantial. I just, I just don't know. Just gotta wait and see. What if she becomes a furry? I don't care. A uh, fury. Mr. Nar, though. It's not a parent's job to judge their kids. Let her find her own way. But yeah, you never know, like, maybe at 10 years old she'll be like, I love Total War, and hey, if that's the case, great. But I just think that that is an unlikely scenario. Alright, cool, and we got a good amount of food from that. Let's just occupy that at tier one. Could set up an undercity. No. Could set up an undercity at Miragliano before they get it to tier two. Because, yeah, we need 60 more food if we want to push this to tier five. I could just sack it for a while, but that's not really very interesting. And if I'm going to sack anything, I usually prefer a minor settlement. Um, got to think about that. Um, Apelia did a CZK100 super chat. Me watch you six cycles and see. Here, my first tribute here, here. Um, me oh my god, I really don't like it when people write this way. Uh, me say, say good, good for many new members. That, yes, yes. Okay, thanks dude, appreciate that. <laughs> Alright. Let the bear scream, scream. Vectique is really starting to take some damage there. I just... Could maybe force march him. Nope, can't get back there. Chief Warlock, <laughs> yeah, see, that, that'll be good to get more warp fuel, for sure. Um, let's see here. I think another point into Warp Lightning is going to really be useful. Howling Warp Gale is not really necessary since um, Ica Claw's got it. And we're not dealing with a lot of flying units, so not urgent. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we want to perform the Scheme of Doom. Ten, in 10 years, there probably won't be Total War. Well, there might not be new Total War games, but there might be old ones. There'll be old ones. Like, Medieval 2 will still exist in 10 years, as an example. I just don't know. I just don't. Like I said, I don't know what my kids are going to be interested in, and I'm not going to force anything down their throat. If they're not interested in Total War, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. Okay, I think one of the best places to set up an Undercity is actually over here. Yes, yes. We don't want to go to Ulth 1. <laughs> no siree. Alright, so someone was saying something about food. Yeah, Ruthless Plans will generate one food per turn. It only takes one turn to use it, so let's get that. Um, so yeah, one food per turn. Well, you know, that's not nothing. Then... See, I want to keep Vectique around, but he's quite badly damaged. I can't go into Encamp Stance, used up too much movement. 
The dwarves are in really good shape, and he's only at war with Crooked Moon Mutinous Gits, which means it's likely he's going to pick a fight with me. So it might be in our best interest to actually head back down this way, just get the peace treaty with them, to score shitloads of money, and I'll come back to them later. Yeah. Because I don't have the food to push this to tier 5. I can set up an undercity, but it's just not worth it. Because we, we, we should now start working on tier 5 stuff. Making our way over here is okay. We want to get there before the ogres do. But at the same time, that's a decent amount of money as well. More than the settlement will give us. Um, I could wait I could wait until next turn and set up an undercity. But it's, it'd only be for a couple of turns. Or I could... Because, mm. yeah. What do you want? We gotta, we gotta try to anticipate what Clan Angrund is gonna do. They're probably gonna declare war on me if I capture this, but if we don't, then they're probably gonna declare war on parts of Sartosa, which means they'll occupy the settlement. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna get the peace treaty. Because I think that Clan Angrund is gonna go after them. That's what I think. Because they're super weak. And what we'll do is we'll swing around over here and fight this. If Clan Angren takes these territories, who cares? It's garbage. Doesn't matter. Okay, what we could do with Vectik is actually bring him over here. We won't take attrition there. But that puts him vulnerable to the Border Princes, if they've got any armies nearby. A little bit of more attrition should be fine. Just go into channeling stance, make your way over here, and maybe he'll launch the attack next turn if Ikaclaw can't make it. We still haven't gotten any additional warp fuel, so that's been very unlucky. But yeah, we've got capacity now for 120 food, so let's focus on this province here, maybe get Myrmidons to tier 5. I know Mirai Glan is very good, but we can just come back and get it later. Alright. Nothing else to do here. And what we really want to do at the early stage of the campaign is just punch down on weak targets to try to get loads of food. Anything that's got armies, something that we can generate loads of food. It's not about gaining a lot of territory, it's about getting food. Legend, have you done an Undercity Focus campaign? Is it fun viable? I have tried to do it in the past, in my own time, and I did not find it fun, so I lost interest really quickly. But other people have done it, and they enjoy it, and that's cool. That's, that's what they like to do, go for it. Um, but for me personally, I find it very boring. Warlock Laboratory, Undercity, and the Galleon's Graveyard. Yes, yes. Well, if I go over there, I might meet the High Elves. We really don't want to do that. I <laughs> don't want to meet the High Elves. So what I want to do is actually put it towards... What, what I like doing is setting up Undercities in the um, Fort Settlements, because those have no economic value to me whatsoever. So I put it in a Fort Settlement, and that way it actually generates food. Uh, Matthew did a $10 super chat. Congrats on the baby. I'm a new dad of six months. Twin boys. I had very... Tough time in the beginning, but things got much better around the five months. Stay strong. Get a baby Brezza if you're doing formula. Okay. Um, we haven't got the baby yet, but I appreciate the super chat. Um, hope, yeah. Well, congrats to you as well. Um, Exile Gerate did a CZK 100 super chat. Why do you dislike spell intensity? Doesn't it make the spell stronger? Dirthu, Yuan, Bo, Kairos can get it to 200% and makes the spells twice as damaging. Yep. Okay, look. I, I'm not trying to dis... Um, spell intensity. I just don't prioritize it because I think the time that you put into investing into it, it doesn't provide a return, like a good return on uh, your time investment because most spells are used against infantry. For the most, at least the spells that I use. And most spells that I use one shot kill the infantry anyway. So making them more powerful is not that useful to me. So what I prefer is to reduce the winds of magic cost so that I cast more weaker spells than lots of overpowered spells that overkill the characters that I'm going after. But you know, if, if you like spell intensity, don't let me stop you. Um, I just don't personally feel that getting to 200% is a big deal. Your man gods and dubious masters. Oh, nice. 
So these guys here have got nothing. Let's go. Let's go take them out. Yep, Ikki Claw can make it. And this just gives us some time to generate some resources while we're trying to get the rattling guns going. Picked up Millennia, yes sir, because of you. Raiders OP as fuck. I also think scouts more important than soldiers early. What do you think? I, th I like to go for a mix early. Um, I think scouting is definitely really useful, but I also like to get my armies up and running quickly to like capture up the uh, barbarian settlements. Um, and and the like the the neutral sort of factions. If I order resolve this, he's gonna take even more damage. Nah, I'll be fine. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually a lot of casualties, but we'll be fine. Why don't we sack an occupier? That's a good item. That'll be good for Ica Claw. Wait, Ica Claw's already wearing armor, isn't he? Yeah. I'll give it to Vectique. Alright, now, Ica Claw's army is in pretty good shape, so I'm gonna have Vectique occupy this. And that way I can put him in channeling sense. Also, this has got lots of winds of magic here, so that's good. No, okay. What we should do instead, go into Force March, so that we can actually get to Verdanos next turn. Progress. Yes. Yeah. Probably should have fought that manually. Okay, what are we doing here? Got the two points into Warp Landing. Musk of Fear will reduce their leadership and melee attack, which is very good. You know, for what? Five, eight seconds, that's okay. Hell in Warp Gale. We're not fighting any flying units out here, so I don't think we need to prioritize that. Uh, getting Ancient Cunning. Yeah, let's get Ancient Cunning. That's pretty important. Scorch is also very good to get. We got some more uh, Warp Fuel, so that's good. So hopefully we should reach Verdanos next turn. Because of that. All hail, Hornet Rat. Uh, leave that for now. Shit. How much money are you making? Not much. So that gives me four turns. So there will definitely be a revolt. And it's going to be hard to predict exactly where it is. And I don't really care. Because <laughs> this is generating me extra food. Hmm. Maybe I should send Vectique to come back over here and sort this out. So you just get some more of this. Because I think um, Ikaclaw can handle this on his own for now. i got to get myself some rattling guns, though. Um, Aaron Daggett did a $5 super chat. Love your work, and especially whenever you play Skaven. Keep up the great content. You're awesome, dude. Uh, thanks, dude. You're awesome as well. Do you think you might do a live stream in Millennia one of these days? It's possible. It's possible. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, let's try to get towards Monstrous Plans. Sartosa is okay. Yeah, that should maintain public order because it's still got minus seven instability. All right, we've also got Plague Priests available here. Oh no, not sneaky. No, not sneaky, cunning. Okay, that's got to get over to Ikit Claws. Yeah, the sooner we recruit these guys, the sooner they can get leveled up, which is really important. Because at rank one, they're not that useful. All right, what else are we doing? Got a decent amount of money in reserve. Yeah, I think I'll send Vectic back over here to sort no out the revolt. Because I need to hold on to the settlement to keep my 
stockpile up. But do I though? I don't know if I really do. Because I want Vectic to keep leveling up. That's the whole reason I recruited him, is to, to get him trained. Would you say that Blackguard of Nagarond are good melee units if we exclude their price? Yeah, they're okay, as long as they go up against the right units. They're slow, they're... Thing is, expensive units can be detrimental to your overall uh, battle situation if they get targeted, which the AI is pretty good on the higher difficulties, uh, diff difficulties to um, target your most expensive units. And so if they're using their archers to shoot at your Black Guard of Nagarond and nuking your units, it's really hurting your balance of power. So it just depends. You know, a lot of people will go, oh, strong unit equal good. But honestly, sometimes strong units are not good. It always depends on the situation. Wouldn't it make more sense to level up Warlock Engineer Lord? Yeah, but people like Vectique, so... You, you are right that Warlock Engineers are better in this campaign. However, we managed to get a sneaky Gracier of Plague, which is what Vectique is. Which is why I went for it. I will parley with okay, you. they haven't gone to war yet. Right. Yeah, we can reach for Danos. Occupy... Good, a bit of extra money for that, that's good. Still plenty of movement left over. Yeah, because Vectic wasn't going to be able to make it. We have a look over here. Yeah, there's... Oh, hang on, hang on. This went down by a fair bit. Oh, that's because our food supply went up. That improved our growth and control all provinces, so... We're still at minus five. It's got minus eight instability. And it's got devastation minus one, which is about to be affected. It's quite possible that there won't be a revolt except for external factors. Another thing to consider is... Okay, that doesn't cause us any public order problems, so it's actually kind of good that it's there. Because the more... Sorry, the less vampiric corruption... Sorry, sorry. The less Skaven corruption, the better for us. <laughs> the better. Yeah. Alright, I was going to send Vectic back, but I don't think we need to now. I saw there was an army that ran off that way. I think he's standing right there. Alright, yeah, Vectic should... Force March. We'll probably get him to occupy it. Uh, I don't know. Don't you prioritize meeting the other Skaven factions? Well, four. They will hate you at the beginning. Yeah, what's the point of meeting the other Skaven factions? Um, Wolf's Paul became a member for 35 months. Legend playing in Claw, thank you. No, it's dude, my pleasure. Go sack Myrmidons for first of food. If I sack that settlement, I'm not going to be able to get over to here. I need to get here first. Actually, that's not necessarily a bad idea. I don't think it makes much difference. Alright, if we auto this, no one's going to get wiped out. But There's ogres and dwarfs nearby, so I kind of feel like we should fight this manually to keep our forces at full strength. Did Paradox watch your video and give you any feedback, or just Corpo talk? Um, they didn't give feedback about the video. They just they gave me very much free reign to just make whatever video I want. Um, from I I have, I've now got a much better relationship. Well, let me just put it this way: I have a relationship now with um, with uh, Paradox. Like I'm I'm not in their partner program, but I've now spoken to their um, to like their community manager. And they're definitely keen to work with me in upcoming stuff. And that's great. That's great. So the, uh, they seem to be very happy with how my video performed. So that's good. That's good. And if you guys enjoyed that game, awesome. Like, I enjoyed it. I wouldn't have made a video on it if I didn't. But yeah, what happens with Paradox going forward, we'll see. 
you know, it, it actually could be possible. I doubt it, but it could be possible that's, that a year from now, I might be playing Paradox games on the channel. That I kind of feel like Paradox might be being a bit of a vulture and trying to snatch up all the Total War YouTubers at the moment, because the Total War YouTubers are struggling at the moment. You know, it's not it's not been a great time to be a Total War YouTuber. You know, I'm doing fine, but a lot of people are really struggling. And so the the vultures are circling the carcass at the moment. Carcass being Creative Assembly. Because, you know, their partner program, uh, it's Creative Assembly, so it is, is in shambles. They basically had to reset it. A lot of people that were in the program decided not to go back into it. At least they told me they weren't going to go back into it. Um, I should probably do this. Try to hold them back. But we'll see, you know, things change so quickly these days. One day, one company is in the shit, the next day it's completely turned around for them. You just never know what's going to happen. Because, like, if you just think just two years ago, as in 2021, Creative Assembly was on, like, the biggest high ever. It's such a huge fall from grace. And they could, they could turn things around. And I hope that they do. I'm rooting for Creative Assembly. I hope they do turn it around. The thing is, and this is really important, they're not going to turn it around if people just mollycoddle them. I don't believe in soft love. <laughs> I don't believe in it. I think it's it's not very useful. And people can do whatever they want. If, like, if they, if they want to give soft... soft uh, discipline, whatever, that's up to them. And that's one of the reasons why I've been so harsh on them. Because I want them to be better. So I'm rooting for them. Have I played Stellaris? Yeah, i played like a thousand hours of Stellaris. Love that game. Don't know if it really works well on the channel because it is very much like a just a complete sandbox game. Um, maybe if I had made a video on it when it first came out, that could have been good. But I don't think me making a video on Stellaris is going to do anything for the channel. CK3 stream, let's go. Maybe. Maybe. It's hard to be a Total War streamer when new content comes out so infrequently. Well, it depends. Um, if you're if you're a good streamer, you don't need new con you don't need new DLC to come out all the time. You could just make it on what's currently existing, but a lot of people, it does definitely help when new DLC comes out, especially for the smaller guys. Why am I not using control groups? Because I'm not microing them. I'll use, like in a micro intensive battle, I will use control groups, but that was not a micro intensive battle, so why bother? I might run out of movement if I do that. Okay, we're pretty good for food now. We can at least get it to tier four. Yeah, just um, spend a minute. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep that under Empire there for very long. Have you played the Invictus mod for Imperator Rome? I haven't played Imperator Rome since it first came out. I've heard it's improved a lot, and I might give it a go someday. But I, I have, I just haven't played it in a really long time. All right. Well, I'm not able to recruit anything. Actually, no, I can recruit this turn if I get Vectic to pull some of these units out. Why don't we do a bit of a switcheroo? Let these guys get replenished. And I'll give Vectic these four. And that way it could claw... Whoops. You yeah, know, you keep... Yeah, give the uh, the um, full strength units. The Under Empire spreads. Yes, no, yes. I could get clan rats. Nah. Nah, just just missile spam. This is this is good terrain for missile units. Stamen Rice, greatest, best inventor. This is looking good there. 
demon caller. So then there's then there's this guy here. Oh my god. Well, ogres are shit, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. If we get the jump on him, we'll see. How, how does he feel about us? He doesn't hate us, so he's at war with Barak Var. So maybe that'll keep him busy. That's good. Bring that one in. Okay, yeah. We definitely want to build this up as much as possible. Makes a big difference in defensibility. But we really need this one as well because that provides us with one food. And yep, that'll be fine. And yeah, don't invest too much in these minor settlements because they're too easy to take over. Main thing here is to focus on the major settlements. So I could set up an Undercity here, but I might come up through this way and set it up at Helmgard, or even Fort Bergbress up here. Because I'm in no... Oh, hang on. we got four of this. Okay, so with this one here... Oh, hang on. Um, Abdaman100 did our $5 super chat. Any advice for a tech rush build in Millennia? I started playing it after watching your video, but I'm having trouble staying ahead of the AI. Um, look, I wouldn't claim myself to be an expert at the game. My advice for tech rushing is, yeah, I don't have any advice for that, to be honest. Just try to do overall well, and you should be able to build up your tech pretty quickly. If you focus too heavily on tech, your other things might fall behind. So just try to keep a balance of things. That That's my advice, as someone who is not an expert in the game. Okay, so I could build a Doom Rocket, or I could go with... Um, this one here, which will give us more opportunity to get them later down the track. So basically, one Doom Rocket now, short term, or think more long term with this one. Because this will mean more Doom Rockets in the long run. Chance of... what else is there? Don't need that one straight away. Yeah, go with this one. Oh, that uses up some food, though. That's not good. <laughs> I need my food. Oh, it popped me back down to there. How dare it. That's fine. So, repairing this is cheap. That, that'll help with public order a little bit. Okay, let's move on. Actually, let me just check diplomacy. I might have something in here. Top knots. They're a bit more open to non-aggression. Nah, I, I want to be negotiating with... Um, Scarbrand, if I can. Okay, moving on. Maybe should be question, but can it sometimes be worth it to keep a stack city? Yes, it depends on the situation, though. It's not always worth doing. They they seriously nerfed how useful stack cities can be in Warhammer 3, but there are some situations where stack cities are very useful. So for Skaven, here's one situation. Killing legendary lords generates pretty much always 20 food. So if you bring a... Let's just say Vlad von Karstein. If you bring him down to just one settlement remaining, and it's a minor settlement, then keeping him alive and sacking him every single turn is a way to generate 20 food every single turn because he always comes back really quickly. Same thing with Marathi. She comes back really quickly. Um, but if you're just sacking a settlement that's got really low garrison and there's no lord attached to it, then you're probably only going to get like one or two food. It's not really worth it. Okay, that's a bit weird. More warp stone. Now, now! <laughs> Only true vengeance will make me happy. Is that what you offer? Says he's unlikely to declare war. Unlikely. Honestly, I, I find that to be pretty useless, that mechanic. Alright. Now we need 20 more food if we want this to be pushed up to... Tier 5. And this has got seven more turns. We should be able to generate 20 food 
and then be back over it. Then I won't have the food needed. No, not 22. I need 40 food, sorry. There's an army running around. And the ogres should be on their way. Myrmidons is tier 3. Alright, so you just come up through this way. Could put it on Fort Sol, but I'm going to go further up that way. Because, yeah, sacking this isn't going to provide that much food because it is only 11 units. With no general. Yeah. See, that would generate way more food. And that also hurt the dwarves a fair bit. What? Your man. But like I said, if I just sack this... Hang on, where's this character? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, there's no chance of me ambushing that, but it's possible, I think, for Vectic, because he's got 85% ambush success chance, right? Which means there's actually 10% chance of success <laughs> for him to ambush this one here. That dude might stand and fight just anyway, just because Vectic is filled with garbage. Because we want to try to get multiple battles out of it. Do we? No, because he won't be able to generate warp fuel. Alright, what if... What if, what if... What if we do this? What if you come around this way... If I go too far, it's not going to work. Scurry forward! More Warpstone! Alright, Vectic, you just go by yourself and smash this guy. I reckon he'll... Oh no, he's gonna stand and fight. How about that? Oh, fuck me! 10% chance of success and we got him. Vectic the Unstoppable strikes again. That worked out very nicely. Another thing I could do is just occupy this at tier 1. Because I've got a decent amount of capacity. We can just keep moving. And just abandon it later and rebuild it. Could do that. Otherwise I'll be stuck here for... Oh, not, not, not that long, honestly. All right, yeah, let's let's just um, let's just sack it. All right, I don't want to fight manually, but uh, I don't want to fight it manually. <laughs> but I'll lose a unit if I do. It's just a scaven slave. Yeah, replenishment's not fantastic. I don't want to fight it manually though. I kind of feel like I have to, don't I? God damn it. Raid. I don't think we've got enough movement to raid this turn, but yeah, raiding can generate a little bit of food. Why do you want this one at a higher level? Um, Because, like, more level equal better? <laughs> Do you ever build walls in minor settlements or only in capitals? It was a faction dependent. It's faction dependent. So when playing a Skaven, walls provide you with income. So Legend of Order Resolve, but I fought it manually. Um, it just depends. Like when I'm playing as the High Elves, I usually don't build defensive buildings. Just because they've got a lot of income buildings. But with the Skaven, every single one of their, well, not, not all of them, most of their buildings provide an income. And since having a minor settlement battle, makes it way more defensible than if you're just using field battle with the garrison they get. It gives you at least a chance. Plus it gives you a warp bomb, which is awesome. Alright, this is good. I can work with this. Okay. Probably get them to maybe come off the walls.
High Elf's tier 3 wall gives infinite winds of magic. Yes, as long as you've got a spe spellcaster in the army, that is correct. But what I mean by that is, the reason why I don't do it is because I so rarely have to defend my settlements playing as High Elves because I have so many armies because I'm so rich. Because I build economic buildings. So it, it just depends on the faction that you play as and the playstyle that you have. It's just not always the right call. Another case, dwarfs, I usually build defensive buildings in minor settlements with dwarfs because they usually only have one economic building. Usually. Depends. And they get attacked so frequently by bloody everyone. Plus five wins of magic. Yeah, I dodged it. Got a good amount of wins, so we'll get plenty of casting. They have no missile units up on the wall. Why don't I bring these guys up to shoot? Vegemite or Marmite? Ugh, I, I don't really eat either of them, to be honest. You're asking the wrong person. Favorite Australian food? Um, I prefer foreign food, to be honest. My favorite cuisine is Italian. So, I like the pasta. Oh god, I got shot in the face a fair bit there. Tempting to use a nuke, but for this kind of battle, what a waste. You know, if I'm rolling around in nukes, that's fine, but we got to get our uh, infrastructure going before we can really do that. Then, after Italian food, I think I prefer Indian food. But really, I, I like food from all over the world. There's very few places that I wouldn't try your local cuisine. There's nowhere I think, ew, I don't like that. Chinese food does give me tummy aches, though. <laughs> Maybe it's because I eat too much of it when I do eat. Indian food's so good. Oh, yeah. Why do you say a Doom Flayer is better than Doom Wheel? Because it's smaller. Size is a weakness in this game. Vimarain did a CHF20 super chat. Hi Legend, one thing I dislike about Solaris is devs often rework or change old in odd ways some of the core mechanics, passives. Don't get me wrong, game being updated is great, but often so much bothersome. I, I kind of agree with you. I remember when they made a big change to Solaris fairly early on, a long time ago. I didn't like it so much, but I, I get used to it. And the, the changes are usually good in the long run. But I get what you're saying. In many ways, Stellaris is a game that updates end up becoming like sequels because it is it gets so much support that game. Stellaris is amazing. I used to play Sins of a Solar Empire, but then once I got um, Stellaris, I was like, ah, I can't really go back to that one. <laughs> I like that game, but Stellaris just killed it for me. It's like what I was saying the other day. When uh, new, better games show up, people ditch older games, even if they love them. Like, I really like Sins of a Solar Empire, but I have not touched it since Dolaris. And, like, Medieval 1, as an example. I used to love Medieval... Well, I, I used to play the shit out of Medieval 1, right? And I don't play it anymore, at all, because Medieval 2 came out. And then there's Rome 1, right? I used to play Rome 1 like crazy, and then Rome 2 came out, and I still play Rome 1 like crazy, because Rome 2 is shit. <laughs> oh, Legend, what do you mean? How dare you say that about Rome 2? Now look, Rome 2 is not shit, it's just that I don't like it, it's just not for me. I prefer Rome 1. 
Rome 2 just didn't didn't tickle my dick the way that I wanted it to. mod room 2 and you'll have fun. I did try to mod room 2 and I didn't have fun. I downloaded a lot of mods for room 2. Nothing worked for me. Like the mods worked. I'm just saying nothing. Nothing managed to get to the point where I was like preferred. There was no mod that made me prefer room 2 over room 1. I would always just go back to room 1 and be like yeah this is better. Like there's obviously some things about room 2 that's better than room 1 but for me the combat is the main problem in room 2. That and the campaign mechanics, ugh. Just, just not. The politics mechanic, oh my god, so bad. Have you ever played Gary's mod? No. Funny I prefer Warhammer 2. I kind of prefer Warhammer 2 as well, in many ways. So I don't, I don't, uh, don't disagree with you. Shot over here. Oh crap, out of magic, and I didn't use enough of my healing. Oh well. You mean you don't enjoy the millions of civil wars in Rome 2? When, look, uh, when I played Rome 2 last, I didn't get into civil wars. Like, if you're good with the civil, uh, the, the, the politics, must stop, um, politics mechanic, you won't have a civil war. Yeah, that only happens if you're bad with it. Like, you don't know what you're doing. Huh. I haven't pulled this off in a while. Don't kick him into that. Oh wow, I haven't pulled this off in a while. And I did it with one character. Come on, can we do it? Just keep him busy for just a few more seconds. Damn! I haven't pulled that off in ages. Nice. Any advice for Drazoath campaign? Getting rid of Imric is easy, but then everybody else hates you, and you do not have that much money early. Um. No, I don't really have any advice. I just, I just super aggressive. Did you play Helldiver two? I have a lot of people saying to me, "You should play Helldiver two," but I don't have time. Riveting gameplay. Yeah, look, I would have auto resolved that personally. Um, but if I did, we would have suffered a lot of casualties, especially in the other army. And I have to prepare for the fact that I might be fighting either Clan Angrand or at, um, Scrag the Slaughterer, and I can't really afford to take additional casualties. I, I didn't want to fight that battle. And I understand that that was not riveting, but we've got more important things coming up. No point setting up an undercity here, only to. Um. Chief Warlock, Ikit Claw! Yeah, Ikit Claw might have enough movement to raid. Yeah, so that'll give us three food. Vectic, I want. Yeah, you get back over here, that way you get some replenishment. Okay. Lures of decay! 
The plague win. Ah. All right. All right, Vectig's got his um, ancient cunning sorted. Let's get the vermin tide. That's pretty important. Okay. Got to get to uh, ballistics instructor as quickly as possible. All right. Yeah, I really need this. We are just not generating enough warp fuel. Need to get it quicker. All right, public order over here. It's it's barely, but it is maintaining because we've still got the instability. Honestly, the more vampiric corruption here, the better, because it'll lower our corruption. This causes Skaven corruption. Maybe I should get rid of it. Is there anything that causes untainted for us? No. And that one here tries to get rid of other corruption. Maybe I should get rid of it. Because I'm not taxing the region anyway. Yeah, just get rid of it. Just try to keep it at as low Skaven corruption as possible. Alright, so we just got to get ourselves 120 food, and then we can push that to tier 5. Jason Edwards did a 1,000 yen super chat. Just did a 21 versus 80 Bretonia versus Tomb King battle. Cheers for the win. And I thought Legend would be proud. Thanks for all the tips. Cheers. No, it's dude, my pleasure. Glad you managed to uh, win a battle that you were outnumbered that much. At 21 versus 80, I'm assuming that you um, denied enemy reinforcements. Ah, uh, cheers. That's all good. Um, is Vectic important, or you just named a random seer this way? Uh, I do have one saved, but this one was available on turn one. He was a sneaky gray seer. If we have a look here, I've still got Vectic here. It's the exact. In fact, that one's rank four, whereas the other one that I've got here is rank one. Well, he was at rank one. I, I should have saved him. It's too late now. It's all good. Okay, then what are we doing? Public order here is hanging on by a thread. Upgrading this is fine. Don't upgrade any of these settlements. Coming along. Let's see if there's any diplomacy we can do. No. Okay, and this one, yeah, you go way up this way. Okay. Let's move on. Is there any benefit in using the Warlock Hero ability for generating warp fuel? You mean for like um, stealing research? Yeah, that's definitely useful. It can be useful. Problem is, if you do that, sometimes you can leave it behind, and it's very useful in, in your armies as well. Um, it, it depends on what you prioritize, whether it be... Oh, shit. They do not seem to pose a real threat to you. Hmm. I think what's happening here is that the AI is like, you're not fighting enough wars. Why does Aranesa have Maragliano? Um, I could have taken it off her, but I couldn't push it very high in terms of level, so I pieced out with her so that I can get some more food and then just go back and take it later. Okay, well that's good. All hail Hornet Rat! Magic wins. Good, he can reinforce from that position. That's good to know. Um, yeah, we're pretty close to getting the food that we need. And like this guy being in here allows... That means obey. we'll get more food from winning against him. I don't think we're going to get 14. We might be able to auto-resolve this one. Maybe, let's just see. Why, why not getting Plague Priest, S? I, I did! <laughs> I did get... Look! I got a Plague Priest. I already got one. Alright. Let's order that. Yeah, look how many cash these would take. Yeah, we didn't get enough. 
Shay Alex did a two pound super chat. Cheese for the cheese guide. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Rayeth Red Path did a five dollar super chat. Hey, legend. Love the content. About to go for an aspiring champion dim stack on Kolek. They just seem strongest in the Warriors of Chaos faction. Um, I don't think that that's a great combination, but if you want to do that, I'm not going to stop you. I mean, he should really have Shagus and uh, Dragon Ogres, but thanks for the chat. Alright, I wonder if they're going to come over this way. Could stay here and raid and get more food, but if I come over here, I'll get more replenishment, because obviously we took a lot of damage because I ordered that. I do like pushing settlements up to tier 5. Yeah, Wurzag declaring war on us is a l just feels a little bit weird. Like, he doesn't even dislike us much. He's way stronger than us. I kind of expect now that an army is going to jump in the under underway and attack us. Maybe I should just leave this at tier 1. Just occupy it now. Because there's nothing here at the moment. I'll just occupy it now. Still got some food left to go. My anger rises like the tide. No. Look, if we wait one more turn, I can push it to tier 5. It's just that I might need to defend this area from Wurzag. That's all. Alright, look. I should still be able to raid my own region, which will give us food. Like, who cares about the money? And who cares about the public order? Yeah, but look, if it's going to revolt next turn, that actually could work for us. So just don't tax it. And could you... Oh, that's not going to work for us. Third Party Studio did a 5 Do you have any advice for a younger YouTube channel? Subs come randomly and some videos take off and do good while others never be seen. Thanks. Um, look, every channel is different. You need to sort of read your audience as best you can. Try to read the analytics as best you can. Um... Constantly try to improve your content. Thumbnails and titles are really important. Tags are not that important. Um, to have a look what other people are doing that's similar to your content and try to do what... Yeah, tr see what they're doing and s try to do it better than them, if that makes sense. Thanks for Super Chat. But yeah, there is no one way to do run a YouTube channel. Alright, I'm going to put Vectik... Over here. The under spreads. It is no, I'm not. Demon caller. Clan Scryer. Shit. Because, yeah, he's quite vulnerable there. This is a garbage army. If we get attacked here, we're screwed. I don't care about Verdanos. Just, um, just stay over here. Like Going to ambush. Uh, no, go into channeling stance. Well, you're already at max wins of magic. Couldn't make up my mind, just stay there then. Yeah, we're not going to revolt this turn. We'll revolt next turn, which will be good, because it'll happen at Myrmidons, and we'll eat that revolt, which we're going to need to get that food very quickly back up. So, good. That's nice and stable there now. Yeah, just let that... Yeah, that's actually working out very well for us because we're making the amount of food that it's costing us and to increase our food supply. I'll we'll deal with it later. Okay, moving on. Okay, let me check diplomacy, see if there's anything interesting. No. And also check up here. Yep. Okay, and let's move on. So I'm expecting Wurzag to jump over here at some point. So we've got to keep our eye open. Our eyes open. If he jumps over here with shitloads of armies, we got to we can't be capturing that settlement. So I've really got to pay attention. That being said, if our entire forces got wiped out, we've actually got the capabilities of recruiting um, our weapons team very soon. Okay. 
So what we want to do here is just check to Your see if Wurzag is trespassing. No. Okay. That means he's not in their territory. Alright, this will finish off the Border Princes. Yep, that is going to be stabilized next turn, so that's good. More warp stone. Now, now. <laughs> and we'll be able to push this to tier 5. Now, the next problem then is that if Wurzag jumps over here and threatens us, we need time to develop our defenses. And he is way stronger than us. Like, this is kind of ridiculous how strong he is. He must have a war going. Uh, Raya Threadpath today, five dollars super chat. While I agree that Kurlik gives a bunch of buffs to Dragon Ogres and Shaggers, aren't aspiring champions as overpowered in general? Yes and no. S so are Shaggers. It just depends on what you prefer. Say in Force March for Supervisor trait. No, 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 right now. I don't want to put him at risk. The extra little bit of campaign movement range isn't worth putting him at risk right now. Okay, so we get this one. Oh, that's actually really expensive. Good that it generates so much food. Also 150 extra gold. Winds of Magic Power Reserve Capacity plus 2 all armies is good. And of course giving us access to lower uh, tier Gisales is very good. Five turns. But yeah, so it's half of the bloody money I got saved up. We've now got the food. If I occupy this, we are going to go down to here because we're going to just lose all of our food. Which, that's a bit of a problem because that means that public order from here is going to be... There's going to be a four public order difference, so that'll go down to minus five. No sign of any... Hang on, let me just have a little... No, we already checked. We get a little bit of food from winning the battle. Hmm. I mean, a revolt over here is not that big of a deal. That'll go down to minus seven, which will cause a revolt to occur, which isn't the end of the world. If I put an army over there and ambush whatever revolt shows up, we should be able to get a fair bit of food out of it. So, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. This is a bit risky. We saw how bad it was to be in the in the orange last time, especially considering we've got green skins on the way. Um, but I think we're going to be stuck here for a couple of turns. Should I auto this? Yeah. That's right. Okay, that damage wasn't too bad. We've got seven food. That brings us up to maximum food. So we need to spend it. Uh, ten food left. Okay. So border princes are gone. That allows us to focus on these guys over here. You can spot them. Um, that looks like they're coming next turn. Yeah, I think that there's two armies there that are about to jump over here. Now, Vectique has got a really good ambush success chance. And we've got a cunning character here. So that's all going to be very handy. Yeah, definitely going to need this. Where are my uh, I don't think we need campaign move range as much as we need ballistics instructor for the next turn. Because yeah, I think both of those armies are going to jump over here. I think we're in for a hell of a fight next turn. Which means we should probably recruit more troops here. So we need defenses. Repair that. Actually, yeah, repair it. We're going to need to recruit more troops. Let's get... Um, Let's get that Warlock Master we already recruited. And let's get some more Master shit. Mm-hmm. Orc food delivery? Yeah, I think it's coming next turn. But if we have a look, he has 95% ambush success chance. Plus, I could get it to 105 if I recruit... 
this cunning Gracia next turn here. He can get it to 105. Now they'll have 25% defense chance because there'll be an underway stance. So we've got to keep that in mind. Got to get to monstrous abominations. It's so good. Which means we need to get that being built. So I need to get that going. I need to get to here. It's not that urgent, but get going with it. That's a minus seven, so there will be a revolt next turn. So don't worry about it now. Because, yeah, where the revolt shows up, you just ambush it, and then it, it'll, it'll bring in your garrison. It's easy to get rid of. There's not going to be a revolt there. There is going to be a revolt here. That's fine. So what we need here, I don't know if we need, we don't have any trade agreements. Um, we definitely need this one and the amount of money. Alright, I need some cash. Give me some cash. Yeah, you give me some cash. I don't see myself going up that way. Who's got some cash for me? That's it. Okay. Okay, yes, okay, okay, let's move yes. on. Imminent rebellion here, that's fine. Let's do this. So yeah, I'm expecting them to jump over here. If we intercept them, it's probably not a good idea to fight them. Let's see. Cause yeah, we'll want all of our armies to attack simultaneously. Alright, here comes their turn. We saw him coming. Fight later. <laughs> we just have the other one as well. Okay. I mean, that's. Not that much. Don't auto resolve, but we definitely need to fight it manually, but that's not that much. I mean, even auto resolve's like, yeah, you got this, alright. And this will be good because it'll give us some food. Reminds me of the Civilization games in that regard. Yeah, Millennia is definitely a a um, Civilization-style game. No doubt about that. I don't think that they're trying to hide that. Um, they, I think they do a few things differently than Civilization. Like, I, I like both games. It, it's pop... You're allowed to like both Civilization and Millennia. You don't have to be, like, loyal to one or the other. Be like, ah, I could never like this because I'm loyal to Civilization. Just whatever. You know what I would love? I would love for a Total War clone to exist. I would love it for a Paradox-owned company, like C-Prompt, to make a Total War game. Like, probably probably won't be able to do it on the scale of Warhammer. Something like, I don't know, Thrones of Britannia. Make real, just get your real-time battle engine going. You know, make it like 20 bucks. And just, uh, you know, something other than the bloody Warscape engine. Alright. This is a pretty good map for us. Relatively flat. There are a few obstructions here and there. Just got to be mindful of that. It's also possible that these armies, and I reckon that they did, have, um, wires attached to them. sure that our guys over here have good lines of sight. Alright, and Ikit Claw needs to go and mess them around like crazy. Alright, let's do this. The wind. 
Command and Conquer Generals. Uh, I mean, that's an RTS game. It's not. Um, it's not a uh, turn-based strategy, real-time battles, which is what I'm after. What's so important about Monstrous Abomination? There's a follower that gets unlocked with that, um, with that technology. So you can't get this follower until you research it, and that provides you with extra 10% research rate. Now it's super easy to get that follower once you've researched that tech. That's why it's so important. We'll spool that a five-year super jet. Remember to like and subscribe for more awesome content. I appreciate that, we'll spool, but. People don't need to be reminded. It's cool. Like, we've already hit 500k. Let's give people a bit of a break before we, like, beg for more subscribers for a while. But yeah, I, I appreciate it, Wolf Paul. I'm honestly surprised you still don't have Scorch. With the cost decrease, it's probably the best spell for Scribe in the game. You're, you're right. But we don't have the cost decrease because we haven't been getting warp fuel. So, it's just not been the top priority. It's more important right now to get his, um... Uh, what's it called? Second Wind Serum. I figured that was more important. And also to get um, Ambush Success Chance up. Because both of these armies here, and there might be more on the way, are going to be sitting right next to each other, and they're going to be in Underway Stance, which means really going to want the, uh, the Ambush Success Chance up, because it allows you to bypass it. Don't, don't get me wrong, I will definitely get Scorch. It's just that I can't get everything at turn, uh, sorry, at um, rank 11. You just gotta give me a bit of time. Martinez Videlax Did two pounds super chat. Hi Legend. Um you can play, but could you read my name? <laughs> no, I can't read your name, dude. That was too hard. I tried. Ultimate General Civil War? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Not quite, but it's it's something. It's very close. That's real-time campaign with real-time battles, and it's uh, it's very narrow scope. So I, I don't know. I should really give that a shot one day. Cause you're not wrong. That is a very similar to a Total War formula. Make sure this guy here dies, or else we're not going to get the food. But Legend, he gets wiped out anyway. I'm actually not sure. I, d I think you still need to kill this guy here in order to get that food. Unfortunately, Ikaclaw's not the best at dealing with this. What I need are these guys. Yeah, I'll try to get Ikaclaw to charge into him the other way. Oh, Alright, job. Need these guys to move faster. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Still long distance to go, so that's good. The Giselles are almost in range. So the speed on this guy here is 33. The guys are actually faster than him, but they're a little bit tired. Well, the Giselles aren't, at least. Have you heard of Mana Lords with Total War S combat, but with settlement building? Yeah, uh, I'm probably going to give that a go. So that that could be good. I it's the guy said it's not supposed to be a Total War killer, so we'll just we'll just see. We'll see. Nuke him. That's not going to work. Let's waste a nuke. God damn it! I reckon he's actually faster than my guys. 
Still got a long distance to go. Really want to do this on triple speed, but it makes it more difficult to actually do it. Storm Demon Primed! Yes, yes, yes! Come on, drop him on the ground. That's it. Because while he's on the ground, he's not moving. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving. I don't think the Giselles have enough ammunition. Ooh, it's going to be close with that ammo. Oh, damn it, out of range. Move up a bit more. Okay, well, the rattling guns are almost in range. Good, knocked him on his ass and moved him back a little bit, giving our guys a chance to catch up. Rattling guns to catch up. Scotty, race. Quick, quick. Move tail. Yeah, the problem is that this distance and his size, the Giselles just can't land a hit. The rattling guns are almost in range. At the very least, they'll slow him down. What we should have is one rattling gun shoot and the other one keep moving. Still got a bit of room to go. He's almost dead. So annoying trying to kill these kind of characters. Because you can't just let Ica Claw do it, he'll just push him off the edge of the map. That's not going to work. Right, you start shooting, and you just keep running. Ah, not in range enough. Yeah, you do it now, and you keep running. Really got in, getting in, in close. These guys are just very small. Very small bloody hitbox. Makes them very difficult to get rid of like this. I think we got him. Then we got him. That one's close enough, I think. Just one more volley. You got it. One more volley. You should kill him. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> this one, go. Got him. Good stuff. Can't you lock him down on the ground? No, not really. Too slippery. From the Power World? Uh, I just forgot to keep uploading videos. Look, the, the other channel, you gotta keep in mind, I make like a dollar a day off that. It is barely worth my time to log into it, so if I just forget about it, I just, just don't care. Um, the channel's not growing. I just don't have time to focus on that channel, especially when we got a kid on the way. Um, so it just took a backseat. That's all. It, that channel is just never going to be important. Um, Derek Gabbard did a twenty dollars super chat. Hey, Legend, happy Easter. Glad I get an opportunity to see you play live. No, student, happy Easter. Appreciate super chat. Um, Florian Zenz did a CHF five super chat. Hey, Legend, finally able to catch a stream live. Keep up the good work. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, I think we should take the replenishment. That's actually pretty damn decent. We only got nine food out of... Okay, so everyone got wiped out. Alright, I, I basically should have just hit end battle. I just wasn't sure about that. Um, two food, or a bit of replenishment. Let me go with replenishment. Oh, yeah, I thought that there might be more than... More than friggin' two armies. And then not... There's not a war. Okay. Uh, Prince 
Eugen K, subscribe to tier one on Twitch. Thanks, dude. And Fidei Kian, subscribe with Prime. Just subscribe for two months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that as well. We're at 1.17 thousand subscribers on Twitch. All right. So yeah, we, we got we got a bit of things to to do here. There's a bit, and we're still in the red. Still in the red. So yeah, the blighted marshes. That's yeah okay. Okay, so how are we gonna deal with this? <laughs> Master All right. engineer. Yeah, the replenishment option was a good call, I think. Alright, Ikaclaw's ambush success chance is only 46%. Get that up to 56%. So his chances of actually ambushing Wurzag is only 25-ish percent. His chance of ambushing... Is like 60%, so that's good. Kind of want to attack this one here first so I can get some food, but at the same time, if I do that, I'm using up movement, and that's not important. Plus, the garrison will come out and help us as well. Alright, I also said that if I recruit a lord here, that is... Oh my god, it got rid of it. <laughs> there was a cunning one here last turn, and he's gone. Luckily, I've saved a warlock engineer here with the cunning trait, so we'll get him. Oh, but I have to do this in order for it to work. Good, we now have a 105% success chance, so that means 75% chance of ambushing him. We need to ambush him in order to basically lightning strike him. Yes, yes. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You just try again. The fact that it says Valiant Defeat with us not ambushing him is definitely a good sign. We've got plenty of opportunities because we've got loads of, um, of campaign movement range. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Valiant Defeat, decisive victory. The garrison comes out in full, and... Nice. Yeah. Wurzeg's defeat trait would be good to get on Ikitclaw, but I'm, I'm likely to have to fight him again. So... Because that'd be the best option there, I think. That was That's a very good order resolve. Alright, and... We're okay for food. I mean, we're not, but... <laughs> We need money as well, so I'm going to get that. Because that is the extent of their invasion. Without that army there, this one's not going to do much. Yeah, he just lost like half of his strength ranking. Okay, Vectique. Go again. Um, Millerad Lukic did an RSD10 super chat. Would you like it if they had a mercenary system? Yeah, I would probably like that. I kind of use the regiments of renown as a mercenary system currently. Turn them to right okay, that's not an ambush. We can get a better order resolve if we ambush them. Retreat now, now. Rat. Yeah. Alright, look, losing two Skaven Slaves, not that big of a deal. Losing five. Mm. Yeah, look, they're replaceable units, it's fine. 
Daily Tactic says, congrats on 500k, man. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Good to see you here. Alright, and... So that was, that was a good food delivery there from um, Uber Orcs. I still feel like we need money. Yeah, that actually works out for us because we got all these extra units here that we could just transfer into the armies. Because I, I don't need three armies here. Alright, and then have Ikakor launch this attack. Which should also be an ambush. Okay, that one's gone, and clan rats stay. Okay, it's fine. Which kill device do you good. Good, good, good. Alright, that's fairly low money, so this time we'll pick food. And if we have a look at Wurzag, oh, <laughs> he's like, please, please don't hurt me. Uh, I've had enough. That's not how he sounds, but yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. That was a good food delivery. He'll probably leave us alone for a little while. Because I'd much rather focus on all these guys over here. I, I didn't want to come over this way. Nice. <laughs> okay. And he actually kind of likes us. <laughs> Respects us for beating the absolute shit out of him. Alright. You, thanks for your assist. Out of here. All right, all right, all right. That was great. This is what I'm talking about. It's why you got to get that ambush success chance up. All right, now looking at these ones here, he's looking a little bit busy. We generated a good amount of food from that, and we defeated the revolt here, so public order should be pretty good. We're probably still going to get a revolt here. Yep, we definitely are. So we need to make sure we've got another character here ready to attack. If somebody could be sneaky, that would be great. It's not essential. I do have the ability to recruit this warlord here is sneaky. Let's get this. There's another um There's another Ian Roxborough here. And then there's Vectique. But we've already got a Vectique, so let's not get two, right now at least. Let's get um this no, let me give it a cheaper one. No. Just stay right there. And recruit some dog shit. Let's see what should we do. Yeah. Recruit that. Okay, cool. Then, building this should ensure that we never have another revolt at Skaven Blight again. Yep, that's good. Public order over here should still stabilize. Okay, it should be, what, five turns until this is ready to be attacked? Four turns. Okay, that's about the time it takes to get over there. So, we could... Well, I'm not going to have the food needed. <laughs> so this one is going to be safe. Yeah, we need this one here. Because that provides a little bit of control. We also need more Warlock Engineers, that's really important. Let me get that. We do need to get this building built somewhere so that I can get poisoned wind mortars. So I guess it makes sense to build it here. And then, we've already got this building elsewhere. We'll build this one. There's also pottery, but I don't have any tradable... I don't really worry too much about trade with, with Skaven. Zha Zha became a member for 19 months. Hi, Legend. I cannot catch up on all your content recently because I'm quite busy. By the way, your videos are still fun to watch. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. I'm glad you... Look, that's cool if you're busy. You don't owe me anything. It's it's here waiting for you when you when you come back. Um, bunch of uh, subscriptions on on uh, on Twitch here. So Commander Keenan six five six subscribed at tier one. Aquala subscribed with Prime and Patri says Zach <laughs> subscribed with Prime for two months in a row. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Wait, how do you become a member? There should be a member like become member button. Also, with that, Vectic the Unstoppable has um, the Great Green Killer, so that makes him a bit stronger. What's this? Yeah, that's pretty good. That'll be good on him. 45% speed. That's really, really good. 
Alright, then we want to be transferring a bunch of units over. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then this guy here. They get all this equipment. And I'll see him later. Alright, then. Alright, so the clan rats survived. The public order here should be fine. Because, yeah, with that being built, that's going to massively help. The big question here is... Which way do we go next? Do we go to, Kaz to Zaraxil? The thing is, if we're going to be fighting against uh, Clan Angrand, we really need this building here, because I need the rattling guns and Giselles. Uh, fighting them with this kind of units, this is not going to cut it. This is not enough. And they are significantly stronger than us. They might just declare war on us anyway. So we could use superior numbers to destroy them. We got a whole bunch of warp fuel, so that's good. Let's grab ourselves another Doom Rocket. I didn't get it. Okay, let's have a look at weapons team. What else we are missing? Also, what do I need to do for this? Um, where's the where's the mission? What does it tell you to do that? All right, need to build the warpstone tractor beam. I have to use a doom rocket in battle, and doing that will give me warp fuel canisters. So that's good. That's all just for doom wheel. Stuff I need, uh, Doom Flayer stuff. Oh, right, right, hang on here. Bonus versus infantry. F for characters on Doom Wheels, so the Warpstone Detonation, that is, that's okay, not that big of a deal. Uh, Hawkish Precision will give the Giselles a bit more boost. Don't forget these down here. We don't have any of these units yet, so... That looks good. But at the same time, none of this is essential, and it does use up food as well, which I need to get. Um, just trying to decide where we're going to go next. Because if we capture Zvorak off, off the Ogres... thing is, the Ogres, they... They're a bit busy, whereas these ones over here are not busy. Yeah, I think I'll go fight Clan Angrand. Because, yeah, they'll probably send the other army over here. When I kill both of their armies, I should have enough food to get this one up to tier 5 after that. Alright, Ikit Claw, let's force march to... Let's go up this way. Yeah, you stay there, get some replenishment. Okay, cool. Lightning. Good, he'll have more wins magic. Ace Finelli did a two dollar super chat. Um sorry, two euro super chat. Appreciate your streams on YouTube, have learnt so much. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you for the, the support. Uh Dr. Carrot, also subscribe with Prime. Mark 306 subscribe with Prime. Thanks guys, appreciate that. Uh the best thing is probably tier two lab and scorch cost decrease. Yeah, well, I'm working towards it. Welcome towards it. We're getting there. All in due time. Alright, so... Vectic. Yeah, keep going down that way. He needs some more replenishment as well. Oh, this causes massive increase in construction costs. Since we were red last turn when we started this, if I cancel this and then rebuild it, I should actually get more money back. It'll put another turn on this, but this region's safe for now. Yeah, I saved 400. It's not that big of a deal, but... Saves a bit of cash. Okay. Okay. And we got some levels up over here, which we need to do. Sapper's good, but we haven't finished triangulation yet. Increased mobility will be good. Don't have to worry too much about flying units when dealing with dwarfs. 
So, yeah, go with Sapper. And then, as for Ikaclaw, we could put two points into Hell in Warp Gale for him, but I feel like we really need to make sure we got that ambush success chance up. That's very important. Um, hero capacity for Warlock Engineers is very good. Yeah, it could also be good to increase some ammunition for these guys and their reload time reduction. Scorch over here. Not worth getting just yet. Musk of Fear. Against the Dwarfs probably won't do much. So that's useless because he's not on foot anymore. Let's go with Sneaky for the uh, missile resistance. Because they're probably going to try to shoot us. Listen to me, me. Right, and let's move on. Imminent. Oh, on. Oh yeah, the rebellion's over here. That's fine. We're getting ready for that. Moving on. So yeah, we're about to declare war on Clan Angrind. Uh, congrats on the 500k, the man, the myth, the legend of Total War. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, Baj, subscribe with um, Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, might be a dumb question, but do you know the name of a mod that makes your units bigger? Ah, uh, no, I don't know that. Sorry. Are you able to defeat Skull Island near Sartosa? Deal with me or fight. Oh, look, they end declare war on me first. <laughs> well, I would have preferred to get a jump on them, but this isn't the worst thing ever. Um, yeah, the Skull Islands. The problem... Our army's not great at this stage here, and it's, it's hard to bring in reinforcements in those battles. So, that's not something I want to prioritize. Alright, we've almost made it to our destination here for an Undercity, which will help us with our food reserves. Could put it in Helmgard. Helmgard does have a habit of getting blown up sometimes. Same thing over here. Actually, they usually do get occupied. I don't know. We'll just we'll see how we go. All right. Hmm. All right. Now, if we line this up just right, we should be able to ambush him and bring in the garrison. And this is actually good because it provides us with some food, which we really need. Do you think CA is the biggest? So is that the biggest risk of bankruptcy since Rome won? Um, I it's really hard. To, another trickster's home. It's really hard to say because I don't know their financial situation. I have heard in the past that Creative Assembly has like more than a hundred million dollars in like in the bank, sort of thing. In, in like they've got enough money to make five flops of a Total War game, but ultimately they are the puppet of. Sega. So even though they just lost a hundred million dollars on hyenas, it's more of a case of we're not broke, but we really shouldn't have lost a hundred million dollars, and so they're just restructuring everything. So I don't think they're on the risk of bankruptcy. Hard to say because what the, what a company might do, like Sega, if Creative Assembly is just constantly losing money, they're not going to wait until they run out. They're going to liquidate it before then. So they still actually managed to get some of that money. Yeah, we need the food. More slaves, more power. See, that's what you do right before a rebellion happens. You just recruit a lord. No fares, we. Sort that out that way. Oh yeah, you definitely remember that. Great warlord. Alright, now, what we need to do is use Ikiclaw and Ambush Dance and try to get him to come around over here. And attack this army before Belagar comes down. Because, yeah, he's definitely on the way. Let's be real there. I do not care about these settlements at all. If they want to take it, fine. Yeah. So if you could just stay... Yeah. I think I'll merge this unit here. 
Bring back. And get some more of this. And then have Ikat Claw. Make it so. Yeah, if you stand right there, we've got a low chance of getting detected in ambush stance. Could still happen. It's low. I'm just a little bit worried that this guy won't actually be able to reach. I guess we'll just have to see. Because... Yeah. It's just hard to tell. Okay, we got another Trickster's Helm. We've already got one on... on him. If we have a look at this, Iron Frame. Let's have a look. So this one here, if we get Storm Demon, Control plus one. Con construction cost minus 10% for all buildings, but it doesn't say whether it's faction-wide or province-wide. Don't know. You'll have to confirm with me, guys. But that's not being provided right now. So honestly, a Trixus Helm is better than this right now. Way better. Ward save is better than physical resistance. Weapon strength, I don't really need that. Melee defense is good. Spell resistance is a bit useless against this. Yeah, okay, let's just get that. Just for now, I'll switch it back later. Alright, and yeah, just have to hope that they take this bait. If not, I should be able to attack them because we've got loads of campaign movement range. Unless Belagar makes his way down here, because he was likely starting about here, and he's probably sitting about here at the moment. I'll see if you'll come and help. No. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> that. That will not work. Okay, and let's move on. CA reported a 21% profit increase for 2023 compared to 2022, according to the summary they have on the UK government website. That's like 8 million pounds profit. I don't think they're going bankrupt, at least not this year. Yeah, just, I don't know. Don't know. Really hard to say. Legend looks like death, unhealthy skin. What are you talking about? My skin's fine. Oh, shit. Ambush failed and they still want to have a go at me. Yeah, definitely not. I don't think they'll reach. Oh, they, they're coming in hard. Alright, we know there's an army there in ambush stance. There's a good chance we'll detect them because we've got a lot of characters in the area and they're in close range. When has he seen the sun? So basically what you're saying is that I don't have a tan. Who cares? I actually try to stay out of the sun. I burn too easily. Look dude, it, you really should just mind your own business. But I can, I can tell you right now, my skin is fine. Alright, it cancelled our recruitment but that's fine. This guy is standing in area that makes it really easy to ambush him, and he came out of ambush stance anyway. Belagar's over here, and if we have a look at this, if we can reach him, there's a decent chance he can reach us. But these two armies here, we could probably kill them. I don't care if he captures Verdanos, this is not a no-defeat campaign. Good, nice ambush there. 
But should we fight it manually? That's the big question here. I kind of feel like we should, because auto resolve, like it'll yield great results for us and it'll wipe them out. But honestly, manually resolve will, will reveal good results for us as well, because most of their units are missile, uh, sorry, melee units. We're gonna wreck them. And they'll probably try to run off the battlefield as well. Allowing us to get them multiple times, because we've got loads of campaign movement range. All right, let's fight it manually. Legend, I'm unsubscribed from YouTube Premium just to watch all the ads on your channel. Uh, that's pretty dumb, because I actually make more money from YouTube Premium than I do from ads. So, you're actually making me less money now. <laughs> yeah, do, do whatever you feel you need to do, but uh, that was not what I would want. I actually prefer it if people get um, YouTube Premium. It's better for creators. But you don't, just, you do you. Do what makes you happy. Like, if you don't want YouTube Premium, that is the reason to cancel it. No other reason. Alright. I wish I had more rattling guns here. Oh, damn. Miles chucking in a $100 super chat. Happy Easter from the States, man. Love your streams. Damn. He have a heart. That's a really generous super chat. There's my Ligma gone, going. <laughs> Appreciate that. Alright, well. See, I usually set up at the back, but we've got this really nice high ground here. And the dwarves are stupidly slow. We'll get a little bit of a range boost. Okay, we should probably put the rattling guns up front. And this, is a, this is a very tight choke point as well. Put that up here. Because they got a big range bonus. Um, have them just shoot like that, I guess. And these guys here just have to hold their hold the line as much as possible. But we got menace below, so that should be fine. Top priority should probably be going for the slayers. Yeah, we, we got this. We got this. Ikaclaw will go in, just slow them, and we'll fuck down. run right through them. Yep, that's it. Oh, mamma ma, ma, mia. <laughs> there we go. This is exactly what you want to see. Okay, that's not what I want to see. Move back a little bit. I wish I had some Plague Claw catapults as well, but this is great. I don't want to be getting shot. Yeah, I was starting to bring a few guys up here, but damn, the rattling guns did some damage. Oh no, the freaking giant slayers still managed to get through, though. Back. Rid of the giant slayers. Yeah, they're trying to get off the battlefield. And that's fine. Alright, they still want to come up through here. Uh, Brilbo Baggins did a 10 dollar super chat. Yes, yes, best rat rat with best streamer. Cheers to all the hours of entertainment you give us. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you for super chat. Just 
keep holding them back because yeah, our guy over here. I didn't expect him to hold up forever. Move back. Time to move back with the main guys. Get all of these to start moving back. Okay, now we just need them to get the army losses, which if they're going to retreat some units off the battlefield, he doesn't have mental attacks yet. If they're going to do that, they'll leave the, uh, they'll get army loss fairly soon. Although this one here can't be army lost. I need to get these friggin' guys out of the way. Coral is coming up this way. Let's try to slow them down. Good. Uh, that is not ideal there. Yeah, and the rest of them seem to be leaving the battlefield. Good. Would this stream count as an April Fool's joke if it continues to then? No, I don't do April Fool's jokes. That's kind of cringe these days. So, this is just... Just did it because I had some time to do it, that's all. Okay, there's the army bosses. Legend, are you going to steal the hero? Yeah, it'd be really difficult for us to get an alliance with um, Clan Angrand. <laughs> cool, minimal casualties and we can take replenishment after the battle to heal up. One lunch at a five pound super chat. Super quickly, can you share what comps you use for Eshin? Love you. Uh, currently just got first province and curious where to expand next. Okay, thanks for super chat. Um, oh, really, there's so many different combinations that you can make with Eshin. So, when it comes to Skaven, yeah, with Eshin, oh my god. Obviously, there's the standard weapon team's army, and you've seen that a hundred times. Um, as for using Eshin units, I usually go with Gutter Runners, because they fire while moving. The Gutter Runners with Poison Attack is definitely better, but that's higher tier, so it takes longer to get them. So the regular Gutter Runners is fine. Night Runners are fine. They have longer range, but they have to stand still while shooting. So that's usually why I go with Gutter Runners, because they stalk. You can run around, they got armor piercing. They can kill dragons almost instantly. So you usually just spam those units, they're very good. Nick's Assassin did a two euro super chat. Skaven, yes, yes, also best luck for the baby. Thanks dude, appreciate that. Um, Loshiek subscribed with Prime, and Nemcrio subscribed with Prime. Thanks guys, appreciate that. Alright, cool. Um, we didn't get anywhere near as much food as I thought we would, but we didn't kill this dude. There's still other opportunities to do it, so that's fine. If we go with replenishment, we end up in better shape than we were, because that was already damaged. So let's do that. Because we need to be in tip-top shape. Cool. Ooh, Crown of Command. That's actually useful for the Skaven on a Plague Priest. We definitely want to get another ambush if possible, because we can get so many battles out of that. That'll be an easy one. I still think we should fight it manually. I wish I had a potion of healing for this guy. 
Yeah, I do not. Oh no, you should have the Dawnstone. Yep, that's good. Uh, level him up after this turn. Okay, this should be an ambush. We've got a pretty good chance of that. Oh no! Bloody lucky dwarfs. All right, Vectic, you launch the attack. I command. Auto should be fine here. Finish him off. Good few casualties. If we go with replenishment, that looks pretty good. Our food supplies have gone up massively. Yeah. Okay, this guy can't run away again. Oh, fuck! I didn't change the mount. Automatically. Okay, it's fine. Back off. This guy's been very lucky. No ambushes. Well, that gives me a chance as well to... Oh, shit. It kills out of movement. Okay. Take that bug. Bad idea, not mine. Vec takes just got way higher ambush success chance. Now we kind of need to auto resolve this if we want to get the full food, which is fine. Yeah, I definitely would have preferred it if Ica Claw fought it, but it is fine. Whatever, just do it. Much higher damage on that one, understandably so though. I'll take the money that time. Not possible. All right, looking at this, it seems like Belagar has a pretty good chance of being able to catch us here, but he wouldn't be able to pursue us if we backed off. But if we end up over here, how strong are they now? They've recovered a fair bit. We don't have enough movement to get to Zaraxil. I don't have enough movement to ambush dance. He could just come to Vidanos and just sack that. That's fine. If he does that. Bigger warp forge! Alright, we're gonna level up here. What should we get? So much good stuff. Uh let's let's upgrade these units a little bit. Actually no. No. These units are fine. Let's let's get towards our unlimited power. That's really useful. Yeah, I wish I could have put him in ambush stance, but I'm just I'm out of movement. No need to go in channeling stance for at maximum. Better than Thankwell, yes, yes. Oh hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get yourself an additional five. Cool. Knows who his boss is. That's good. Alright, so Belagar's army, it's nothing that fantastic. He's got the other two ancestor heroes here. If we can ambush him, which we've got a good chance of being able to do that. Uh, not of this, uh, the end turn. Um, it just depends on what he does. He might jump away, seeing this situation is significantly turned on him. We've also got a fair bit of warp fuel, so let's have a look at what we could spend that on. Plus, we've got a nuke. I really didn't need that in the other battle. 
Chance of winds and magic increases in strength when changing. Yeah. Rats of war! <laughs> Let's just hold on to it. It does not like it expires, and uh, we're getting pretty close to 120 food. So if we get close to maximum, that's when we should start using it. Getting close to maximum food. All right. We need to upgrade this. Got a decent amount of money this term, which is great. If he makes his way over to Myrmidons, that's a bit of an issue because we we don't have our um, garrison building there sorted. We need to get this developed. What else do we need? So over here... Yeah, we need that. And I think that's it for the turn. Let's have a look at uh, diplomacy. <laughs> Nothing Ready. interesting. Uh, Kendrick White became a member for nine months. Hey, Legend. Thanks for being a legend. Congrats on the 500k and the baby. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Appreciate his continued support. All right, here we go. Put the thing in here. Good. All right, here's where we can spend a bit more money. So more capacity for Warlock Engineers. That's great. And... I usually use Undercities for food. Yeah, we can generate three food per turn here. Some people like to pop... Uh, which Where is it? This one here down. And that can be fairly useful if you really want a lot of Undercities. But I, I find just getting a couple of them in the early stages of the campaign sign. Because what you can do is you can cripple your food production with that. And then there's also extra money, but... I don't worry about that too much. Skaven make plenty of money. Okay, let's move on. Is this one no defeats? No, we've already suffered a defeat. I, I don't play Skaven no defeat. It's not fun to do it that way. I actually really like using my minor settlements to bait the enemy into making stupid decisions. It's a miracle. I thought we had Lich left Twitch forever. Yeah, oh, I almost did. Um, Boss Bowen... Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Alright, he's coming for us. And... Okay, doing... I don't know why he does that. The AI. Going into ambush stance right in front of your enemy when they've got heroes in your army, you're, you're going to get pulled out of ambush stance. It's going to happen. So that was very dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. What do you think of Death Runners? Death Runners are okay. They're a melee infantry. They're okay. I don't think they're fantastic. They're pretty good in Eshin, but they're they're okay. There's nothing wrong with being okay. Not every unit is the greatest unit ever. It's fantastic. Overpowered, ten out of ten. You know, Death Runners are like a solid B tier unit. Yep, told you. Alright, with Barak Var being wiped out, there is a good chance that he is going to turn his attention to me. Although he is at war with Wissenland. He's starting to... Yeah, let me just see if I can get him to go to war with Clan Angrind. No. Alright. Belagar is basically just asking to get ambushed here. We're not in perfect shape, but if we ambush him, we'll rip him to shreds. Come on, ambush. Come on, ambush. Yeah. Ooh, okay, wow. It's probably because he's a legendary lord. Um. Really? I mean, our army's a little bit damaged. I guess they're taking that into consideration. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Can you give me a thumbs up and a smile? There you go. <laughs> and you didn't have to pay for it. How about that? 
Were you sorry? Were you impressed with how well the crane gunners were able to kill Archeon so fast? Yeah, I was not expecting that. Uh, otherwise, I would have tried it earlier in the battle. So yeah, I sometimes forget how good Gisales and crane gunners are at killing single entities that are normally practically invincible. Um, I was not expecting that to go down so well. Alright, I reckon just doing the same thing we did last time, because that worked out really well. Try and stand back a little bit, because they'll come at us. They don't have any slayers in this army, so they'll move a little bit slower. They also don't have any missile units, so... Apart from the, the like, the other shots. Not too focused on them. Ikit Claw will heal. This one, just stand over there, see if we can get some guys to chase after us. Oh no, they do have missile units. They are rangers, though. Uh, Infamo did a five dollar super chat. Uh, since there are a lot of tier rankings for Total War on YouTube, have you ever considered a playthrough using only a faction C and below units, C tier? Um, no, not really. That seems like it'll be boring. Um, I mean, if you if you want to do that, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, you, you, we should use a nuke in this battle. You're right. This is the right battle to use a nuke, I think. Like, if you want to do that, you go right ahead, but that's definitely not on my radar to do. Come on, hurry up! Alright, let's pin him down a little bit more first. Yeah! If you claw, you might want to get out of the way. <laughs> Very nice. Friendly fire there. Find Damn it. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. This guy really needs a potion of healing. The rest of their army's trying to leave. Keep telling this guy to come over here, but those units keep stalking. Looks like we got rid of the first ancestor hero. Here comes the other one. A little bit further to be in range there. Yeah, so Belagar's left the battlefield, but that's okay. We'll get him in the next one. There's the army losses. Very nice. Still gotta get rid of this guy, but we can use the rattling guns and Giselles to sort that out. Ready, ready! Boom, boom! Get to that leap! 
Good. Good, good, good. Should we finish these ones here off if we can? So obviously just try to run down these uh, dangerous units here, because they, they did a bit of damage to us. But only to Skaven Slaves, so not that big of a deal. Doom players were alright at running them down. What I might do actually is have Ikaclaw pursue Belagar and have Vectik capture Zaraxil. Alright, that'll do. Sorry, do you recommend a split stack of Knights of Torgaval and Sentinels of Astaral for Atharion, or going all in on one or the other? I would usually recommend going one in, all of the other, or one way, one way or another. But you can do that. You know, there's no right or wrong answer. If you prefer to have half and half, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But I usually prefer to just lean heavily one way. Uh, Rudy, subscribe with Prime. They've subscribed for two months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Did you enjoy High Elves? If you want a very different experience, try Corn or... Oh, you're at, responding to someone else. Um, I started on easy difficulty when I first started playing Warhammer. Thanks to your videos, I completed my first campaign on hard as Cult of Pleasure. Keep up the great work, man. No, dude. Good to see that you're uh, up in the difficulty. You'll be on Legendary in no time. Love Vic of a man, April 2024, and still no playable. Thank Wall and Total War is kind of lame. Yeah, well, Thank Wall's coming. We know he's coming. They're not going to end this without bringing him in. It's just a matter of when, not if. Alright, I think I want money. We've got a lot of things we got to build. And we don't really have any more dangerous enemies in this area. Alright, looking at Vectik. Yeah, very small garrison here. They didn't build up their defenses. They're just about to get it to tier 3. That doesn't really matter to us. Alright, our food supplies... Yeah, putting... We could put this to tier 3, but I think we're still best off doing it to tier 1 because we want to make sure we've got some food reserves left when we capture Maragliano in the next turn or so. So, Ikit, if you could finish him off. Career Knight did a $10 super chat. About an hour back in the stream when talking about the other games like Total War, have you ever heard of, looked at Knights of Honor 2? I played a fair bit of Knights of Honor 1, but I never played Knights of Honor 2. Um, looks good, but a lot of people said it was disappointing. So, I don't know. Uh, Kodar did a $10 super chat. Hey Legend, I think I found why Glade Guards sometimes struggle. When you give them move orders, they get stuck in a move order until you halt them. They shoot fine after halting, but annoying. Yeah, I've seen that happen as well. I think you're onto something there. Thanks for the super chat. Oh damn, I'm almost at full food. Well, we can we can um yeah, we can spend some of the warp fuel. Yeah, let's spend some of it so it doesn't go to waste. The doom wheels come. What else do we want? So we've now used the Doom Rocket in battle. Now we just need to build the tractor beam, which is being built, so we'll get to tier two soon. Ickets flayers are best. <laughs> yeah, for this for characters on Doom Wheels, that'll help Ikit claw out a little bit. Uh, not not a ton. I don't think it's. I don't think that's essential. 
Go, go forth and kill. I think I'd prefer to get that one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. Scamper, scamper. Right. It kick might just be able to reinforce from this position over here. Yep, good he does. Oh, I probably should have brought him over here so I can actually launch the attack on Ragliano. Oh, that being said, probably could use a turn or two of recovery. And then... Okay, next turn we start recruiting some units here to transfer over to Ikaclaw. We're gonna we're gonna be at max food. This is probably gonna give us about five. Let me let me see if there's twenty one gigawops. <laughs> get one more thing here. Let's get. Should have done this before I did the battle. Actually, let's go with that one. Hey, overcharged egg. How's it going, dude? Good to see you. Alright, is this water resolvable? It would seem so. Good. Let's get rid of that. Just in case you don't know, guys, who Overcharged Egg is, he is the main man if you want to see City Skylines content. So if that is something you're interested in, go and check out Overcharged Egg. He's the main guy for that. Uh, I don't think we've got enough movement to sack an occupier, so just... Yeah, just do this. And this will just increase our capacity by five. No sack cities. Sack cities aren't really worth it in Warhammer 3. It depends on the situation. At the beginning of the campaign, it's not worth it. Alright, so that... ...was good. Yeah, okay, so we got enough food to get this to tier 5. And there's still a little bit of wiggle room, so we don't have to get there next turn. If you have a look at this, he is completely wrecked, so there's no massive rush. So we've got a bit of time to recover should we need to. Which we may. Alright, and... Yeah, just increase the speed of our units. That can be very helpful. Test subjects. I was going to go down his magic line, wasn't I? So, Scorch is really useful. So is Howling Warp Gale. Let's go with Scorch first, because we're not really going up against a lot of flying units at the beginning of the campaign. If we're up against the High Elves, we want that straight away. This one over here. Yep, work on Plague. That's all looking good. And you get Plague. Awesome. Definitely would be nice to consolidate this entire province so we can put the, the commandment down. But all in due time. Alright, research, what do we need? Yeah, keep working towards this. We're at 135 research right at the moment, so that's good. So the menace below. That's good. Casualty replenishment rate's really good, but I really want to get to that one first. Matey did a fabulous super chat. Hey legend, in Empire campaign, building more barracks reduces global recruit in recruitment. The global turns in recruitment. Uh yes, it does. For the units that are recruited from the barracks. That is the case with across every single faction. So the more you need okay, ten un uh, ten buildings that produce a certain unit will reduce the global recruit time by one if that unit takes one turn to recruit locally, and you need 15 of them if they take more than one turn to recruit normally. But I think you can only reduce the global recruit time by two. That way. So there's a limit to it. Alright, what do we need next? So, Myrmidons. Public order's looking good. But we do have military crackdown here, so that's going to go down. But then again, it's going to go up because we've got this. Uh, building this will increase our income by 150, but it only costs two grand, so that's not that big of a deal. And that'll give us one food per turn, so that's good. Yeah, we need to increase our capacity for Warlock Engineers. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we can get another Warlock Engineer. There's no cunning ones available. What I'm going to do is recruit in this bank, because I'm okay for money. And I'm going to recruit one that I've saved up. Yeah, we got a Warlock Engineer here that's cunning. Let's grab you. 
And we'll attach that into Vectique's army. Um, this is also where we can get some Plague Claw Catapults from, which those would be really good. Money's a little bit tight. We're, we're managing for the time being, but we definitely do need them. Do it. Okay, good. This is back again. Good to get some more growth. I don't really care that much about control, but also food is really good. The three grand is fine. And we're pretty much broke now. Good, good, good. Oh, hang on. We've got some undercity buildings over here. Oh, I'm out of money. Um, let's see if I can get some money in diplomacy. Okay, this is not too bad. Let's do that. These guys are about to get wiped out anyway. Yeah, don't get a defensive alliance. Was it enough to get the extra food upgrade, though? Let me see who doesn't completely hate my guts and offer to join war with factions that probably won't survive long anyway. Like Zafbar here, that's not a big deal. So why don't we go to them and go join war against Zafbar? Yeah, cool, that gives us the money that we need. I doubt that Zafbar is going to make their way down here. And that gives us the money that we need to build this, which will give us uh, two extra food per turn once it's built. So that's really good. And that'll just be a really good Undercity. Cool, and let's move on. Yeah, the Skaven do not have a strong diplomacy game. Except with other Skaven in the late stage of the campaign. Skaven don't really like each other that much in the beginning. But once you get enough Envoy of the Councils, then everyone just loves you. Something I don't pay attention to, does Plague and or Flock hurt your units? Flock of Doom doesn't, Plague does. Don't forget level 3 exotic animals gives you food too. Yep, you're absolutely right. But I can't defend that region right now. So, investing in it and then just losing it would be a waste. But yeah, you're right. That would be a good place to get some passive food. Why in a fort? Okay, I put it out in the fort because it has no economic value whatsoever. So, even if I was to expand out that way, I'd rather just leave the fort there. And that way I can use it as an undercity. And also, I'm not likely to go there anytime soon. I want my undercities in locations where I'm not going to be expanding so that I get a, a good amount of time using them. Because, you know, in, in the full length of a campaign, eventually you're going to conquer the whole map, which means all of your undercities will go, will go. So, just depends on where you want to have it. There's no right or wrong answers when it comes to it. Uh, okay, I can't make it there. I probably could have if I didn't go in there. Yeah, we should be able to manage this. It looks like her army is just... Actually, I have no idea where it is. Just that war with Carcassonne, she may have walked up through here. Actually, let me just check I something. Revenge incarnate. Know this and weigh your words. Okay, no, they trespassed on... On them. Yeah, look at the trespasses. She definitely sent armies up through here to go to Carcassonne. So this is empty. There's no one there. Which means easy pickings, boys. I should have recruited here last turn. Okay, right on the turn that we're pretty much going to be at max food as well. We'll probably get some food when we fight that. 
I got a whole bunch of warp fuel, so let's spend some because we might be at max food. Let's see, what do we need? In fact, Vectig might be able to beat the army on its own. That way I can send Ikiklor elsewhere. Winds of Magic cost minus three for Scorch all characters. That is fucking insane. Get that. Alright. Then we also need to... Where's the item that reduces Scorch Winds of Magic cost? Can't remember where that is. That's for Warp Lightning. That's a really good one to get. That one. Oh, maybe that's all it was. It's just that one there. Yeah, that makes it super cheap. Uh, what else is there? Good play to die. Looking at weapon seams, we've got reload time reduction for rattling cuns. That's good. That's pretty good as well. That's not that big of a deal. Um, next turn, we'll be able to make a doom rocket, so let's just leave it for this turn. Alright, got a bit of money. Let's grab that and that. Right, another thing is that I wanted to recruit some units here to transfer into Ica Claw's army. So, let's get someone we've already recruited before. Yeah, you'll do. Because, yeah, this building was just finished recruiting. Alright. He's already got one Giselle, so let's give him t uh, three more and a rattling gun. Good. And then I'll move this guy a little bit more over this way so we can transfer them into Ica Claw, Sami. Okay, cool. Public order's looking good. Good. Diplomacy. I'm not talking about them. Probably they get wiped out. Alright, we're done. Moving on. So yeah, I might just send Victig to go and take Miragliano. And that way Ikaclaw can get the jump on the dwarfs up this way before they build their army up again. Another thing to consider is that Aranessa... Oh fuck, who knows what's going to happen with her. I doubt she's going to run back this way. This is actually really lucky, the fact that she's just left Miragliano undefended. So Vectik is very much loyal, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Giving him extra experience is definitely good. Reduced upkeep cost for Plague Claw Catapults, that is awesome. Hmm, that's a good item. But yeah, giving him that trait there will save us a lot of money, because I do intend to put that unit in his army. So give it to the Lord. And you'll get more experience for us, so that's good. That's a really good trade. He doesn't have those units right now, but he should eventually. Alright, now. Uh, can't quite make it to Karakpuff, though. If I had pushed through a little bit, I would have been able to make it. If we have a look here. Yeah, they're recovering a little bit. They're getting there. Uh, Giga Johnson did an ISK 500 Super Chat. How do you think the Nemesis Crown will be? I have no idea. That is something that you should ask Law Master of Sotek about, not me, because I wouldn't. I have no idea. My anger rises like the tide. All right. Those Offer to join war against Parasa Tosa. Get a little bit of cash for it. And her army should be out here. Probably just raiding. Yeah, there's just nothing here. So yeah, we can win. It's a lot of casualties, though. It is a lot of casualties. Warlord. 
me, me. Ugh, don't give him me one, bitch. <laughs> you stay there. Master Commander. Hmm. Let's have a look at what we can level you up with. Don't worry about that right this very second. Let's have a look. Yeah, I want to get to Arcane Conduit. If I fight the battle manually, it'll be easy because we've got lots of wins of magic and we've got Plague, which is still amazing at dealing with sieges. Because we're not going to be able to transfer that many Actually, why don't we give Vectique the first, like, good army? Because I could also bring him around back over here. This is where I'll be able to recruit the, the artillery that he needs. And he'll be able to get the... The Poison Wind Mortars. Okay, it's time for the... For the, um... Skaven Slave Slingers. It's time for them to go. Also, if we're lucky, we'll get the, um... Bloody trait. If we're lucky. Oh, I'll probably need to do a couple of battles for that to happen. You will fight. You die, die. Okay. Because once he's gotten these units in his army, he no longer needs to worry too much about... Ooh. He no longer needs to worry too much about um, being close to Ikaclaw. He can handle his own now. Alright, so you need... Give him another rattling gun. Okay. Thing is though, it's all low experience. So yeah, those will be transferred into his army. And then these units, these this army will move over to Vedanos. And recruit the, um, the artillery here. And also the uh, poison wind mortars. Ikka Claw should be able to handle out here by himself. Wonder where no evil doer, she is. She's got to be somewhere around here just raiding. She'll probably just make a silly attack and get killed now. Fine by me. Alright, let's get Ikka Claw. Let's, let's do it in raid stance because our, <laughs> our food situation's a bit shit. So every bit of food counts. Alright, now at Maragliano, we obviously need... Uh, yeah, we, we need to build the food building immediately. There's going to be a rebellion here. Oh. Choosing. Okay. Rebellions never besiege and assault on the exact same turn. Doom decay. And even if they did, we should be able to handle it. Otherwise, we're in big trouble. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we got a lot of wins of magic. And it's Vecti. Do you guys remember that battle with... Uh, it was against... Um, oh, I think it was at Karag's Azul, or Karak Eight Peaks. This was in Warhammer 2, with Vectique the Unstoppable. This was where the legend of Vectique really began, where he took on a shitload of force with barely anything. He had, like, one regiment of renown. Yeah, and could use a little... Oh, I'm not charging. Okay, it's fine. I don't have the cash to build all this other stuff up. Need more food. Yeah, plus, right now, all of our construction is going to be quite expensive. If they survive another turn, maybe I'll accept that. Tax Maragliano? Oh, yeah, you're right. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, and let's move on. That revolt looks pretty small. I, I don't think we've got anything to worry about.
Do you got any links to that video with that battle? Oh, no. It, it must have been, like, three or four years ago. It was a very long time ago. It was the first This Is Total War campaign for Ikaclaw, which we've done two of. So one was... One was a charity live stream that was the end of 2022, and the other This Is Total War campaign for Ikaclaw was maybe late 2020. So it's quite a while ago. In fact, if you go to my shorts, the only short on the channel should actually provide you with a link to that campaign. Can, can you somehow revive Snitch? Um, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he can be revived, but I'm not sure. Cool. For some reason, a whole bunch of storm vermin got replenished straight away. Not sure why. Good begin summoning. Ring bell. Basic shit. Don't have to worry about that. And to think I was I wasn't worried, but still. Right. Deadly. Come over here. Vectig should have no cha uh, no um, chance of failure. It should be 100%, yeah. They're not in in-camp sense or anything, so yeah. You take that out. That guy will just reinforce. Oh, and the garrison came in anyway. Cool, but it gave these guys a bit of experience. All good. All right, we want the food, definitely. This guy didn't get a level up, so I can't just, um... Can't just respec him. Okay, Victique. We need to get over to here, so that we can recruit those units. Doesn't have to be done right away. We also need more heroes for him, so I need more of the Plague... Priests, which we don't have any more capacity. We also need another Warlock Engineer, which I could probably get another war Ooh, ooh! I get a Warlock Engineer if I level up Ikaclaw, which he's going to level up when we do Make this. I doubt that... Oh, I was going to say, I doubt that there's an army there, but honestly, I'm happy for this because we're catching it while it's recruiting. You're what? Only true vengeance. Okay, looking at Sartosa. Dark are these times. Most infamous. Just don't know where she is. This will probably have to be fought manually because this army is obviously not in great shape. Just because of all the Skaven slaves. So I mean, okay, over here. That's also good. Monstrous plants, food capacity plus thirty, food generated plus one, and then we're getting close to monstrous abominations, which is the best tech in the tree, which a lot of people ask about. Um, the reason why you want to rush this is because. It unlocks a follower for you to be able to get that will increase your research rate. So getting this one first allows you to research your entire tech tree really quickly, eventually. Science, sorcery, death. Yeah, I kind of figured that it would say auto resolve defeat. But I don't believe them. Yeah, don't believe it. Which difficulty would you advise for role planning, meaning that EG would not allow to choose fights? Um, whatever you want. I wouldn't have. You, you sh I can appreciate people wanting to ask my opinions on literally everything, but I don't play role play campaigns. So why would you ask someone that doesn't play role plays campaigns for advice on role play campaigns? And the thing is with roleplay campaigns is that you're playing it the way you want to play it. So why would you ask somebody else to tell you how to play a game in a way that you want to play it? It's just, it's just weird. It's just weird, that's all. Like, play on normal difficulty or whatever. Depends on how you want to roleplay. Alright, you 
just do that, and if you claw draw, harass them. Probably don't need this Doom Flayer much longer. If I can get him his rest of his army going. Can't wait to get the weapons teams going. I love me some full powered weapons teams. Okay, we've now got Scorch real cheap. It's four wins of magic. I think I've only got one point into it. And this does no armor piercing though. If I overcast it, no armor piercing, so don't over um don't overcast it then. Still does decent damage, at least they don't dodge it. Whereas if I use this, they'll dodge it. I really wish they would change the disgusting green lighting that you see every fucking battle with uh, Skaven. It just gets a bit gross. It doesn't look good, in my opinion. I think it's just overkill. They need to tone it down a bit. Still active. Death by the winds. <laughs> uh, it wasn't the greatest cast ever. Make sure that these artillery don't make it to our front line because they'll wreck us. Right, might be a good idea to actually use you in this battle. Let's get going. Good, broken this one, that's what we want to see. And this one is not too far behind. Try to push through a little bit so we can kill it quicker. These slayers aren't doing that much damage. See, this is where a, a flayer is so much better than a doom wheel because they just can't all hit a doom flayer because it's so small. Being small is really handy. Sometimes. Depends on what you're trying to do. Like when you're playing a Scar Brand, it being big is actually quite useful because you knock everything down so easily. But when you're playing as like Greenskins or Skaven, being small is better. You don't want to be too big. This is why Hell Pit Abominations are actually not that good. Just because their size actually works against them, in my opinion. Good amount of kills on Ikka Claw so far. Too bad we can't make him a Mortis Engine. Actually, no, we can if we got Warpstone armor. <coughs> Excuse me. No blood. No uh, blood effects are on. Yeah, it's all on. Each remains. 
Yeah, they're, you know, they're bloody dumb. It's just hard to see it because of the disgusting green overlay. <laughs> Rangers getting in doing damage. Okay, almost in range of the rattling guns. Actually, you really shouldn't be here. I should bring you up this way and use ballistic calibrations. It's kind of weird how ballistic calibrations is actually useful on escape and slave slingers. Yeah, use the ballistics to charge your slings. Even the Skaven Slave Slingers, they're such low tier units, but they're good against quite a few units. Like, Slayers, no armor, just kills them easily. Imagine being a Slayer and being killed by the rock thrown by a Skaven Slave Slinger. That'd be so embarrassing. Oof, this one's taking too much damage. Move back. And there's the army losses. Cool stuff. Minimal damage, that's exactly what we want to see. Don't forget the auto resolve said Valiant Defeat. Yesterday got a personal record. One cast of Dwellers Below, 100k damage. Wow. That, that is a lot. Holy crap. You mean the life magic spell? Because isn't the... They're not called the same thing, are they? The life magic spell is called Dwellers... I can't remember what it's called. I know what you're talking about, but I just can't remember what, exactly what it's called. Uh, did you see Yuan Bo can reach something like 70% faction-wide spell resistance? Yep, yep, I'm aware of that. Yep. Yes, I could see money. Neferata still a legendary lord they could do? Yeah, and I hope they do it. I, I believe Neferata was on the plan to do, but she may have been cancelled, which would suck so much. Oh, shit. This is why it's important not to take damage. <laughs> Yeah, I'm expecting her to attack. Should be able to manage it. Especially because you got a bloated corpse. Only the rank one lord. Araness is somewhere. Alright. Yeah, another point into Scorch. It should only cost us two wins of magic now. Hell in Warp Gale, we got to get through here towards Unlimited Power. Should definitely put two points into that. It means five points total into that area, but that's fine. Scream, scream. Mm. All right, it's okay if we're taking a bit of attrition, considering he's not really going to be fighting again for a little bit. But we want to be going around this way here. Yeah. This city is now mine. Three turns until we can get the units that we actually 
going to take two turns to recruit anyway, so... I would... I, I won't bother recruiting the artillery right now, just for him to sit there for two turns after he arrives. Okay, now over here, we need to get more food. So that's only an additional one, but still, it's good. Uh, repair that. And we need defenses. And... We need this, definitely, because the public order will go down otherwise. And we need artillery and... Oh, would be good to get some spies. Yeah, let's get them going. Alright, this area here is now, as far as I'm concerned, safe. Which means these can now be upgraded. Mm. Yeah, do, do this one. Safe-ish. Safe-ish. We'll definitely need to build defenses, if we can. And what I'd like to do is build these clan building things, clan armories, so that we can increase capacity for chieftains, because they're really good heroes. All the Skaven heroes are good, except for Eshin Sorcerers. <laughs> if Eshin Sorcerers used a different capacity, I'd probably get them, but they don't. I'm just going to leave that empty for now. Okay. And not tax this, because I want to try to hold on to it as long as possible. If I could just get to Karak Izor, which will take me two turns to get there. They should have no oh, yeah, forces really left, yep. Taking out him this early would be awesome. I hate going into Athel Lauren though. Don't want to border them. Cool. Alright, all these units here, might as well just merge them, because they're going to be disbanded soon anyway. Oh shit, I don't have enough Warplock Jezails. But I'll be able to get it over here, because they'll be ready. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And let's move on. Oh, right. I was supposed... Oh, fuck me. I just realized I was supposed to get Warp Tech Academy. Oh, well. It looks like I'm going to get another level up soon anyway. So, just let's deal with it. Are you making use of Chieftains and Taskmasters during your Skaven campaigns? Yeah, but I usually just don't get them super early. So you don't see me use them that much. But in the later stages of the campaign, I use them a lot. Because they, they're really good. I just... It's hard to get a lot of heroes on turn 10, or whatever turn we're on. Well, at least it's a supply of food for us. I definitely think we should fight this manually. Yeah. There's nothing in here we really need to be too worried about. It's just that the order resolve is giving us really shit results. What happened to our garrison? I don't have any. Oh, because I sacked and occupied it. That's why. Alright, that's fine. Just gotta fight it manually. Should be fine. Still think Nefrata is coming? I'd like to hope so, but as I said, I got a, a whole bunch of um, inside information and it was all doom and gloom. Like, this got cancelled, that got cancelled, and you know, certain DLCs that we were expecting are going to be smaller. Um, the scope of what they originally planned for Warhammer 3, from what I was told, has been reduced. Which, I hope Neferata is still on the agenda, but I just, I just don't know. It's so frustrating as well that this is all Hyena's fault. It's like, like, yeah. Warhammer had one fucking bad DLC. One one bad DLC since, like, Hunter and the Beast in Warhammer 2, which is friggin' three years ago. Four years ago, even. Maybe even five years ago, I don't know. Wasn't that 2019? It has one kind of bad DLC where it, it just doesn't make as much profit as what they were expecting, but it's apparently still made loads of profit. And they're like, let's just, let's just strip Warhammer of its future content because of fucking Pharaoh. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, why is Warhammer, their only profitable product, being punished for that? It, it's also a possibility that the stuff that's being told to me isn't correct. So we use the um, terrain here to try to protect our flanks where possible. Okay, we got a stinky bomb boy, bloody boy, that we want him to blow up his own units. Yeah, come at me, bro. This way, this way, this way, this way. We want to kill 
zombie pirate gunnery mob. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Bloody boys. Whenever I see them in a Vampire Coast army, I know that they're working for me. Unless they're running out of money. Like, like I said, I just don't know. Don't know. A lot of it doesn't make sense. Like I, I'm just re reporting on what I'm told, but it doesn't make sense. And I see people on the Reddit say, the legend's bound to be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, because it doesn't make sense. It just seems like complete stupidity left, right, and center, and I, I just don't get it. It is an enigma to me. What's that, like two wins of magic? No, yeah, two, that's awesome. And if you defeat Yuan Bo, you can reduce it even further. Probably to free. Free wins of... Imagine Scorch for free. That'd be good. Imagine Scorch for free with zero cap cooldown. That'd be awesome. Skaven slaves are getting eaten. Oh no! Not my Skaven slaves. Two times zero point eight equals zero. No, 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 no! You don't understand that that, that you got the maths completely wrong. The zero. 0.8 multiplica uh, multiplier is based on the base cost of the spell, and the base cost is like, isn't it eight wins of magic? So what is, um, all right, let's get a calculator out. Calculator, please. Pretty sure it's eight wins of magic. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. So we go eight times 0. .0. 0 0.2 actually. Go okay, 0. 0.2. 1.6. So we minus 1.6 of 2. Yeah, it might cost 1 Winds of Magic. Depending on how it's rounded. Man, so many people don't understand game maths. Or just maths in general. And I'm one of them. <laughs> Spells are capped at one wins of magic, so not free. No, I've seen free wins of magic. I've seen it. So that's just not true. That's that's fake news. <laughs> oh my god, he said fake news, therefore he's a Trump supporter. Game of Slaves taking damage, no big deal, as long as the Rattling Guns and Jezels are fine. And we should replenish pretty quick. Whatever mistakes EA has made, I would rather have these games than not. I agree, but I... Okay, so here's the thing. If the Creative Assembly's plan for the next 10 years is to make more Total War Pharaoh-like games, I would rather that they disappeared and let somebody let let a power vacuum occur and hopefully the ip got so, uh, get sold sold to another company but that being said i don't think that is the plan i think they've i hope that they've well and truly lost the, uh, learned their lesson that these cheap cash grab games are not going to work they're not viable
Excuse me. Alright, we need... It's kind of annoying how Enslaver's always two food. It's not relative to how much you kill. I need food, but I also need money. So two... Yeah, I'll go with the money. These guys aren't finished off yet. Can Gelt get free Searing Doom after defeating Yuanbo? I don't know because it's currently at two wins of magic, and that's a spell with a base cost of six. So I don't. I think you can get it down to one wins of magic with Gelt, not two. Uh, not zero. Any rumor about engine tech or just more of the same? It's conflicting stuff. It's like, sometimes I hear they're working on Unreal Engine 5. 5. Sometimes I hear that it's still Warscape 3. You know, we just we won't find out the truth until they actually announce what they're doing. Yeah, I think I think they'll do a better job with Friends of Decay than they did with Shadows of Change. Because for one thing, I think that Nurgle is a more popular faction than Zinch. And definitely Empire and Dwarves are popular factions, for sure. That really do need some attention. Whereas Kislev and Kithay, they didn't need the attention that much. Yeah. Let the bell scream, scream. It must be. Okay. He's at war with Karazza Karak. Seems pretty unlikely that he'll declare war on me. Master of Sears. Fine. Good. I'm actually glad that he picked up a whole bunch of units, because that just means more food for me. Stop that. Ring bell. Tinker, tinker. What happened to Aranessa, though? Maybe she made the attack on them and they got wrecked. A little bit reluctant to force march over here. She doesn't need to, he doesn't need to be there straight away. He wouldn't be able to recruit anyway. So just stay there for this turn. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make it here this turn. Gives them another turn to re recruit more units. Oh, we didn't um, ambush them. Ambush would be better. Yeah, we got plenty of movement. We can have another shot at it. Because an ambush would also uh, move one tick towards getting that trait, the ambusher. Giving him extra... There we go. Ambush success chance. Which is awesome. I've obtained Warpstone armor. Okay, that's good. Thanks for that reminder. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go with eight captors because next turn we're gonna have the battle here, so I need every soldier that I've got. There's Ariel. Looks like Ariel's part of Argualon. That's weird. Do you know what's interesting? If this happens when you're playing as Dryka, this is the only way for you to possibly get Ariel. Um, Cody Prophet did a five dollar super chat. In your opinion, would Pharaoh and or Troy be worth it to pick up on sale? Um, for me personally, no. Um, for you, maybe. It depends how much of a um, interest that you have in that game. Like, honestly, Pharaoh. Like, I'm not trying to be mean with this. I think it's really important to understand. I'm not trying to be mean. If you gave me Pharaoh for free, I'd like put it on my Steam account, but I would never play it. Because something you gotta understand is that every game that you play doesn't just cost money, right? There's also another cost that I think a lot of people don't understand, and that is time. When there are 
so many amazing games out at any given time, which right now, now's, now's a really good time for gaming. Not, not so good for gaming companies, but there are a lot of really good games out at the moment, especially ones that I'm personally interested in. You know, such as Pal World, there's Enshrouded, there's um, Helldivers 2. And so, if you get a game for free, you, unless you're some kind of um, octopus, <laughs> and you're able to play like four to eight games at a time, I would rather pay a hundred dollars to play a game that I actually want to play than to play a game that I got for free. I can get games for free on Epic Game Store all the time, but I barely ever do it because most of the time I'm not going to play these games. And when it comes to Pharaoh, I just don't want to play it. Kill contraptions. Yeah, that's all it really comes down to. I have no interest in playing that game. Because the thing is, as I've said many times before, Troy, like, I got it for free. I got Troy for free, right? I can show you. Troy. Oh, where is it? It's under games I don't play. Total War games I don't play. If I go down to Troy, I got this for free, and I played it for 37 hours. Which, for me, is not much. Um, I don't want to play it. It's totally free. I've got all the DLC. I just don't want to play it. And Pharaoh is just more Troy. In fact, it's Troy, but less. So, I just don't want to play it. Um, Micah TBGN did a $10 super chat. God bless the SFO team. You are the only man I love. Legend. Cheers. Okay, that's fine. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. Um, Pesky Steven, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Um, but yeah, like, I also don't want to make it seem like I'm saying you shouldn't play Pharaoh. If you like playing Pharaoh, awesome. I really hope that those of you who bought Pharaoh feel like you got your money's worth. Like, if you managed to play it for 100 hours, I think that's pretty good. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm supposed to get Warp Tech Academy. So, there's this thing called different tastes. And we all have different tastes. Some of us... Some of us, uh, you know, our favorite color is blue. Some of us, uh, our favorite color is red. There's no right or wrong answer to these questions. It's just a matter of popularity. Like, comparing... Comparing, um... Uh... Pharaoh to Warhammer, as an example, is like saying, what's your favorite color? Um, let's just say Warhammer is red. I don't know. And then... Pharaoh is... Your favorite color is some obscure brownie color, which it's very unlikely that anyone's favorite color is like poo colored, right? But there may be a couple of people whose favorite color is that. There's nothing wrong with having your, f your favorite color being baby poo green or whatever, <laughs> but um, it's not popular. That's basically what Pharaoh is. You know, it's not bad, it's just that it's not popular. All right, so we've got that hero available here. Yep, cunning. Nice. Harness to the power. And I'll add this to my growing harem of saved heroes. Ew. <laughs> red is best. Red is best. I, I said red because red's my favorite color. Actually, okay, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. You only get two options. There's only two options. Pick your favorite color. <laughs> nah, warp stone. Monstrous abominations. Nice to get in there. Oh, you fuckers. As if 39% of you prefer poo brown over red. What? You guys are full of shit. Literally. <laughs> full of shit. You're just doing that to bloody annoy me. 
<laughs> it, there's no, there's no greatest, way. Greatest, Dishon greatest. Dishonest polling. I don't believe it for a second. Well, all right. Maybe okay. Maybe half of you should be playing Total War Pharaoh then. It's just since it's your favorite game. Okay, you're just doing that to try to prove me wrong. All it proves is that you're all a bunch of trolls. All right. Let's move on to next turn. I'm just checking things constantly. I'm not really doing anything. All right. So yeah, next turn we should be able to hit this. Should be able to reach there. If I can reach there and force march now. Yeah, okay, moving on. Wait, uh, I got warp stone armor, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I mean, it's good to have loads of defense, but I think being a mortis engine is going to be more useful in the coming fight, so let's get that on. Let's move on. Look, okay. 57% of people still preferred red over poo brown. I just was expecting it to be a lot, a lot different, that's all. I was expecting it to be like 5% to 95%. But hey. You, you get what I'm talking about. That, in, uh, that poll's an invitation for trolling. I understand that, and it's fine. I'm not mad at you. Although, this will be the last live stream ever. Fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, purple, green, and black are the best colors. That's cool if they're your favorite. They're not mine. Okay, we'll do another poll, because polls are fun. What is your favorite Total War game? You only get two choices. Let's see how much you guys want to troll now, okay? Alright, this is fine because we're going to arrive at Karakai's Orb first. Yeah, just enough movement. Alright, so they've got Beligar in there. He just showed back up, so it was five turns ago we beat him. They've got 18 units to our 20, but they're all slow dwarfs. Attack, attack. Plus, we do have unlimited ammunition on the rattling guns. I doubt it'll be an order resolve win. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. So, we got 102 wins of magic. I've got a mortis engine effect. Let's go finish off these dwarfs. Also, I just realized that we probably don't have enough food to get this to tier 5. But I kind of need to occupy this, so maybe I'll occupy it at tier 1 and then I'll just abandon it later. Uh, dead... Dead Elite Zealot to the 6 year Super Chat. Is it worth it to you to have one warp cannon in a weapons team army or just go play Claw Catapults? It's up to you. Um, I prefer to have just play Claw Catapults because um, as for anti-large, I use the Gisales for that. Gisales and Rattling Guns handle that. Whereas the Poison Wind Mortars and the Plague Claw Catapults are specifically my anti-infantry weapons. So these ones here, I, that's not specifically my anti-infantry weapons. Um, ah, oh shit. Ah, oh shit, this map sucks. Okay. Okay, shit, I can't just hang back here. Yes, yes. Yeah. For the famine tide! 
Okay, good. At least the defenses there is um not going to shoot us too badly. Did you get any hints on what the 40k game will be? Will it be both space and planets? No, I have no idea about what's entailed with it. No clue. All I know is that 40k Total War is coming. That's the only thing I know. Uh oh. They have artillery. That's okay. I got anti artillery. I just got. Yep. Put that down there. That'll sort it out. Elmwood Sire did a five dollar super chat. Um, Legend, would you consider trying Death Globes? They do pretty incredible damage from my experience. They definitely do a lot of damage, but I prefer range over damage output. So they are good, but they're just really short range for what I like. I just I just find that these units here are better, that's all. But if you like Death Globe Bombardiers, awesome. Be fine to come up over here. Rayeth Red Path did a five dollar subject. Hey, Legend, sorry to ask again. Do you think that the Sun Aider skill for Kolek is worth it without a way to make him unbreakable? Um, I don't know. I don't play a whole lot of Kolek Sun Eater, so I'm not sure. See what they're trying to do here. They want to waste my ammo on that dude. They're all kind of spread out at the moment. Alright, we're outside of the range of the towers now. Hmm. So a lot of shots are hitting their regular infantry, but yeah, we really don't want to be shooting these guys here. That's not going to do anything. That might do something. Yeah, if he had stayed there. I tell you what, some plain cool catapults here would have been really bloody handy. But that's okay, we'll make do. We're not badly outpowered. In fact, we're not not even outpowered here. It's just that it's not gonna be easy to assault this settlement type with bloody scaven slaves. Yeah, we're getting them. And as I said before, we've got unlimited ammo on these guys, so we'll never truly run out, as long as they don't get killed. Got heaps of winds of magic. Main focus needs to be getting rid of quarrelers. Anything that can fire back at us. Okay, I think we're actually in. They opened the gate for us, and I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go in. This engine dishing out damage is good. Nah, that was a complete miss. Quick 
it fast. All right. Let's see about capping some points to draw their forces away from here. I'm bloody trapped in here. All right. Break through this one here. Let's see how that goes. See if that does any damage at all to him. Man, it's not too bad, about 200 damage. I think the Mortis Engine, the Warpstone Armor, has been a good choice. Obviously, if I do this, I'm just going to cast it on the bridge here. They've got cover from us. So they could do this, though. It might bounce it if I could just... Uh, I can't cast underneath. Hang on. If I could just... It might work. Mm, it went up the walls. Bloody weird. If I did it this way. Okay, that works. Star Wars does also have the World War. I've heard that at one point, the Creative Assembly was making a bid for Star Wars Total War, but they didn't get the license for it. Maybe they'll get it in the future. I'm definitely t keen to see Star Wars Total War. Lord of the Rings Total War, Harry Potter Total War, I don't care. Just make it good. Game of Thrones Total War, I'd be down for that. Alright, are we through here yet? Almost. I'm glad I don't have to break through the barricade once. Have they done much damage to us? No, not really. Through. Then I can put my rattling guns up here to try to shoot them. Okay, these guys here, they're pretty much spent. Move them at the back. And move these up front. Yeah. Halfway through it. Teletubby Total War? Yeah, look, I, like I said, I don't care about the setting at all. You know, going back to Pharaoh, I would love a good Bronze Age Total War game, but the key word there is good. I just don't think it's good. I could really sink my teeth into a good Bronze Age. The thing is, if you're going to make a Bronze Age game, you've got to get your combat to be good, and it is not. On that engine, it is not good. Is very bad. I do not think that the deciding factor on battles should be the tier of your units. I fucking hate that. 
I do not like that one bit. That's why I don't like Troy and Troy spin-offs. And Rome 2 for that matter. I think that tactics should actually matter. I think that killing the enemy general should have a huge impact on the enemy forces. And when I look at battles from Total War Pharaoh, I don't see much of that. It's just it's just stat stacking. And that's fine for something like Warhammer, but for a Bronze Age game, I don't want to see that. Do you think that we would go so far as to get Nippon? Uh, from what I've heard, no. Don't don't hold your breath on Nippon. Even Koresh, I think now is pretty much off the table. Um, well, you, 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 honestly, you never know. You know, it's all doom and gloom at the moment. But if the next year goes well for Creative Assembly, it may get put up on the table. Because one thing to keep in mind is that the original plan for Warhammer Three didn't include Kislev and Cathay. And it was added because Warhammer 2 did so well. So if Warhammer 3 starts turning around and becomes the game that they expected it to be, which it currently isn't, then maybe, maybe there is a future where um, they'll actually make Nippon. It's really hard to predict because we don't know what the future is going to be. We can only predict the direction things are going and the current direction is it's not coming. But they could change their mind. Because Kislev and Cathay, they were never part of the plan. Until they were. No. Total War on the Fall. Um, yeah, well, you never know. I mean, they did say it was going to be a trilogy, but things change. Things change. And, you know, when new information comes out, I will update you where I can. Played any more Millennia? Uh, I played it a little bit more. I mean, I finished it, so I kind of just waiting for some, like, additional content to be added. Alright, that's not... That's not gonna get done. Okay, some... Okay, this one here is shooting at my rattling gun here. I'm just gonna move it out of the way for a moment. Like here's another example of it, right? So I heard from my sources that Hag Witches were coming in the Shadows of Change 4.2, but then of course they didn't come, or Hag Lords, I mean. Uh, then they didn't come. So maybe they were being planned, but they just didn't end up being implemented. I, I just don't know. This is why you shouldn't really pay that much attention to leaks. Like it's cool to discuss it, but don't t don't take it anything that I say as oh yeah, this is definitely going to happen. It's just pure speculation. And don't be like, oh my god, Legend was wrong about this one thing that he said was speculation. Therefore, you can't trust anything he says. <laughs> yeah, just... Okay. Oh my god, he can't predict the future. What a loser. Come over here. I want you to shoot this one. So we're having trouble killing this guy here. Because yeah, he doesn't have magical attacks. Let's 
Galen. Yes, yes. I need to capture that position there because the tower was destroying my rattling guns. I need to get rid of it. Total War Age of Sigma. Could happen. Could happen one day. 40k would be first though. Oh, you know what? I have actually heard about what the starting factions are going to be for Warhammer 40k. It'll be three. Orcs, Space Marines, and Chaos. Those are the three starting factions for Warhammer 40k. Uh, currently, at least. Uh, Dead Elite Zealot did a 6 0 super jet. How could they fix sieges in Warhammer 3 to be more fun like they were in Medieval 2 Total War? I really don't know. I don't know. Probably get rid of all the bloody supply points completely. Um, try to make it less of a tower defense game. I don't know. Probably make settlements that can be actually be properly encircled, which there are actually. Like this one here can be properly encircled. I don't know. I think there's a lot of things that you'd have to do. I also think to keep in mind is that I'm not a games designer. I, I actually don't know what they need to do. I can only say when it's bad, which this is definitely bad. But yeah, I don't think that anyone's really that fond of capture points. For some reason, Creative Assembly just loves them. <laughs> it's weird. Come on, shoot him. Get in there a little bit more if you can. Good. One ancestor hero down. Definitely don't want to fight Belagar. Try to avoid him. Good, looks like we're starting to clear the wall here. That's awesome. So I can start bringing my um, rattling guns in once it's fully cleared. I don't think we're that far off from army losses. That being said, I've used up a lot of my ammunition here, but this is all low tier shit. This is where it really counts. Nothing like burning 400 undead with one Iron Drake. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, Iron Drakes are really good units in many situations. Where's my last minutes below going? I want a Mongol total while spanning from Japan to China, Vietnam, and 
to Europe, via to Europe. Um, yeah, I'd be totally down for that. Total War Khan. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, I am totally on board with a Total War Khan. Okay, there's the army losses, but we have to still kill this guy here. Completely on board. Yeah, it should go from like... Probably shouldn't include Japan. Since they, they tried to invade Japan, but they didn't really. Um, yeah, it should be, you know, obviously all of Mongolia, China, Indochina, uh, not all of Indochina. Maybe the northern part of India, all of Persia, maybe cut off Saudi Arabia. Definitely should have Anatolia, maybe don't need Egypt, and as far west at least as the Holy Roman Empire. That's at the bare minimum. I mean, if you get the whole continental Europe, Asia, Africa, that'd be even better. I just don't expect that. Um, American Scald did a $5 super chat. Thoughts on the TV show Viking? It's a fairly guilty pleasure for me since it's essentially just soap opera set in the Viking Age. Yep, I've actually watched through that multiple times. I think it's great. And in Hungary? Yeah, well, the thing to keep in mind is that, like, if you think of Rome Total War, Rome 2, the game extends beyond the historical boundaries and peak of the Roman Empire. So there are countries that encountered and maybe held back the the Mongol invasion, such as Poland. Okay, so with that poll, after 2,000 vote, votes, 85% say that Total War Warhammer 3 is your favorite game, and 15% of you are trolling. <laughs> I don't believe you, because if 15% or 14%, it's your favorite Total War game. Why are there still so few people playing Pharaoh? So, don't believe. I think it's fake. All right, should I sack? Oh shit, we got enough food. Oh shit. I mean, I'm gonna be low, but that's okay. Chief Warlock, All right, so that should be Clan Angrand gone. And we're once again in the shit for food. And with no actual enemies, except for Zafbar. Vectique still needs a lot of Plague Priests. Um, does anyone remember how to get the Bell followeth? You have to stay in a region with the Bell, don't you? So like over here. You stay there for this turn, and then I'll move over here next turn. Alright, time to get rid of all the Skaven Slave Slingers. Alright, we got a Gisele in here. No, it hasn't been built yet. Okay, you need four Plague Claw Catapults. At least four spaces left. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Storm Demon. Okay, now we can start focusing on Helling Warp Girl. Good. A game doesn't have to be replayed replayable for me to enjoy it. For sure. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I totally agree. Um, I don't really understand what you're arguing against. <laughs> I don't think I said anything about Pharaoh having no replay value. I said, like, one playthrough is what I don't want to play of uh, Pharaoh. I don't want to play a single playthrough of it. Do you need to upgrade all two upgrades in order to access tier three upgrades in Ica's engineering lab? No, no. As soon as you got the walk, uh, the engineer to the various levels, it unlocks everything, and you can just do it in whatever order. Okay, magic, good. All right, now. The 
council's voice. So Vectic still needs one more walk block Jezel, which that'll become available next turn from here, and also needs. So this will be good, reduce the upkeep cost, and increase the recruit rank of weapon team units, so that's really good. We also need... It's a good place to actually recruit them. We definitely need defenses. Shit. Um, probably should... Mm, low on money. Yeah, get that one going, because that will generate some money at least. And we'll just see how we go. Alright, now, what are we doing next? I don't like going into Athalorn, because it's low value for us. Sure, these guys here will probably declare war on us. Probably. No, he's out that way fighting against Heinrich Kimmler. Did we end up getting rid of Aranessa? Yeah, yeah, we did. She's gone. Um... There's these ogres over here. What I could do, actually, is have Ica Claw. Firstly, he's got a revolt to deal with. I could get him to jump down here and pick up some recruits from this location. Because everything that we need to recruit is here. I should have enough money or income to, um... To afford two of these stacks. I'll be a little bit broke afterwards. Alright, let's upgrade Verdanos, because this is a good one here, so we can start getting some food generated. Which we obviously need. Okay, let's move on. How high of a priority is a good army for Ikit? Well, like, we've managed just fine with him. Oh, look, they're coming back. Uh, it, it's getting to be a higher priority now because we're dealing with higher tier of enemies. And Skaven Slave Slingers, like, they've they've been fine, but now that we've got access to our better units, I really I should try to use them. Fast. If you're declaring war on me, okay, well, that gives us something to do. Alright, cool. If he wants to, like, send heaps of armies down here for Ikiklaw to eat, that'll be a good way for us to generate food. And they're really susceptible to ambush. And also... Our armies are good against them. Yeah, I never really had too much trouble fighting against the Empire as Skaven. Scrag next, so much pastures that way. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to take on Scrag for sure. Once Vectik is ready, he'll just go through there. Vectik should be able to handle Scrag's armies, no problem. No mortars. I'm going to get mortars next turn. They just weren't available. I'm still building the building. Still constructing the building. But yes, mortars definitely. But you know, I can't recruit a unit that isn't available to me. Bell Polish will spawn only when in region with public order building and has to be 4 to 5 in turn and 9 to 10 in turn. Won't spawn now. Okay, but it might spawn on turn 25 if I make my way down there because it takes two turns to recruit. Hornet Rat agrees. Yeah, they might... I might be able to get one if I stay here. If I go down here and recruit... Ah, need money. Oh, hang on. Isn't our recruitment cost way up? No, these units just cost that much to recruit. Hang on, let me look. Yeah, the uh, the increased recruit cost is just due to bad public order. Alright, that's fine. And we'll get some food and some money from this. Good, and this should just be an easy order resolve. Actually, I should have fought that manually. Ah, it's fine, no damage. No damage to Echo Claw's army. Okay, and let's take food. 
yourselves up to your master. How many plague priests do you like having in a weapon team army? I usually like four. I find four is a sweet spot, but it's entirely up to you how many you want. Um, let's put this one as... Where is it? That's a good item for him. Oh, he doesn't have a fucking arcane item slot, even despite him being a wizard. That's interesting. Make it so. Interesting. Alright, since we're their only enemy, I kind of expect them to show up around here any moment. Greatest, best inventor. <laughs> but that actually could be good for us. So our ambush success chance is currently 65%. I really need to get some cunning characters up in here. having a little 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 look Ooh. okay another thing that we could do here is get a bait army okay I need a bait army let's get yeah you you're cunning let's bring you in I already said you. Okay, so that increases him, his ambush success chance, and we'll use this one to try to lure their armies out here to attack us. Okay, I got a little bit of money from all that, which we could put into another Giselle that gives us 552 five, for those. And we'll get rid of one Giselle, one Rattling Gun, and one Poison Wind Mortar for three more cunning Plague Priests when we've got access to them, because at the moment we just don't have the capacity. Can't do anything about that. So, next turn we won't get another item, because these two take two turns to recruit. He's going to be sitting there for a couple of turns. Okay. And that used up all of our money. Public order is still a bit iffy. Still in the red. Impossible. But at least we're gaining food. Alright, see if we can get some more money. Big as an old. Hmm. He's not fair in... Oh, no, he's got a lot of territory. It's not an aggression pact. Let me just see you about this. something from the great and ratty? Yeah, I'll, I'll accept that. Did I don't want to fight him right now. Hmm. Indeed. No. My coop. Aye. Okay. How about going overseas and attacking Chevrolet de Lyonese? Um, I would, but we've, we've got to deal with this stuff here first. She hasn't declared war on us yet. If she declares war on us, then I'll go do that. But, yeah, we deal with the primary th uh, threats to us at the moment, which is the Golden Order. If we just walk away from here, it's not going to work for us. Plus, over here, there is two, um, there's two settlements with food. Karak Angazar and Akendorf. The pastures building, so that's really good for us to get passive food. Alright, and let's move on. Can you check Twitch donations, please? Um, okay, so as far as notifications go for Twitch stuff, um, I only see subscriptions. So we've got Major Spaces, subscribe with Prime. If somebody actually donated on Twitch, that doesn't pop up in the chat anymore because what I found is that people spam donations and it, um, it, so it sucks that this had to happen because sometimes we get a big donation and I do really appreciate that. But what was happening for a long time is that people were spamming like $1 donations and it was just constantly on the on the uh, screen, one dollar donation, one dollar donation, one dollar donation. People were like, I'm fucking sick of this. It's ruining the stream. So I turned off those notifications, and I would much rather not get donations than ruin the experience for people. So if anyone donated, I really do appreciate it. But I don't have my PayPal open. I don't keep my account open while I'm live streaming because of security reasons. Um, But if you did donate, I do really appreciate it. And feel free to let me know exactly how much in the chat. But yeah, I don't have those notifications enabled. Machinations. 
So this was actually pretty convenient for us that they declared war. If they just want to keep sending these armies for us to eat, that'd, that'd be great. So yeah, we should get one next turn. Machines and, and sorcery. Ooh. Ooh, they're coming. Set suit to war fight mode. Oh my god, that's very nice. Scryer consumes you. NM left you a hundred euro donor. Oh dude, that's that's so generous. I, I do really appreciate that. I'm sorry it doesn't pop up in the chat. That is very generous. Yeah, like I said. Uh, it just, it causes so many problems to leave those notifications enabled. Why the, uh, the weapon team stack not on Ikit? I would like to give it to him, it's just a matter of convenience. This army here with Vectik, it was just convenient for him to do, go and do this, whereas I, two turns ago, just took out Clan Angrant, and then they declared war on me, and I'm not gonna, like, take him out of this position to go and recruit a perfect army when we're gonna lose ground that we've just spent a lot of food to, uh, to build up. And at the end of the day, I think I can handle it. Alright, I could ambush... Balthazar Gels, but then I'll be in a real precarious situation there. Not likely. That army is not that dangerous. But legend, he has a great sword. Yeah, if I go in there any further, I'm gonna be running out of movement. What we need to do is keep drawing him in, so go back Fire over away. here in ambush dance. Stupid plan. Yep, yep, yep. Now, now. And have this guy here as bait. Me, yeah. Me. Uh, I'll recruit some more Skaven Slave Slingers. It's better to have more shit than less shit. <laughs> In some situations. Okay. Watch out for interception. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's what they were trying to do. Yeah, they would. I would have been intercepted. So I just want to draw them in a little bit more, into my country here, into here, yeah. Shouldn't, we should stay in ambush stance, and even if we get pulled out of it, I don't think he can reach us, and I should be able to back off, it's just too much distance. Alright, how are we going for Winds of Magic out here? Yeah, getting some more magical reserves sounds good. One. Yeah, this army is pretty good. It's just low experience on all these guys here. Alright, we've got a little bit of money to work with. Let's see. Yeah, we should probably get our defenses going here. Warp bombs in this area would be awesome. And I'm out of money. Okay. Tilia is looking, excuse me, looking fine. I don't have enough money. Moving on. Legend, not equip the Warlock Engineer with the auxiliary. I think I saw available for it. What auxiliary? I'll, I'll have a look at the end of the turn. I. Yeah, some of these things are pretty low impact, so I usually just ignore it, but... I'm not somebody that likes to play for, like, making sure that every item is always constantly equipped. I find that to be a little bit boring. Ah, you got bushed! Delicious! <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Uh, should I auto resolve it? Auto resolve it will wipe them out. But do I want to wipe them out? I don't think I want to wipe him out. I think I want them to get away because that way I get to attack him again. Main thing here is to kill this dude. Nah, I just got orders of him. There we go. It's fine. All right, and then I want, I want, I want. 
still coming in. Yes, yes. Oh no! No, back off. Retreat. He was far enough away that I don't think he'll be able to catch us. Plus, we get the garrison over here as well. Oh, yeah. Good. And what's he going to do? I think he's out of movement. Channeling stance. He had like a tiny little bit left. That gives us a chance to get replenishment. Wiped out one of his armies. And we'll ambush Balthazar Geld. As I've always said, always be the attacker. Remember your ABAs. ABTAs. Any recommendations on how to start with Throt? I've been having some trouble in the early game. I usually go after Cracker Drack first, be really aggressive and finish them off. Really important that you get the um, the cellular instabilities as often as you can on your monsters. That makes a big difference. Can't you set a limit for pop-ups? Like, set it only pop-up if it's only $10 or so? Um, I don't know. Like, I don't live stream enough, and I don't get donations of that size and uh, often enough for me to really worry about that. Like, I, I'm dead serious about this. I would rather just not get the donations. <laughs> I do I do appreciate every donation that comes through, but I, I just can't be fucked. I don't live stream often enough for that. Good, yeah, we got one. Look, we got... All hail Hornet right. We got a bell polisher. Nice. Oh, it's on the, um... You can go in any of those heroes. Cool, that allows us to get another... Sorcerer here. Just what, they cost a thousand. Good thing I got a huge supply of... Plague Priests. Yeah, do it over here. Cool, cool, cool. So that worked out pretty well. Nice timing. And then we make our way over to Zvorak. I guess this one can just use as a scout for the time being, although I do want to level him up. He can, but he won't bother to change anything about Twitch. Don't think he values Twitch very much. Auto mod channel is still very bad also. Yeah, look, Twitch is just kind of like a bonus. I'm just, I'm not, I don't full-time live stream anymore. And so spending a lot of time learning about moderating and how to get things full fine-tuned and everything, I just don't have the energy to do that anymore. Yeah, and I get a lot of people don't understand that, but I, I, just, I honestly just can't be bothered. I do, I do not care. Okay, well, we have to fight this one manually. It's probably giving us bad auto resolve because he's a legendary lord. Alright, let's fight it. Yeah. Old man signs? Well, it's not, it's not really even old man signs. It's more a case of, I'm a YouTuber, Twitch is a side gig. And that's always going to be the case. I'm just, I'm just not going to spend hours trying to fix that stuff up. Like, I've got things exactly how I like it on YouTube. And as for Twitch, it's, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's fine. Like I said, if the way that I've set things up means that you don't want to donate, that's cool. I'm cool with that. I've got things exactly how I want it. And it's cool if it's not how you want it. But here's the thing, if things aren't the way you want it, that's not my fucking problem. <laughs> so, you know, I, I understand, but I also don't have to care. <laughs> Alright, I think we want to set up on this side first, because I want to destroy their artillery and their fast units first. They'll probably try to run away, because the bounce of power shouldn't be in their favor, but I'm not sure. Unfortunately, the thing is, nobody in the world has unlimited fucks to give, and unfortunately, my fucks to give have run out in many in many cases. I just don't give a fuck. Oh 
Oh yeah. Like I just want to come on and play the game. That's that's basically it. I, I just don't don't want to focus on saying thank you a hundred times a minute because of all the one dollar donations or whatever. Frag Zoloco, subscribe with Prime. Appreciate that, dude. Thanks for subscribing, despite the fact that I basically just went, nah, can't be bothered, too lazy. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll put some more effort into it, but not right now. Like, I got a kid on the way, I only live stream like once every two weeks. It's just, uh, just, now's not the time for me to bother with that kind of stuff. Yeah, it looks like they want to leave the battlefield. And that's fine by me. We took out their best units. The next ambush should be pretty easy. Looks like Gelt's already left the battlefield. Yep. <laughs> oh, he got the fuck out of there quick. That's the truth of it. Anything in should be bad. No, 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 no. Look, I look. Let's, I'll say it again. I appreciate every single donation. I just don't want to disrupt the stream a hundred times a minute, or, you know, even five times a minute, to 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 acknowledge all of the uh, the donations. I do appreciate them. I really do. I just I, I just want. There's so many thousands of people watching, and when one person donates, they make that moment all about them. And I, I do appreciate it. Like, the only reason I stopped doing it is because of all the negative feedback I got. Yeah. Oh my god, I used to watch Legend of Total War streams, but it's like five hours of just, thanks dude, appreciate you, thanks dude, appreciate you, thanks dude, appreciate you. And I, I, I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. Imagine suffering from success to such an extent that I had to stop the amount of donations in order to make the the experience <laughs> viable. It, it's a it's a good problem to have. But. But I guess as well, some people just can't understand the concept of, I just don't want the money. Nah, that's fine. But I appreciate you, every single one of you. Regardless, it's just it's very difficult to juggle everything. You know, I, th I think we've spoken about this a bit too much. I do not get it. It's nice that people support what you're doing. I'm watching your stream because of you and not about these whiny people. Yeah, 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 that's cool. You gotta you got take... You gotta keep in mind that everybody is important. Even the... Look, the majority of people are whiny. Are whiny people. Everybody whines about something. Each remains. Quick, fast. Murder, death. He had 1k subs at one point in the Carl France No Defeat campaign. If that didn't change his mind, nothing will. We have still got 1.18. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Look, 1,000 subscribers. Oh, my God. I really appreciate 1,000 subscribers on Twitch. That's amazing. But to put things in perspective, it is a drop in the ocean compared to what I make on YouTube. I just don't. I'm just not going to change the way things are running. To, to, uh, to change things for Twitch. The gods have abandoned us. Elmer Tide did a final subject. You can't stop me from donating anyway. Super chats are different because they don't really disrupt the stream that much. Time. 
what bell polishers do. They allow you to recruit another uh, plague priest. Uh, the AI is totally broken. They're just look looking over here. They're, they're just busted. Hey, Les, thank you for streaming on Twitch again. I, I, it's my pleasure. But yeah, I just, I'm just not trying to make Twitch my full-time job. I know it seems weird, but I'm just, I just don't care. You must be loaded if two thousand dollars a drop in the ocean legend. Well, it, it depends on how you look at it. Um, it depends how you, you got to keep it. Yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, I do. I do pretty well. I do pretty well, right? Um, you got to keep in mind how taxes work. Um, once you reach a certain tax threshold, every dollar that you make, it gets like. You lose half of it, just because of the tax rate. So, I don't really make that two thousand dollars on Twitch. You know, the tax man takes fifty percent of it, just about. <laughs> so, it's not really making two grand. Yeah, it just depends on how you look at it all. The thing is with an incremental tax system is that when you reach the peak of it, it really disincentivizes people from working any harder. It's weird. Legend, you should just move to Dubai where there's no taxes. <laughs> Alright. We should be able to auto resolve the next fight. We'll get the replenishment, that'll make it easier to auto resolve it. Power up. Yeah, Legend's kinda rich. Like, like I said, I do okay. I wouldn't say that I'm rich. I do okay. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend like I'm some poor YouTuber. I am not. I do I do pretty well. But Taxes man, they keep they 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 stop me from being rich. <laughs> anyway, can we move on to a different topic? Because I'm sick of talking about this. Which kill device to Tormentor sword's good. Barely any damage, and... I don't think we need replenishment. I'll take the money. No use for this Good, and it got us out of being in the shit red. Oh, I think we were in the orange, actually. That's the start of the turn. Okay, and that should be all of his armies defeated. Now, as I've said before, I don't usually like occupying forts. I like to set up under cities here. So what I'll do is Chief Warlock, make it clear. Then again, I could wander into his territory. Uh, I don't think I need you anymore. Thanks for your assist. Machines and, and sorcery. Knows who his boss is. Legend you love all of us? Yep, sure. <laughs> As much as you can potentially love a complete stranger, I love you. Alright. Should we take on Fort Soul? Because think if I set up an Undercity here, it's still going to block me from coming through later. If I occupy it, I could just leave it at tier one, and the edict will provide me with food, and that way I can come and go as I please. And if I lose it, who cares? Go, go, go! Hmm. 
engineer of Scryer. That being said as what? Well, no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. That being said, if we come down to Zvorak, we'll be able to recruit the other units he's missing. So maybe I'll occupy this and then swing my way down here. Let the bells or maybe I'll just swing down this way. Maybe just forget about... Hmm... I don't know. I'll, I'll f problem for another turn. Alright, Myrmidon's looking good. We want to upgrade this so that we can get the Lord Recruit rank plus one, so that we can get eventually 13 levels. Oh, I also want that. Very expensive, though. I need more capacity for Warlock Engineers. Then again as well, more capacity for Plague, Priests, and Esh and Sorcerers. Which I kind of need more of those first. And that's a cheaper building. And that allows me to build this one. Okay, cool. Then here, let's get a Barracks going. Actually, no, let's build a defensive building. Don't have enough money. Put the barracks then. Stop. Ready. It is time. All right. This guy just got his immortality. Although this guy is not cunning, so I don't really want to keep him. Not that big of a deal, though. Cool. Alright, moving on. What do you think about Skaven and Warhammer 3 versus Warhammer 2? The extra recruit slots in Warhammer 3 seem pretty good. Uh, okay, so Skaven are about as strong in Warhammer 3 as they were in 2. They lost a little bit of stuff, they gained a bit of stuff. Um, I think one of the things that makes Skaven not as fun in Warhammer 3 is that the campaigns don't get quite as chaotic. Like, we've had this pretty easy ever since, I don't know, like three hours ago. And I kind of feel as though in Warhammer 2, the AI throws more forces at you. And the more armies they throw at you, the more food you get. And it just feels a little bit more satisfying when the enemy throw more more armies at you. So it's more of a campaign AI problem than the Skaven's inherent structure. You should recruit the Avalanche Mortars for Ikit. I usually leave that all regiments of renown as emergency units. I miss the damage of poison with mortars. Oh, they're still they're still damaging. I don't even think they got nerfs. Which faction for Thrones of Decay most excited for? Probably Nurgle. What is your purpose here? Hmm. Alright, I really feel like I should get some intel. But since he's at war with Karaza, he actually owns Karaza Karak. That's weird. Um, shit, I think Karaza Karak owns this area here. That means it's most likely that his armies are in this area. Which means we've got a fair bit of ground to cover before he'll actually do anything to us. He's about to have a revolt. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, that will cause public order problems for us for looting this. Mm, yeah. All right, let's speak to Whistonland and offer to join war my hand against Scrag. My blade. Your Good defeat trait for Scrag so as well, it. from Scrag.
all hail, Hornet Rat. Chosen. wondering if I can get this guy in here because it would be good to give him some experience. Get rid of a poison. Okay, going up against these guys here, anti-infantry, is way less valuable than rattling guns and gisales. I'm going to get rid of one of the poison wind mortars. Oh, he doesn't quite make it. All right. I'm not going to wait around for him. I don't think they're going to counterattack us. Yeah, just straight to tier 1. We're ready to get another settlement to tier 5, but we've got a bit of wiggle room here. Women 2 AO were hilariously stupid. Like, every Total War game it's hilariously stupid. I don't think I've ever played a Total War game where somebody didn't say, Oh my god, the AI is so bad. Even Shogun 2, people say, Oh my god, AI is so bad. Alright, I could bring Ikiklaw into here. Don't have a heap load of income. It will be a while before they send any counterattack towards us. Warlock engineer. Now forward now. Yeah, decided to just wait on the Fort Soul stuff because it, I'll be doing the whole bloody battle with Ikka Claw. It's annoying. All right, let's get rid of. Oh, shit, I don't think I've got enough money for all the units that I can potentially recruit. I need more money. Give me some cash. I hope this doesn't backfire on me. <laughs> I just need some cash. Alright. Should probably start with the stuff that's going to take the longest. Just get one poison wind mortar. Rattling guns are relatively cheap, compared to some of the other units. Oh yes, someone was saying about um, this one here. Bell polisher, or engineering student. Oh, is that what you were talking about? Oh, that is not important. <laughs> that is not a big deal at all. Wow, Legend 5 extra armor for that unit. Wow, fantastic, we'll never lose a battle again now. Yeah, it's better than nothing, but it is not worth, it barely even worth looking at. Oh shit, that is some good recruit rank. Do the rattling guns also get that? No, why are the Giselle so high rank? Damn, I should have had him recruiting. Uh, I went for the rattling guns because I don't have a lot of money. So that's two of those. Let's get rid of another. Let's merge all of these. It's a little bit risky being right in front of their settlements here with no real intel. You know what, actually, we should... Oh my god, I just got rid of a unit here. I should put this one in Ikaclaw's army. He doesn't have one yet. Um, Alexis Mishgux. Oh my god, I'm sure I butchered that name. The 10 year super chat. Hey, Lichin, I'm a bit late to the party, but I just wanted to thank you for the Friends No Defeat campaign. Playing Ultramarines has never been more fun. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you, super chat. You can sell some ancillary items for two if you need to. Yeah, that's true. Um, you don't get a whole lot for it, but things like Clan Scry Saboteur is not essential. 600. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell anything else. Uh, I foresee successes. Um. Yeah, we'll just have to see how we. Uh, I, st I still got more money. Still got more money. Let's get rid of another one.
I'll do some more recruiting next turn. Alright, is there anything that we can construct? Maybe upgrade Argulus could be good. Why should I do some construction, not just focus on recruiting? This looks like it, it it'll maintain its public order because we can always turn off the taxes and the oh wait no the military crackdown's getting shit okay we need to get this up in here straight away or else. I just need to... It's not that big of a deal, but... It... Yeah, if it revolts, just get someone to go and ambush it. should be fine. Um... Alright, that'll do. And get the food going up in here. Cool. Moving on. What is your favorite ch uh, cuisine of food? Is it Chinese? Oh, it definitely is not Chinese. Um, like, I like Chinese food, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is... Italian and then Indian. Oh my god, Legend's favorite food is not Chinese. He's racist against the Chinese. Have you tried Helldivers 2? A lot of people are telling me to try Helldivers 2, but I haven't tried it yet. Italian food is just pasta with random shit on it sometimes. Yeah, and you know what? That's my favorite food. Have you got a problem with that? <laughs> okay. Look, I totally understand. Pasta, not particularly complicated, but I fucking love it. So? Oh my god, how is your favorite food not something really complicated? I don't know. Alright, Vecti, go into ambush stance. Strike when I say. We gotta be careful because they've got a lot of force. Oh, wow, he wants to like, peace out immediately. That's interesting. Yeah, actually. It may even be in our best interest. This one's already at rank 12. Oh, it has been following us a while. Maybe in our best interest to scout ahead a little bit. Just because we don't want to get hit by two armies. Also, should you be on that? Probably not. Not against the ogres. No malice detected. You should try a bush. Sounds delicious. Um, like I'd, I'd be willing to give anything a go. There is only one food in the world, just one ingredient, that if your food has that ingredient in it, I won't touch it. And that's banana. For some reason, banana makes me hurl. I just cannot fucking eat it. It's, if it's in anything, I won't touch it. It's the only food. Everything else, I'll give it a go. Okay, good. We got monstrous abominations, which means that... We are going to start getting the Hell Pit attendants. I don't think we got one yet. Let me just check. Yeah, we didn't get one yet, but uh, you get one as you level up and fight battles. Usually pretty common. All right. All right, we need to do some recruiting with Ikaclaw. So let's get rid of all of these and this one now as well. Probably won't be able to recruit everything that we need. Yeah, I don't have enough money. How about bugs? Do you mind bugs? Oh, I'll give it a shot. I bet you love banana flavored medicine as a kid. No.
Alright, well, I'll have enough recruit slots to finish the job next turn. Always sounds like throt when it's making that noise. Mm, I wanted two. Alright, let's move on. Have you tried a plantain? I have not. Probably wouldn't like it. Tempting. But you know, I want I want the territory. Did you play Donkey Kong 64 as a kid? Did it traumatize you? Okay. Um, I love Donkey Kong 64. It doesn't make you eat them. I don't have a problem with the bananas existing, alright? I'm not like an, a banana racist. <laughs> I'm not like, I don't like bananas, therefore bananas shouldn't exist. Donkey Kong 64 is fucking dope. SEK, sorry, Vibe did a 50 SEK super chat. Here's some money for the diaper budget. Don't forget to share with the baby. Alright, <laughs> appreciate that dude. Thanks for chat. Public order pretty low at Myrmidons. Yeah, it's fine. It's pretty easy to deal with revolts with Skaven. So, it's fine. Alright, let's go ahead a little bit more for me. By doing that, that means you're not going to be involved in the battle. But I, I need I need scouting. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing that's going to attack us. Because like I said before, we always want to make sure we're the attacker. Alright, Ikiklo, if you stay right there, you'll be able to hit Karak and Gazar next turn. We just need to get these last five units. Okay, I might be able to sack and occupy this one. Logan Davala did a $10 super chat. Which do you prefer starting as Malagor or Kazrak and why? I think I prefer playing as Kazrak and just confederating Malagor because his faction wide bonus of extra ambush success chance is so good for playing uh, Beastmen. Pizza with pineapple? Yep. Totally fine with me. I love Hawaiian uh, pizza. I know that's heresy for a lot of people. Where's my hell pit attendants? Alright, at least that gave us, gave us enough money to work with this. Alright, so what am I missing? Three units, which are really just placeholders until we've got the heroes. So that'll, that'll work fine. Yep, so he'll go on to Karak Angazar, and Vectik will continue on to Barak Var, maybe? Although we don't have any scouting down here. Thing is though, if I go and occupy Barak Var, and we come under siege, I can just set sail if I don't like the situation. We will see. But this is looking pretty profitable here. We got nearly two full, almost perfect stacks, we just need the heroes. That just takes a bit of time. Good, Vectique's army is getting better. The more experienced they get, the stronger they're gonna be. Alright, so... Good extra capacity for food and extra generated, that's awesome. Okay, this one's good. Extra ammunition and reduced upkeep cost for all those guys, that's really good. Nine turns though. There's always more besides for extra replenishment. Eyes everywhere is extra ambush success chance. That's very good. Murder dissenters is good. Got such a good tech tree. What do we need though? Extra range for our units, I think, is more important than ammunition, especially considering we can regenerate our ammo. But also, reduced upkeep cost is good, considering we've got a lot of these units now. 
And that'll give us close to ingenious plans so that we can get more capacity and more food. So let's go that way. Takes nine turns, but maybe we can knock it down if we can get some of those those items. Alright, that has not prevented a revolt. It's delayed it. If I do this, it'll prevent it. That's fine. Let's do that. Actually, you know what? If a revolt happens, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I can get some food out of that and some money. Let's go with this to increase income on the province by 30% because I could use some more cash. Okay, and I think we're good. Let's check diplomacy, see if there's anything Do warlock buffs for army still stack or no? Yeah, they still stack. Yeah. He wants peace. Half tempted to take that money and just... The thing is, I really want this territory here. How much money is this? Mm, it's not that much. Nah, just move on. Steampunk Willy subscribed with Prime. They've subscribed for two months, currently on a one-month drink. Here is my Prime month again for saying that DK4, DK64 was dope. No, worries, dude. I just tell the truth. <laughs> Av, um, Ava Step subscribed with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, what about mustard and sausage on pizza? I've never tried that. I'd be willing to give it a shot. It doesn't sound gross to me. I'd, I'd try it. Um, ben Wisdom did ten dollars chat. Supremely hungover on this fine Easter Sunday. This stream is Jesus moving the boulder from the cave entrance. That is my mind. Happy Easter to you, the family, and all those that partake in the stream. No, it's my pleasure. And all the Jesus stuff as well. <laughs> I appreciate it. Did you continue your campaign with Grand Cathay Yuanbo one day? Uh, I played it in my own time. I got to about turn 40 and was like, ah, I've got this. <laughs> just, once once you like feel invincible, it's just it's really hard to continue campaigns. It's like, eh, there's no more challenge to be had. Now, Karaza Karak, I've kind of saved their ass because. Let me look here. Ready? Of course he hates it. Oh, wow, he's down to his last settlement. Yeah, he is getting fucked up. Okay, good. I don't care about him. Although, dwarfs are easy to fight. So, if I. If I go and capture this, it leaves us invulnerable to get attacked. Let the bell scream, scream. I could. Put Vectique in position over here in ambush stance so that we could potentially use two armies against against him. I mean, he'll probably take one look at this army and shoot his pants. Um, Og Mani. Mainly, oh my god, sorry, Og Manic did a 10 euro super check. Greetings from Germany, love your content, and thanks for, sorry, thanks to Google Translator to make it possible for me to talk to an Australian Total War genius. Thanks, dude, I appreciate that. I, I wouldn't call myself a genius, but I appreciate it. I'm more of a, I'm more of a prodigy than a genius. <laughs> I'm so humble. You'll never meet anyone more humble than me. In fact, I'm the best at being humble. Oh wow, no damage at all. Alright, let's uh, just occupy that More tier 1. If you find fun only in challenge, that's fair enough. No, 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 I don't find fun only in challenge. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, Hill Pit, Tended. I don't find fun only in challenge, I just think that something needs to be challenging as well as fun. And so, at around turn 40, 50, here's another thing as well to keep in mind, is that I don't have unlimited time. Like, if I existed in a void, I would, f and time was just something that was just my, my plaything that I could, I, I could justify spending a thousand hours on a campaign, I would totally finish all of my campaigns. I just can't. I don't exist in that kind of void. I, I can't finish every single one of my campaigns. I've got to move on. There's, there's just work that has to be done constantly, and I'm not talking about you know, disaster battles or whatever. There's just loads of other things that have to happen, and I just cannot justify putting that much time into a campaign. That, that's all it really comes down to. Oh, 
I really don't think he is going to make his way to Matorka. And I don't think he's going to attack Ikakor. I know, I just don't think... Oh, damn, bad winds of magic here. That's not good. Yeah, we need to have high winds of magic when playing with Skaven. Alright, we've got another Plague Priest available. Okay, I got plenty of reserves. Just get a level one, dude. This one goes into Ica Claw because he doesn't have any yet. Okay, more food. Good. Public order over here is not great. A revolt is not the end of the world. Um, that'd be good. More food. Yeah. Let's have a look to make sure there's if there's any revolts going on. So this one's the worst. And that's got... There'll be a revolt next turn. That's fine. Let the revolt occur. Yeah, you'll do. Okay, that still calls a revolt. Nice. Good. Alright, let's do this. Oh, I probably should have read those notifications. I don't like the Pestilence game. I don't need it. When do I get another one of these? Nine turns. Cool. Let's move on. Have you seen Dune Part 2? No. I, w I would want to see it. I'm not the biggest fan of Dune. I thought the first one was a bit slow. Um, yeah, I thought it would go down that way. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it, again, it's a matter of time. I just, I just don't have unlimited time to go to the cinema. Why are you building clan rat barracks and minor settlements? Isn't that a bad idea? Uh, no. Why would you think it's a bad idea? It increases our capacity for chieftains. It provides money. So, what's wrong with that? Can't be ambushed at sea. Mm, that's true. Legend, you didn't recruit any units. Hornet one watches me. Great thing about ambushing is it drags in you, uh, like armies from a longer distance, and rebellions are always very close to yeah. See, rebellions are always very close to your capital. There are a couple of exceptions. Hmm, food's been pretty good. I think we should go with money since that's probably what we need the most. Why do you focus on blobbing units? I haven't been doing that at all in this campaign. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we also got a bell polisher. Nice. It's turn 30. Right. Crazy crack's gone. Uh, that would have been a good one for us to farm the trade a little bit, but that's fine. Bell polisher means we get another one of these. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna recruit and dispend. No, I don't have enough money. I, I got look, I got plenty of these guys here. That's fine. Oh, I actually don't have that many saved up. That's my last one. Thing is, I can still get him from there. If I stand around the coastline here, I can still attack him. We need to capture a settlement next turn in order to push the food up. If he goes and captures Matorka, I could not give a shit about that. I'll just recapture it. So here's what we do. Go into ambush stance. You go towards Akendorf. 
and you. Yeah, just head over this way, a little bit about about that, and we'll just see where, whatever he decides to do. I'm sure he'll make a mistake. Uh, Tuan Ten Ho did a two Euro Super Chat. I have a feeling you are a Game of Thrones fan. Yep. You know, my favorite season is season eight. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, yeah. But only a true fan would find season eight to be the best. Like me. Don't forget to remove the bell mount of your lord. Me, my hero. Doesn't have it. See, this is why doing a no defeat campaign as Skaven is stupid. Because these settlements here are just like beacons for the AI to go and attack. Like, who cares if I fucking lose the settlement? I could not give a shit if Matorka or Karak Angazar gets hit. Could not give a shit. Actually, no. Developing this one back up to tier 3 would be okay, because it's got this here. Um, should get rid of this building. But yeah, outside of that, I could not give a shit about it. So easy to deal with minor settlements. And just use them as bait. Okay, I don't want to know about Undercity upgrades available. House of Dragon is kind of dope, though. I haven't watched it. I heard it's very good. Oh, okay. Ike Claw came out of Ambush Dance, and he's like, oh, I better go deal with that. I can't help but notice you give off a more wise and distinguished vibe. I can't put my finger on it, but I think it has something to do with your magnificent beard. Yeah, we didn't have a high chance of maintaining that ambush because we're in shit. Like, if you're in um, plains area, like open plains, um, you've got a pretty high chance of getting detected. You want to be standing in, like, the forest or something like that. Yeah, no. Have I watched Invincible? No. i tell you what I did watch recently. I watched uh, Three Body Problem, and me and my wife watched it, and we really liked it. I thought it was really good. And that's made by the creators of um, Game of Thrones. But I think they did a good job. Okay, so this is going to have a revolt. That's fine. Because, yeah, just do the same thing. I don't have my dude ready yet. He's not back for another two turns. That's fine. Let's just get another in. Oh, we've got... No, don't bring him in. I've got another sneaky one here, but he's expensive. It should be fine. I'll just bring I'll bring this one in. You just stay there, and we'll ambush. It should be fine. Empire Council. Die in pain of your servant, O Lord. Thing is, I got all these rattling guns here, and they can't really put ogres up on the walls. I reckon Ikaclaw will be able to handle this pretty easily. Now, I'm gonna get rid of a Gisele unit. Hmm, that's interesting. Let me get rid of a. No, you know what? I'll get rid of a rattling gun, because Gisales are kind of more useful. Although, rattling guns are better in sieges, but really, you only need one rattling gun. Um. I'm going to get rid of this rattling gun here so that I can put the... Oh, fuck. I thought he would actually make it. <laughs> well, I've just weakened myself for nothing. Great. I'll still manage with 19 units. God, I've been doing this a bit today. Alright. We should spend some warp fuel before we fight this battle because I'm going to be at maximum food. For sure. So let's see here. I've only got four warp fuel, so let's see what needs it the most. 
Make teams better. Oh, I could spend two. That way I'll spend... So I spend on two of these. That way I'll spend ten food. Grab that one. And grab... Yeah, grab that one. Cool. Alright, cool. That way, even if I get 20 food, I won't be at maximum. Alright, scissors. Yeah, it's still a valley in defeat. It's fine. It's because it's a siege. And going up against a legendary lord. Having a look at the map, it shouldn't matter anymore because we've got artillery. Yeah, this map here would have previously given me the shits. But we'll be able to take, basically tear down the walls. And then they will only be able to put... Noblars up in the walls. And ogres will be easy to shoot. And they've got like no missile units. So yeah, this, this should be easy. I don't know how time consuming it will be though. Do you think that the Fallout TV show will be good? Uh, no. Not really. I don't know. Am I going to read the books? For, um... Three body problem. I would like to read them. Maybe I should get the audio books if that's possible. Bit of a mind twist that series, but still amazing. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. I wonder if there's an audio book for it because I'm busy a lot of the time. It'd be good. At, I like to multitask. So if someone could just read the book to me, that'd be that'd be amazing. Hey, Legend, I play two campaigns in Warhammer Total War 2. Every time when I start, I don't know where to go, who to attack. So it's about, so it, ugh, excuse me, man, I've been up for nearly 28 hours. Um, and every time I start, I don't know where to go, who to attack first. It's a matter of spending more hours in the game. Happy Easter to you and your family. Yeah, it's just a matter of spending more time and just figuring it out. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. Some factions are a bit more rigid than others, but... There's usually more than one solution, and it's just about what solution works best for you. Alright, first thing we gotta do is get rid of the four towers, that shouldn't take long. So the bounce power is actually in our favor, because it's playing Skaven music. Despite the fact we are actually pretty badly outnumbered, it's in our favor. Any tips on how to get the warp field quickly with Ikaclaw, the cheese way? Um, okay, there's a lot of a lot of ways that you can cheese getting warp field. Probably not so much in the early stage of the campaign, but getting loads excuse me of uh, Warlock engineers and just trying to steal research. Because every time you use a hero action with a Warlock Engineer, there's a chance of getting Warp Fuel. Using Warlock Engineers with Sac Cities can get you Warp Fuel. Um, it's not something that I really bother about cheesing. Like, it's good to have Warp Fuel, but I don't bother about it too much. Okay, we need to make loads of breaches so that our Rattling Guns are not obstructed. Oh, that guy is on a big mount. Cleansing Ruin can be fairly good against single entities and ogres. Uh, what if you were the audiobook and read it to Mrs. Legend? Fun couple activity? Mm, I, don't, I don't think either of us have got time for that. Like, my wife's pretty busy as well. You know, cleaning the house and cooking me dinner and stuff. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She ain't got time. She got no time for reading. She's too busy doing her chores. <laughs> I'm kidding. For the police, the internet police come and get me. It's 
So yeah, 11 wins of magic, and yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Not too bad, though. Hmm, I was a bit too slow on that. And good thing here is that this dude's only rank 16, so that means he's gonna die. Alright, let's bring this one a little bit. Season 4 of True Detective on HBO is worth a watch. Oh, okay, cool. I watched season 1, that's still the last one I saw though, but it, it was good for sure. I think this tower here might be shooting at me. Or maybe it's these Noblars. Yeah, this is not fantastic value, but I think I've only got one point put into that. Okay, no, it is actually the Noblars shooting at me. Move back. Create some more breaches as well. Yeah, gotta watch out for those Noblars. They can do a lot of damage to my rattling guns. Okay, I can definitely see that this tower here is really trying to shoot my guys, so let's destroy it. Good. Good. Mortars. Oh yeah, you're right. Mortars will be really good for uh, dealing with guys up on the walls. Thanks. They're probably not going to send any more guys up on the walls. I just forgot about it. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. Hmm, they're not defending this position at all. But I reckon as soon as Zika Claw comes over this way, I'm just trying to make a breach here. Just giving us more places to shoot from. Right, we got a little bit of artillery ammo. Let's move up. Move up here. See if we can draw them down here to get shot by rattling guns. <laughs> Are they taking the bait? Yep. Oh, what the fuck? Why aren't you shooting? Seriously, you're on fire at will. What the fuck? Alright, it's probably too wide. It's alright, no harm done. Try again. Alright, I might hold off on the Flensing Ruins just because it's a very expensive spell. Alright, let's get another one up here. In this position. That's it, yeah, bring the gorges over here, this would be good. And this is another reason why you want to go Doom Flare over Doom Wheel. Way less friendly fire. If none. If any.
This is very satisfying to watch. It's very relaxing. <laughs> Very nice. Let's do some more of that. Yeah, so you know that thing our buddies over there just fell for? Let's go do it again. This guy's gonna have unlimited ammunition standing there, so I kinda need to get rid of them. Alright, artillery, bomb this position here. I'm just gonna aim at the ground. No, they won't aim for it. Stupid bastards. Oh, this is very nice. This is exactly what I was hoping for here. Good. Without the barricade, they can't restore their ammo. Very nice. Come on, guys, let's party. Oh, I've still got the um, Warpstone armor on. I should really take that off. Since uh, using Mortis engines against uh, Ogres is not really very useful. Pressing Alt F4 replenishes Rattling Gun's ammo. Mm. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Need to get like Scrag or the hero over here because they're gonna be worth a ton of balance of power. That being said, Scrag's a spellcaster, so he might actually hurt them. See if I can get the attention of this big boy. Oh, he's just gonna shoot me. No, I don't like that. Come on, this way. This way, big boy. Oh man, he's hurting me. Come on, move. This way. <laughs> Come on. Cost me some health, but it's gonna hurt him a lot more than it hurt me. If it actually works. gonna hurt you big time. He can just tank that because he is gonna die before he's done any serious damage to it, and I can just regenerate. Oh my god, why did you stop shooting? That's a big win for us there. Alright, does Scrag have spell resistance? Uh, only 10%. Not that big of a deal. Alright, I'm gonna cast some spells that are just not gonna do any damage just so I can heal Ikid a bit.
Alright, I need to bring up another unit to replace it with this one because it's running low on ammo. It's time to regenerate. Good, wipe that out entirely. That's what we want to see. Get their attention, bring them a bit more over this way. And they don't want to take that bait. Don't blame them. But they're not looking to. Okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, shoot, shoot, shoot. Rattling guns, what's going on? What are you doing? This is my rattling gun! Storm Demon Prime! Quick mode! Why did they not shoot? They had a clear line of sight. Very nice. Okay, you move back. You've need to recover your ammo a little bit and you go in there definitely seems like it works a lot better if you put them in rows of four there uh morning star 94 became a member for 44 months heart coming come <laughs> at seeing legend play ikit um happy easter Legend in chat. Thanks, do appreciate that. I'm sure you meant coming home. <laughs> come and come. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's amazing how much you guys don't spell check. Honestly, I'm no better. So satisfying watching them destroy them. Okay, here's Scrag. Uh, Flensing Ruin, probably, I don't know if it's the best idea, but it's only 11 Winter Magic, so let's see if we can get his attention. Okay, yeah, we got his attention, but I'm worried he's going to cast some spells on these guys. Yeah, he did. He's... He's the only one that's going to dish out any damage, it's fair enough. Come on, let's go. How much missile resistance do you have? Not enough. <laughs> Come on, fat boy. Oh my god, Legend is a uh, fat phobic. I want Warpstone up his ass. Go. Go, run, go. Quick mode. Quick fast. Scamper forward. The Don't fuck? Fail. Why are you stopping? Shoot him. Kidding me? Casting death pain. All right. Well, he's gone, so that's good. All right. No more spellcasters left in their army. There's a huge amount of bounce of power loss as well. I reckon Scrag's a much better legendary lord than Greasus. Much better. Why do you not use the Doom Wheel again? It's good. It's bigger. 
more cumbersome. It's the same speed, but it is it's not as maneuverable as as the Doom Flayer. It just allows us to to really fuck around the AI. It's much better at stuffing them around. Colton Kenderes did a five dollar super chat. Legend, master of carrot and stick style execution. Yep. Thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. Uh, later, subscribe to tier one. They've subscribed for two months. Currently on a two month streak. Uh, thanks, dude. Really appreciate that. Appreciate the support on Twitch. Uh, if you didn't want to be called fat, maybe you shouldn't be dragging around a pot of man stew on the battlefield. Yeah. I mean, honestly, calling an ogre fat, they'll probably um. Think of it as a compliment because ogres, like you take Greasus for example, he calls himself the shockingly obese. It's like it's what he's tried to do. So it's not quite the same as calling a human fat. There's... Alright, that's the last of our artillery. Alright, let's bring you in. I want to bomb them a bit. Not that big of a deal, these ones here, because they don't have ammo. But I just need to deliver the final blow. Just need a, a bit more damage up to them to get them to cause the army losses. Thing is here, these are low tier units, and this is a high tier one, so it may not be even worth me shooting them. I'm not sure. They don't seem to be wanting to take the bait anymore. Alright, let's bring in a Giselle, because I can get longer range with it, try to get some of these ones at the back. attention. Nope. They do not want to bring any more units over this way. Well, that gives me an opportunity then to cap this point because there's no one here defending it. And then I can bring in my rattling guns because I don't want to bring them in when there's towers because the towers will destroy them really quick. Ah, there we go. That's what we want to get rid of. Say gorgeous, come on in. So I didn't manage to successfully capture that, but if we bring the gorgeous over here, this is good enough. Because that's the unit that has to be dealt with anyway, because it's unbreakable. Remember when gorgeous were overpowered? I missed that. <laughs> Somewhat. Probably not right now, though. enough. Doesn't matter if they're shooting at a shattered unit. Got unlimited ammo. Alright, where's my Giselle? Let's bring it in here and put it on fire wheel. Just shoot it whatever you want. Seems if we start capping a point, they get aggro and start coming at us. We weren't quite done there. See, with the Doom Flare, see how easy it was to get out from Monstrous Infantry? Doom Wheel would have been a lot more difficult to get out of it.
All right, let's get another unit of rattling guns here and here. You're done, move back. Must be very close army losses. Yeah, I think so. They were really close. Good. No more towers or barricades in this position. And there we go, army losses, but there's still likely a gorger or two around here. But Ikit should be able to beat them in melee. Because they're really badly damaged. Well, I need to be up early tomorrow, so I'll dip. It was nice catching you live. No, right, suit, good to see you, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, so pretty easy to fight these sieges. It's just time consuming, that's all. Would have loved to auto resolve it, but couldn't be done. Have you seen his nukes yet? It's not really worth sacking, so... Alright, 120 food, and it's good to not be in the red after doing this as well, because there's this actually another settlement we need to take, um, Akendorf. That's a really good one for us. Oh, I did actually have two points into, um, Flinting Ruin. Ugh. Um... Yeah, that's a really good one there. And we got it. So, unlimited power. I'm pretty sure it's like 50-50 chance of miscast. And there's nothing you can do to bring that miscast chance down. It's always 50%. But that gives us essentially unlimited magic. Sort of. Gives us a lot more magic. It's better in this than it was in Warhammer 2. Slightly. Alright. So then there's Akendorf. This army is kind of better than Ica Claws, just in terms of heroes. Mm. There's still other armies out there, we just don't know where they are. It's it's likely that hang on, let me check this. Yeah, he's got an army over here because Karazakarak just died. There's gotta be an army sitting there, at least one. So, we should be fine to just roll in here. If I can auto-resolve it, then I'll do that. There's only 8 units, so it should be pretty easy to auto-resolve. And also, for some reason, ogres perform really badly in auto-resolve. Alright, that's given us the food that we need to push this to tier 5, but... Should I be doing that? 
I don't know. There's going to be a rebellion here, so we need to be prepared for that. Gotta wonder if maybe I should just sack it this turn. Because it's gonna cause a lot of problems. Attack the things. Alright, well that's good to see. Yeah, that'll leave me with three food remaining. Yeah, I think we should just sack it for now. And yeah, get back over here so we get some replenishment. All right, cool, cool, cool. That winds of magic going down at this rate is really bad, though. We need to put a stop to that. It's not good here either. My plan scheme. See the beer revolt here. And a revolt Stick there. To All right. Don't spend too much more, or else we we might have financial problems next turn. I also need to check for any more potential public order problems that may have arisen that I'm just not aware of. So Tilia is yeah we're aware of that. Blighted marches is two turns from Skaven Blight from having another revolt. Karak Izor, we got that sorted. This one over here is under control, that's good. And Karak Angazar, we need to get that going. Good, yeah, getting getting four food generated per turn is awesome. Soon to be eight. Mm. Probably would have been better for me to occupy this one and just sack that. In hindsight. Dunno. Oh well. Now, now! <laughs> yeah, no more construction. Unless we can get some money from diplomacy, which I doubt. <laughs> My it's not that much. Okay. I have have Lord approval. Good. 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 Alright, all of this is looking Thanks, real man. good here. Yep, Arcane Conduit for you. Awesome. Alright, and let's move on. We've got two rebellions going on. Well, that's good because it'll generate us some food. Make Ikit Quest to reduce number of revolts. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Ikit's Quest Battle. Okay. Alright, so here's the problem with that. We definitely should do his Quest Battle, but... Our army is relatively fresh recruit, so let's get them leveled up a little bit more, especially these heroes. But yeah, you're not wrong there, dude. That's a good idea. Can you please recommend me a Let's Play to enter in those kinds of games, Total War? Um, Lionheart's good with Let's Plays. Why no channeling stance for attacking settlements? Um... You go out of uh, channeling stance as soon as you occupy the settlement, dude. Doesn't provide you any benefit while you're in channeling stance. The only benefit to it is generating more winds of magic. Plus two global public order from his item. Yeah, yeah. No, it's actually three because it will provide a set bonus, which actually doesn't have his set bonus on. Because battle's hard. It's... It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, it's sort of sort of medium. Honestly, we should be fine because we got a weapons team army. We are brave, mate. I, I lead. Yeah, we need to ambush, or else it's not going to work. Oh, 
shit, he already used up too much movement. Thirty-five percent. Um, it's okay. I know what I can do to get more movement. Can't do it infinitely, but there is something that I can do. Never mind. It worked out. No clan Angrand coming back. No, thank you very much. And I will take the food. Also, plus twenty food from quest. Yeah, that is good for sure. We're okay though. Three turns. Okay, and Skaven Blast's gonna revolt again. Watch your back, tail. Master Engineer. Yep, you'll manage that just fine. Actually, stay outside the settlement. Oh, uh, look, it's going to revolt, one way or another, that's fine. Good, we're getting hill pit attendance, that's what we want to see. So at the moment, our research rate is 164%, so we're, we're really speeding things up. It's good. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, what are we doing now? Hmm. Spending 120 food will mean that we have 40 food left, which will probably put us here. Subjects. <laughs> you watch this play the odd way. Welcome, stranger. Start talking. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The, the council's voice. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about these guys. They're Strong. rebuilding. There's a war with Avalon now as well, so <laughs> yeah, he's got his hands full. Um, hmm. Both of these are supposed to attach into Ikaclaw's army. What we could do with them... Go into channeling stance. Here, I'll only gain five points of magic and then sort of bring them. Unless I want to go back up here and just leave this for, um, yeah, that actually might be what I want to do. Sorcery. Death. <laughs> no, no. Come back up here now that this is not really that much of a concern. Agreed. <laughs> More magic. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Then let's get rid of another Gisele. Yep. And attach him. Cool, and well, that saves us a little bit of cash. So yeah, if we stay in channeling stance, it just gives us 15 wins of magic per turn. You, you don't want to stay in the stance to make the attack. It doesn't make any difference. Is there a reason you didn't expand north into Bretonia where all those juicy pastures are? You mean where there's loads of juicy pastures right here? Um, it really just came down to fighting Morgur can be very difficult, and it can act as a buffer. Also, Bretonia is reasonably okay against Skaven. These guys out here are just way easier targets, and you're gonna have to deal with Clan Angrand anyway. So look, there's no right or wrong answer. If you like going into Bretonia, nothing wrong with that. Also, going into Bretonia means eventually discovering the High Elves, and the High Elves are fucking annoying to fight. So out here, it's just easy enemies. And yeah, leaving Morgur here as a buffer, even though he's got territory that we definitely would want, you know, it protects our, one of our uh, flanks. I mean, we haven't had much difficulty in this campaign. Hmm. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to occupy this now. We'll have 40 food left over. Which means we're going to be in bad shape with that. But I need to get that food building going sooner rather than later. Yeah, get this going sooner rather than later. Don't need this. Secures the province. And we'll probably want to sit around here and wait for that other army to show up. These guys here usually have a lot of armies. <laughs> which means food. Alright, what do we need here? Probably some more down the red line. This all looks good here. Yep, don't need any of that. Uh, there's going to be a revolt, and that's fine. He's ready to deal with it. And this one over here, there may be a revolt at some point, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, it's all good. Vecti can handle it. It's going to be a revolt here. Yep. All right, let's check to see where else there's going to be revolts. Blooded Marshes. The vaults is fine. Tilia is fine. Yep, we are aware of that. This one doesn't look like it's going to revolt. It's fine. And... That's... Yeah, we'll see. Alright, checking diplomacy. See if there's anything interesting. Which there probably isn't. Always worth checking. Oh yeah, I could peace out with him. Mm. I know, ogres are worth so much food. It's kind of ironic to eat the ogres. I think these guys are going to be ready fairly soon to send an army down this way, so now's a good time to invade before they get that opportunity. Alright, do we have any more hero capacity? I doubt it, but let me just check. No. It's all good. Just lacking money. Okay, moving on. An idea for a crazy campaign? Playing a campaign without recruiting? Challenging enough? Well, yeah, okay, we'll do that playing the changeling. <laughs> yeah, I think most of the mad does those kind of campaigns, so I just let him do those, because honestly, um, I don't find doing that kind of campaign very interesting. Just like he doesn't find doing no defeat campaigns interesting. It, uh, you know, every single campaign isn't for every single person. Play with them. No need to worry about them. Doom decay. All right, they're here. Okay, we got full garrison in Akendorf, and this is just trash. So. We should probably sack this one first, and if we've got any movement left, then go deal with this. Imagine... Guy, his name is Thug. <laughs> it's like... I named my son Delinquent. Or Dickhead. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, just keep going in channeling stance. This area here is good. Get our magic back up. Scorch. 
Too bad we can't ambush him. Really? After I just said ogres are bad in auto resolve. I mean, really? Well, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I'm gonna fight it, and I just, I just don't think so. Why do you have a defensive alliance with the top knots? Because I needed money and they were offering money for it. Now, that's all really reason for it. You know? I'm not gay, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> Sometimes you need to suck some green skin you know, toe stub. Gotta get, some, gotta get them teeth. Alright, this is not my favorite map at all. Yeah, not my favorite map. They love to come around this way here, and I don't have much of a front line. Ah, piss. Crap, this map might fuck me. Yeah, because there's so many ways that they could flank us. Okay. Uh, this map is not good for me. Alright, maybe I'll put like one or two rattling guns here. Shit. Imagine if Vectik is actually defeated here. Uh, Giga Johnson did an ISK 500 Super Chat Magic System now good. It's better. It's better. Um, yeah, it's pretty good now, I guess. It's alright. Could be better. Um, thanks, Super Chat. General Cub did a $20 Super Chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Hmm. This is why ambushes are so good. Maybe the terrain here. Problem is, if they decide to go wide out this way, then really foxes because they've got a fair few of these saber tusk packs and honestly that's my biggest concern mm, this terrain is really bloody rough shit Trying to look for anywhere where our army can position that they're not going to get into big trouble. Because, yeah, what these guys will do is they'll come around over this way. And I've got no front line whatsoever, which is typical. you got to use your uh, Menace Belows and Vermintides. We've got plenty of magic for that. Alright, I think we're going to have to just fight out in the open here. And I'll set up our rattling guns around a little bit, like this. We need some guys out here. Yeah, you guys are going to have to act as frontline troops over here, I think. Hold those guys back. Vectik, you go through the main front. I'll set this one here to protect that side. I'm going to go control the one, two, three. Ugh, sitting in front of trees is not ideal. It's a bit harder to flank us from this position here, but they've got a pretty good angle over here, but they just don't have that many units. Get those Gisales around. Alright, and let's do the best we can. Here we go. Okay, need some good micro, and I'm going to need a lot of menace Belows to keep them busy. Don't have a lot of magic to begin with, and we should have one... Oh, no, we got two arcane conduits. That's good. See, that's a problem there. That's a big problem. We don't want them going that way. Come around over here. That's it. Come at me over here. Oh, shit. He's moving fast. Not you. Thank you. 
That's good. Okay, looks like we got them there. Keep fucking them around over here. Alright, I think we're okay. I'm not seeing any major issues. Good, we had a crown of command there, that's good. Alright, we're kicking their fucking ass. This map sucks, but we are kicking their ass. are all finished off there. This guy here is proven to be a bit of a pain. Maybe just try to ignore him. You can't dish out damage that quick. There we go. We army lost him. Alright, that was that was nowhere near uh, that big of a deal. Yeah, ogres suck. The legend of Vectic continues. And good. The more experience these guys here get, it's mainly for their fire rate and their accuracy. That's what you need. Quicker they can fire, more damage you can dish out quickly. Why well, I feel like Ogre is one of the worst factions of the game. In the early game, they kind of are. And the AI is not very good at using them, I think. How dare I give Vectik an army? Hmm, I know. Alright, we're not going to occupy that right now. Good. Yeah, but then we ran out of movement. But that's okay. Can stay in the area. But yeah, want him to try to generate some magic. Knows who his boss is. Actually, maybe I should get engineering skill first. Oh, no, no. Wait, hang on. Yeah, that's the one that provides ammunition for artillery. Mm. No, I get the blast master. Improves their fire rate. Okay, that's all good. Yeah, we've got a couple of rebellions to deal with, which we just try to ambush them. Brings in the garrison. Good. Which faction in Age of Charlemagne is your favorite? Charlemagne? Yeah, I'd say so. Although I haven't played that in a really long time. I don't think I could go back to playing Age of Charlemagne after all this time. Just don't really like the game enough. Good, help it attendant with you, and see you later. Good, we're getting a lot of these help it attendants. We're now at 184%. After just a couple of turns of researching Monstrous Abomination, we have 
we've knocked down two turns from this already. Because this was the same amount of time. And my other revolt... That was the only one. Okay, cool. Good. Just not rolling around in cash. That's all. That's what we need. Yeah, upgrading this one here so we can get access to a little bit more food. It's not a lot. More food means more capturing of territory. Okay. Beastmen, pretty friendly towards Skaven. Hard to get a lot of money out of them, but I really don't want to fight Malagor. Man, I remember... How good was it when we used to be able to steal, like, two grand from the Beastmen every couple of turns? Why are they going to take that away from us? <laughs> that was fun. Okay. All good. And let's move on. Have I used any nukes this stream? Yes, I used one nuke. I think it was on Belagar's army. Toxic Waff, subscribe with Prime. Deal Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Or fight me. You will gain no hmm. Nah. Nah, they just don't worry me. That much, at least. The other revolt was Akendorf. Did I forget to do that? Are you supposed to be very conservative with nukes? No, not necessarily. You can make one once every five turns, I think. It's just a case of why would you use a nuke in a situation where you're going to smash the enemy anyway? That's, that's all it really is. And I do like to create, keep a nice big nuclear stockpile, just in case. Is it true you're the new Thankwell voice actor? No, it's not true. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, also Zafbar up here. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have joined war against them. They've only got one settlement left. Everyone's wrecking them. Honestly, if he jumps down over here, I'll just kick his ass. Starting to recover. <coughs> it's fine. Yeah, we got our magic back up. That's what we want to see. All right, let's get rid of this revolt. Good. See ya. All right, foods ready to occupy another major settlement and let's get let's get the food good, good. <laughs> good i can still make it back over here so i could occupy this this turn there's not much strength ranking there so if they were to attack us it should be fine So got two turns before this is safe. Do you take me for a Could just sack it again. 
could attack this. Like, who gives a fuck about this stupid settlement? What are they doing? Okay, so... Hmm. That's not... That's not a siege battle, that one. We'll definitely be able to ambush this guy. I'm just doing this for the food. What? Come then, messenger. Spit out your words. Very well. I'm just doing this for the food. Actually, is it possible for me to not ambush this? No, it's actually not possible for me to. End. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's check. No, no, it's actually possible for me to not ambush it. It might be better for me to not ambush it, draw the garrison in, but they, they sort of come in disorganized. Yeah, that would actually be better. So we've got a 15% chance to not ambush, but really we can we can do this over and over again since it requires no movement to um, re-roll from, like, to actually try to fail an ambush. Master. Got these skills as well. I should probably do them first. Nah, go with that first. Let the bell scream, scream. Yeah, eighty-five percent chance. So that means there's a fifteen percent chance it won't succeed, and that's what we're looking for. We don't want to ambush this army. Retreat now, now. A magic forest still provides food from main building. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I guess we'll find out. I'm not gonna push this to tier five. I'll just grab it at tier one and just abandon it later. Make way. I don't understand. Why doesn't he want to ambush? Attack and channeling stance on ambush. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Good thinking. Okay. Yeah, see, this way... Let's have a look at the map. Okay, their reinforcements will probably come from either the north or the south. But they're going to take two minutes to get in. That gives us time to generate magic. And wipe these guys out at the very beginning. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, they come in from the south. That's... This has got me deja vu. I feel like we fought this exact same map. Not against this exact same enemy. I feel like it was High Elves, and it was like... A couple of weeks ago. I did this exact same thing. There was like an army here, beat it, and then we wait for the reinforcements to come in. And we were standing on this hill here. Yeah, this was this map. Alright, so that means we got... That was only one lord that we had to fight in that situation. So we're going to try to beat this army as quickly as possible. Before they come in. We've got two minutes. I mean, they'll take a minute to get organized. Okay, get the rattling guns to move up a little bit. I don't think we're going to destroy these guys in time. It's okay. But my, most of the forces here are garbage anyway. It still gives us time to generate some magic, if, as long as I don't use it now. Okay. 
him. Yeah! Alright, this is what I'm talking about. Also, this is a good opportunity to use a nuke, I think. Depends how blobbed up they get at the start. Alright, Vecti, get over there. Get ready to start messing with them. Yeah, we want their reinforcements to come in. Okay, we're not done yet. Let's try to get organized over here. Spicy! Still in the game. It hasn't crashed yet, but it's not doing anything. It's completely stalled. get back into it. Let's do the same thing again. Should be fine. That would have been a glorious nuke. There was like 10 units in that blob. Hey Legend, what do you personally want changed about towards in the upcoming update? Are there any sorts of niche units that they're missing? I'm not someone who really knows about the lore, and dwarves as a faction I don't really care that much about, so I don't even know what they're missing. Um, I'm really the wrong person to ask about what the dwarves should get, um, in terms of their units at least. I think in terms of a campaign mechanic, something allowing them to basically create more build slots for themselves in like an undercity sort of way, like dig deeper, I think that would be really good. Um, outside of that, I'm not really I'm not thinking about much about it. All right, well, just uh, let's go back in.
Is there any reason... Oh my god, this the heart thing is in the way. Uh, I'll have to wait until this chat scales up. It's just the uh, chat's obstructed, sorry. Is there any reason to build Undercities of Skaven? Um, yeah, if you, it depends. Like, depends on what you want. You don't have to. It's completely optional. Try again. Here we go. Dang my luck, this time my forces will fight like shit. These fuckers coming around over this way. They're actually being a bit more sneaky than they were in the previous attempt. But nothing that I see is particularly dangerous. Okay, it, um, Vectic, you need to get over there. Organized. They're about to come in in 20 seconds. Good, we won again. Try this again, hey? Yes, yes. Oh, this. Don't forget to make him unbreakable. They're in such a rush to get to us, so they're just going to walk right through that plague. So glory when a weapon team army is 
working at full strength, working properly, it's a thing to behold. Now don't get wiped out just because we won, so we should just continue shooting them. Well, we can. And I don't think I took a single casualty. That really thins them out for the next fight. Very nice. Close. <laughs> Fucking zero casualties. Oh, and I kind of almost made it to your front line. The Wolfrider's got a few shots off. Period victory. Yeah. Good. 20 food. And give me more food. Does this region here have... It doesn't have particularly good winter magic or anything. Yeah, same channeling stance. And I think we just sack it. Cool, now we just auto resolve this. <laughs> Good. 10 casualties. Nice. Alright. Yeah, just suck it. Good job, Vectic. And you should be, yeah, staying in this stance here will allow you to generate a lot more magic here than you will here, but we're not going to replenish though. That's a problem. So what's more important, magic or health? Uh, I don't know. Because I don't have, I don't have no any scums expected. or potions of healing yet. Yeah, that's not very useful. That's pretty good. I can give that to one of these guys. Warp energy condenser, that's not too bad. All right. Um, hmm. Doom decay. I definitely want to get some replenishment, but no one's really threatening us that much. Still. Yeah, get back over here. Even though we're going to lose Winds of Magic, I need to get them replenished. Alright, that was good. Alright. Food's looking good. Alright, looking at this. Yep. We got a lot of money out of that as well, so that was really good stuff. Uh, do you put Packmaster's weapon team armies? I believe that they're actually always good for this kind of army. Um, yeah, you can do that. I've definitely done it in the past. I usually don't prefer to do it, but if I've got act, uh, I've got availability of Packmasters, I will do that for sure. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that's another thing. This will increase our capacity for Plague Priest and Ishin Sorcerers, so that's good. Let's get that. Yeah, let's get this developed. Alright, I've only got a little bit of money left. I'm not going to get much out of that. It doesn't have enough money for me to care about that peace treaty. And we likely took out his primary camp, so he's not going to be getting good units. So I don't think there's anything we've got to worry about. Yeah, I just need to worry about these ones jumping down here. So maybe I should go into ambush stance to try to trigger them to do that. Then again, if we just wait until this is built, it is very unlikely that this army here would be able to beat us here. It's just not strong enough. Because we'll have access to a warp bomb, and Skaven are fairly good at defending their settlements with all the shenanigans they can do. Alright, let's move on. And we've got hero leveling up to do. Let's do some of that. Scream, scream. Good. Yeah, that's what we want. Ballistics Instructor, and then get more triangulation. Good. Yep. Yeah. Do I have any Undersees? I have one. I usually don't focus on spamming them everywhere. But yeah, I've got one. Over here. Um, some people love, like, building up their Undercities and spreading them out all over the place. I'm not that fussed about them. Like, I think it's a good mechanic, but one that I just don't lean into that heavily. Because it does... If you really want to invest into, um... Into this one here, that consumes quite a bit of food. I'm not worried about the maintenance cost. And over the course of a campaign, it can really limit your expansion on more important settlements, which is what I like to focus on. So I like to get the schemes of doom whenever they're available, and I send them off to faraway settlements where I put down under cities where I'm unlikely to go and capture anytime soon. Just, just generate a bit of food and get an extra capacity and research rate with this. So that's pretty good. Moving on. Where do you resurrect Manfred? El Calibid. His starting region. Does Ballistics Instructor stack? No. Mm, yeah, I've got a better army now, so then I can be a stop me. Did you mean Casabar? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the, you, you know what I mean. The one that he starts off in. Casabar, that's it. Casabar, El Calibid, whatever, same shit. <laughs> it's all somewhere in Araby. Okay, Zafbar's destroyed thanks to Azag, so I don't need to worry about him anymore. About that one. That's good. And these defenses will be built anyway, so that's good. Alright, cool. Let's occupy this just at tier 1. There's no military presence there. Because I'm not going to invest in this one just yet. Yeah, just keep... I've got the food to push it to tier 4. Tier 5. But, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at tier 1 for now. I'm at my Bellicor campaign, Boris Kildarkyarn. Can he be revived? I think so. In his starting region. I think that's where he gets revived. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, uh, hang on, hang on. No. These settlements no longer provide food for the Skaven. It's just food capacity, so very low value for us. Man, um... Nice. 
task subjects. Yeah, so the tree settlements no longer provide food. They took that away. Too much fun. No, we can't have that. Alright, has to be fought manually. Uh, definitely a settlement that I would not want to push to tier 5. I just need to get through here to get to there. Um, yeah, I just gotta get on and do it. I can't order resolve it. What's the role of the plague when mortars? The poison wind mortars, they're very good for sieges, or just just really good anti-infantry. They do a lot of damage. you got to be careful with them. Some people like to put two in their army. I like to use, just use one. But they're really good for sieges because they're good at knocking units off walls. Uh, not knocking... Killing units that are on the walls is what I meant to say. Alright, what kind of towers are we dealing with? Okay, so if you claw, you need to tank. Probably would have been able to order resolve it if these guys here weren't rank one. But they need some time to level up. That's okay. Loads of Winds of Magic. So what should we use it on? I reckon Scorch would be a good idea because they're poorly armoured units. Yeah, that seems like good use of it. Avalanche Mortar is probably the strongest artillery in game versus imagery. Yeah, I think the Avalanche Mortar might be the biggest upgrade of a regular unit from Regiment of Renown. Like, it is so good. The amount of damage that it does. It's absolutely ridiculous. So many battles have been won off the back of the avalanche mortars. Alright, we need to create a whole bunch of breaches. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, we've also got unlimited power, which gives us about five wins of magic by the look of it. That's pretty good. But it does do a little bit of damage to Ikaclaw sometimes. If you can get that down to like zero miscast chance, that'd be one of the best abilities in the game. I mean, it's already a pretty good ability. Because, yeah, five wins of magic, that's like two and a half of these. Uh, Buren did uh, become a member for 16 months. 
Hey Legend, thanks for your awesome content, especially thanks for your insight and the big knowledge of your strategies. Keep up, you're awesome. Thanks dude, you're awesome as well. Appreciate you. So yeah, these like tight little corners where the artillery just have a hard time hitting. This is where the poison wind mortars really shine. So good at taking out units that are difficult to get to. Because even if they're inaccurate, even if just one shot hit does the damage over time, which is very useful. Boy, we got a lot of value out of these play claw catapults. It destroyed all of these towers and did their worth in damage to all these infantry. Ikakul's done a lot of damage as well. Awesome. They've got no ability to heal. Last few shots of this. It's going to be a little bit more tricky to use our rattling guns due to the fact that they've got crossbows that they can fire over the over the walls. But what I um, probably will do instead is send Ikaclaw to go run around and just cause absolute mayhem, because this is pretty damn strong. Oh, they got regular mortars shooting at us. Can't have that. I want them to use up the last round ammo so I can bring this one in a bit closer. Is this how CA intended us for fight sieges? <laughs> no. They intended you to just like have no train of thought and just charge at the walls. I don't know. I don't really know how CA intended to do anything. They don't exactly communicate it. You can get a rough idea based on how they patch things. We've been doing this ever since day one with Total War Warhammer, so this may be how they intended it. Also, another thing is who cares how the developer intends for you to play the game? That's honestly. The developer should just make the game and allow for gameplay opportunities and then should just let the fucking player allow them to just play it however they want and don't stick your nose up at people playing at a certain game, especially a single player game. Multiplayer, fair enough, but single player, just let the player do whatever they want. If they, if it's abusive, who cares? It's a single player game, who cares? If people are having fun, what does it matter? I don't understand why some people need to be the fun police. Just like play with it however you want. As long as I don't hurt anyone, who cares? What is the point of siege engines? Like for real, do you ever use them? Um, I only use them if I don't have a siege attacker in the army. And I don't actually use them. They're kind of pointless. Um, yeah, they're just really, really pointless. You know, with the fact that infantry units have butt ladders and that anybody, any unit in the game can break a gate, what is the need for a battering ram? I don't know. Alright, Ikit, I need you to start running around and doing some shenanigans. Alright, let's see if we can 
take this guy on here. No, 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 he's not doing so well there. Okay, I should bring some Gisales up, because we're... Oh, I thought we were going to lure that guy out, but no. Okay, maybe Flensing Ruin on these guys here wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. That did a lot of damage. I wonder if I should be overcasting it. Duration 24, 38. Five extra wins. Uh, probably not worth the miscast. The Rams die after one use. Yep. Ikid has now done 53,000 in damage. That's looking pretty good. Uh, did I ever take off that warp zone armor? Nope. That's okay. It actually works out pretty well for us here. Cool. Yeah, what I should be trying to do here is getting them to leave the battlefield. Some of these units are really badly damaged. <laughs> they need to get some rat catchers. Oh, shit, they caught me. <laughs> this guy here is almost dead. Not too worried about Empire Knights because you can use Warp Lightning to destroy them very easily. This guy is just about dead. Magic still we've got 75, that's heaps. Plus I still got a bit of unlimited power we can use. Storm Demon! Now Warp Stone Magic! Casting Death Pay! Man, your Umbo's trait would be so good. If you could call. I mean it's pretty much a good trait. Every spell caster in the game. Real 
Uh, what you use your favorite across all Total War Warhammer titles? Is it rattling guns? Yeah, I'd say rattling guns. Yeah. Just a really fun unit to watch them annihilate stuff. Starting to run low on magic, but I think we're really close to army losses. Come on, stay within the cleansing room, that's it. left. Uh, Contius to the CHF10 Super Chat. Hi Legend, as someone that's not played since very early Warhammer 3, would you now say the game is in a better playable place now? Uh, it's definitely better, for sure. It's definitely better. Is it as good as Warhammer 2? Uh, it's debatable. It's it's definitely not like clearly. There's some areas that Warhammer 3 is better than Warhammer 2, and there's some areas in which Warhammer 2 is better than Warhammer 3. It's just not clear cut. Um, I think the best way to describe the state of Warhammer 3 is not that it's bad, but disappointing. Sort of disappointed with how much squandered resources have gone into it, how many mistakes have been made and missteps that have been had. But ultimately, Warhammer's still good. Immortal Empires is good. Yeah, don't play Realms of Chaos, garbage. But um Yeah. Immortal Empires is good. Him, so he can't run away from it, and that should be the end of him. Alright, there's still a lot more troops than I thought there was, originally. And Ikid is starting to get a little bit worn out. It's done nearly 100,000 damage. Just wondering if it's time to start bringing up the rest of the rattling guns. This is a, this is a bit of more of a difficult situation to use them, but I think it's time. Let's bring them up. Let's see what we can do with them. Really got to keep the missile units away. Melee units, no problem. Missile units are a problem. Doom Wheel, sorry, Doom Flayer is so good. I don't think we would have done this much damage with the Doom Wheel. Okay, here we go. There 
There we go. That's what we want to see. Still have mortars? No, they're out of ammo. I've used up the mortars. They did 20,000 damage. Half a unit through that. There we go. There's the army losses. Nice. A new world place. In my opinion, 40k doesn't fit for Total War. Yeah, well, it'll, it'll probably not look anything like what we've seen before. You know, people used to say the exact same thing about Warhammer Fantasy. Oh, Warhammer? Total War is supposed to be historical. There's no way that monsters and flying units and magics and dragon is going to work in this engine. And they made it work. You know? They made it work. It's got its problems, but they made it work. And I imagine that it'll be the same sort of thing with Warhammer 40k. I think it's less of a leap as well to go from, you know, Rome 2 to... Warhammer than to go from Warhammer Fantasy to 40k. Because, like, all you gotta do is just up the scale a bit. I'm gonna buy a lot, actually. You're much bigger units, so, you know, juggernaut type. type kaiju. <laughs> mecha shit. Um, squad based. Don't know. Who knows where, how it's gonna be? Don't know. They could do it loads of different ways. Alright, pushing this up to tier 5 I think has no value to us, so let's go with that. Can't wait to pay $600 for the Warhammer 40k DLCs. Well, that's what they want you to do, obviously. Yeah, there is no advantage whatsoever in developing this. The only reason to hold it, this actually generates us one food. It says food generated two, but what ends up happening is... Oh, and there's this one here. Um, because each settlement costs food... Yeah, it's, it's fine, but whatever. Still generates one food for free, at least. Alright, and... Let's go down the red line now. Because we got his unlimited power. Good. Yeah, that battle was really good for him. Lots of experience on these important units. It's good. Alright. And our research rate. I believe we got a, quite a few of those followers. Uh, I can't put help at attendance on them. I can put them on Warlock Engineers, though. So that's gotten us to 214%. I know you guys can't see it, but... Good, that's shaving a lot of time off these uh, technologies. It's great. No, that one's not important. Speed is more important with them. Good. That's another thing. What would have made that battle maybe a bit easier is using plague magic instead of um, ruin. Alright, we've got a bit of money to work with here. Are there any revolting provinces? Let's have a look. Almost at max food, but we'll be able to use it up next turn. So this is the lowest public order region. Yeah, that's the lowest. So no one's revolting right now. That's good. How damaged are we? Oh shit, we're nearly at full strength. It's time to do Storm Demon. Should be able to manage this. I thought this better loads of times. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, cancel that. Uh, if we do this, we're going to be at maximum food. What we should do is fight the next battle, uh, fight the siege battle here, 
and then do the, the uh... <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to be at Mad Max Food. Screw the public order, it's fine. If we're gonna want more warlock engineers, keep them coming. Definitely wanna upgrade these. Yeah, get hero capacity for chieftains. Haven't really been focusing on getting any just yet, but I'm planning for it. And right of money. This campaign's going pretty well, I think. Turn 35, we've got 18 settlements, which for Skaven is pretty good. Usually start slow and then you just build up massively at the end game. This is this is an end game crisis faction. Cool. All right, moving on. Oh, there's a commandment that I missed. This one over here. Yeah, yeah. This is another settlement that'll make us... Oh, it actually makes more food if you've got it leveled up because you get the food from here. Moving on. This has been insane for turn 35. Yeah, well, actually, the first few turns were a bit of a waste of time. Stuffed around a little bit because of Morgur. Um, I think I've only lost one battle in this campaign, and that was like a... Oh, shit. We got our defenses built. Thing is, ogres are pretty good at sieging. Let's have a look at our map here. Right, we're gonna fight it. Menace below is a pointless. They outnumber us by two units. We got a lot of storm vermin. Storm vermin are not the best. We got gorges, which are good, and also he's a good spellcaster. All right, let's jump in. So losing this would definitely hurt because it's essentially 120 food and yeah, I'm not that experienced in Warhammer 3 at defending my settlements with Skaven. Very rarely have to do it. Uh, no, actually we, we're not. It's the same number of units. Just got to find out where is going to be the best defensive position. Just move everyone to the back here. If I hadn't known he was coming, I would have recruited a lord here. That would have made a difference. Because the thing is with ogres, they can just demolish walls straight away because of their abilities. Warpstone Doomrock is not useful here because they've just got monsters. Menace Below and Warp Bomb also not very useful here. So, problems. Alright. Now, the best place to set up... Take a defensive position. Hold our ground. Let's see. This one here has got one tower. So if I've got that one with... With this one here, I think... I think that's the Warp Lightning Tower. That does more damage, but yeah, that might be better. And we hold the choke points here and here as, as best. Problem here as well. Good thing that we've got lots of food, so that helps our leadership. Um, our guys are kind of cowards, especially <laughs> especially everyone. Um, hmm, we don't have that many missile units. And that's what you really need against this. We don't have high powered towers. We've got some night runners, night runners, gutter runners. Go wide, because they'll use that freaking ability and demolish you. Okay, night runner speed is 54. We can actually outrun ogres with night runners. Just try to get as much use out of these towers as we possibly can. It's not going to be heaps. Got to run a speed 54 as well. 
Okay. Would the nuke be useful? Not really. It might do a little bit if I can get them pinned down. Could do more damage to my units. Play Claw Catapult could be tricky to use here. This is not a good defensive position. Alright, I want to hold our ground in these choke points here. As best as we bloody well can. I really wish we had a leadership unit. That would have been very helpful. But, you know, I didn't see him coming. Bounce power is not in our favor, but I will do the best I can. Okay, artillery will stay out here and just shoot as they come in. See, that one there also gives us some leadership, but it's just, it's just a really bad position to try to hold. Alright, you want our guys here to shoot at the very beginning. Another thing to keep in mind is that the uh, the auto resolver gives you a big boost when you're, you go to siege defense, and unfortunately, it's not really that big of a defensive benefit. All right, let's see how we go. Yeah, I'm just doing some damage pretty quickly. That's good. What? What? Yeah. Uh, gorges. Yeah, fifty full speed. They're a bit quicker. Alright. I hope this tower's got good line of sight. The thing to keep in mind as well is that they actually can't bring units up on the walls here. Now I've got minutes below to use. Okay, hang on. They could dodge that. Try that. Honestly, a decent amount of damage is being done to them. Our tail's yours. The guys aren't fucking shooting. Yeah, if you could be shooting at, that would be good. That's about as much damage as we could probably hope to do with it. Come on, I need you guys to bloody shoot at Iron Guts. It's just not fucking shooting. not shooting. So we say about holding the walls, but the towers are doing alright here. Now, ready, now. Alright, I think we need to build more like really low tier towers around the place. Alright, so build a tier 4 tower there. Tier, sorry, tier 3 tower. 
because I'll have to hold on to that one for a few moments. This is not attacking. <laughs> Shit. What are they doing? Another thing to keep in mind is if they come at us in waves. That should be making things a little bit easier. Few of their units are already wiped out. That's that's good. That helps. Definitely helps. Watch, watch. Scrag's gonna be a problem. But the fact that he's dilly dallying around here, that is really good for us. We get up here. Let's see if we can get them to shoot more of the stuff. They are really faffing about. Good idea to just oh, this is not a good idea. put a barricade there. We run back to if we need to, and also a place where we can restore our ammo if we need to, which we might. <laughs> I think they're hanging around this area because they want to try to attack us, but they've only got one infantry unit. Do as much damage as we can to Scrag that. Let me tower positions up here where we actually need them. Councils come on. I'm now ready. Good. That's real good. We recap that position easily enough. Seeing Scrag that damaged is very nice. I kind of want to go out there and attack him, but there's still some other units over here that could be a problem. This is good to see over here. Man, the AI is being real bad. Decent amount of damage being done. Good. Alright, looks like the first wave of attackers is actually going to come in from over here. Good, hopefully this one here does some damage. What is Scrag doing? Don't want them rallying. Still got another menace below we can use. I think it's possible for me to actually restore their ammunition. Okay, change of plans again. Looks like it's over here that they're first going to make the attack. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to hold out forever. Any little bits of damage they can do is better than nothing. Got the Gutter Runners team up on Scrag. Possibly. I mean, what's, what are they doing with Scrag? 
They should be bringing him over here to use magic at the beginning of the battle. That's what I was worried he was going to do. But if he shows up at the end, we're just going to get army lost. I've taken very little damage. Here we go. Alright, so we got a bunch of Iron Guts, which are anti-infantry. Coming in on some Storm Vermin Halberds here. And about to get shot. And they're coming around over here. Okay, these guys, yeah, they're doing a bit of damage. I kind of expected them to, they're, they're strong. Gorges are anti-infantry as well. Shoot the Gorges because they have low armor and you guys don't have much armor piercing. Yeah, Storm Vermin. Not great units for this. Biggest concern here are the damn clan rats not doing anything. I'm not not feeling it at the moment. We're just not dishing out enough damage. And they're dishing out way too much. Like these ones here. Yeah, they're doing something. Alright, I need to get you over here. Try to start recovering your ammo where you can. I've also got this. I just don't know when to use it. Scrag's still hanging around over here. Okay, let's bring this guy back. Get up on the wall there. Mm, not feeling this at the moment. Yeah, we're definitely getting hit hardest here. Storm Vermin are, you know, they're fighting. They're, they're do actually doing decent damage. Hmm? Kind of need them to, though. <laughs> Shit. In hindsight, I should have put these guys here up on the wall rather than them. They would be very useful here right now. Come on. This is actually working okay here. Bounce of power maybe shifted. Because I need to hurry up and be done with this so I can turn around. Okay, I'm starting to feel a bit more confident. Okay. Alright, turn around and start dealing with this. Alright, Scrag wants to come in over this way. Weirdo. Nuke worth using? No, I'd kill my own units, and I wouldn't do much to them. It would not be worth it. Alright, we need to restore our ammunition. That's gonna make increase our bounce of power. You should stay there. Right, I need you over here. Because we're going to need to try to skirmish against um, Scrag. Alright, I need this Storm Vermin over here because we are getting a little bit overrun. But we've won over here. Which I wasn't expecting. Alright, you come over here and you need to restore your ammo. Get over there. Now, ready now! Now, 
There's still more on the. Oh, it's just Noblars. Alright, just leave this Storm Vermin Sword and Shield. Let's we'll see you guys get over here. I'm gonna try to charge into the back with these guys here. It might distract them a little bit. It also might cause some of them to rout. Good. Stored their ammo. Get over here. I think we got this. Okay. Definitely panked a little bit at the start, but everything seems fine. The good thing here is that experience on these units means that next time we have to fight, if ever, they'll be a little bit better because they don't lose that experience. Unless they get wiped out, which doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Alright. Scrag speed is for. Oh, we army lost him. We won. Oh, damn. I'm kind of surprised. Probably not going to kill him, but more damage to him, the better. Yeah, we don't have enough ammunition to kill him. Check Storm Vermin damage. Nine, uh, nearly 10,000, 6,000, and 12,000. Honestly, these ones here, they did pretty well. The other ones, these ones, not so much. That's okay, we got through it. They just have to hold the line and let the uh, towers do their job. Everything is ultra green. Yeah, I, I was just talking about this in the earlier part of this live stream. It's gross. I wish you could tone down the uh, the like disgusting green glow everywhere when playing Skaven. Most of the mad is raiding with a party of 14. That happened, looks like, a few minutes ago. Appreciate you guys showing up. Thanks, guys. Get money. Too many slaves to so it should be pretty much a max food now. Storm vermin D rank, please they hold the line well. Um yeah, there's just that holding the line well is not that important for the Skaven, that's all. Like, that was the one situation where uh, Storm Vermin should accelerate in. Uh, just most other situations, they're not going to do a good job. Oh, they're gone. Okay. 
Good, that improves our armies even more. Alright, so looking at Barakvar, we've only got this at tier 3. If we were to upgrade it, that gives us an additional gutter runner. And hopefully improves the tower so it actually shoots. Let me see what did it get. Sniper nests, and that one there gives warp lightning. And then that one doom rockets. So that one's the one that you want if you want to get uh, high powered shots from the initial tower shots. Hmm, four grand. Um, considering it just, we just made that amount of money fighting them, I think it makes sense to invest that back over there. Also, if we build this one up to, no, no, this one here, puts a Plague Priest in there. Pra plague Priest is not particularly useful in there, but although it would give us that um, poison attacks, I think. And we're at maximum food. Damn it. <laughs> The doom wheels come! Alright, I don't have enough um, warp fuel. <laughs> Chief Warlock, it ah, damn it. Full stack there. Alright, this is one of those situations where it's probably a good idea to actually put this up to tier 3. And I don't feel like fighting into the siege today. I'm pretty tired. With eight and a half hours stream, I'm ready to bed. <laughs> but yeah, appreciate all the support today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this live stream. Uh, appreciate you all on YouTube and on Twitch. Let's go chuck on some hosts. Now, Tariff asked me to host him. I wonder if he's still live streaming. Just hang on a sec. He's got like a a constant live stream going on. Let me just check. Bear with me. Tariff. Or has he turned it off? No, it's still going. Tamarkand is marching to claim the thrones of decay. <laughs> Um, let me, let me just see if anyone else has requested a, uh, what's it called, a, a raid. Just give me a second, yeah. No. Okay, um, alright, we'll chuck the host over to Tariff, who's, it's, it's kind of just like a stream on loop. It's up to you guys if you want to watch it, but I, I said I would host him. Ages ago, I never got around to it. Alright, chucking it over to Tariff on YouTube and then on Twitch. I'll see you in just a moment, just give me a sec. It'll be funny if it doesn't have it enabled. No, he's got it enabled. Alright guys, go and check out Tariff if you haven't subscribed to him, help him out. He is very close to 100,000 subscribers. I understand how difficult it is to have a goal and be so close to it and just sit on it for ages. So he's really close to um, 100,000. Help him, help him get there. Even if everyone here goes and subscribes to him, it won't be enough to get there, but yeah, it, it'll help. Alright, that's the end of today's live stream. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time. Alright, that is the YouTube stuff dealt with. Let's have a look and see who's...